five lovely ladies on the panel and uh we talking dating and relationships steve hit that switchboard for me for the five lovely ladies <laughs> five lovely ladies today and uh, we're talking dating and relationships other than that let's go All right, we are back, ladies and gents. Hey, everyone that's right now on YouTube, well, we are live on YouTube and Facebook, but everyone on YouTube, uh, subscribe to the YouTube channel. We are about to be at 96,000 subscribers. We are at like uh, 95,600 uh like 99 so a few other <laughs> few more subscribers we're gonna get that uh uh that 96,000 subscribers um 4,000 subscribers away from 100k in just a year so that's pretty crazy uh other than that um go into discord man sign up for the discord man everybody in the chat uh discord you're gonna get the new updates of you know where we're traveling to actually later in the podcast i'll let y'all know um, the details on what podcast we're doing out in Vegas. And uh, yeah, yeah, I'll drop that. If if the likes get up, if y'all get the likes up, you know, I'll give that later on in the pod. Uh, but yeah, we're doing some, um, ah, we're going to be featured doing some podcasts in Vegas, man. It's going to be pretty dope. Um, other than that, uh, everyone on Facebook, you know, we only live on Facebook for like a half hour. Then y'all going to have to come on over to YouTube because we're going to shut down a Facebook stream. Convo is going to get a little bit too spicy. But let's start with introductions. Let's have the ladies introduce themselves. And we are going to start with you. <laughs> so name, age, and where are you from? Um, I'm Tajane. I am 22 years old and I'm from Allentown, Pennsylvania. Taja Nay, Allentown, Pennsylvania, 22 years old. What do you do for a living? Um, I am a cake baker and decorator, um, and I also work in orthodontics. Okay. Cake baker and decorator. Absolutely. And, okay, so you be you be whipping up them cakes. I do. All right, I do. All right. If you ever That's need cool. a cake, let me know. All right, say no more. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, relationship status? Complicated complicated <laughs> okay how long yeah. has it been complicated for um i just got out of a three-year toxic relationship um so i'm just kind of in the dating phase of things right now so three years okay who was toxic you or him i'm not gonna lie and say i wasn't toxic but a lot of it was on him i was dealing with a narcissist so a narcissist yeah. what what they what's one narcissistic thing he did oof just give me one if it was a lot. Um, oh, my goodness. You just put me on the spot here. Since women always like to say, you know, men are narcissistic, you kind of <laughs> want to know, like, what's that one thing he did, right? It's a good question. Right? What you got? Um, so anytime he cheated, it was somehow sp spun on me. It was my fault um, yeah. that he cheated because I was nagging or I was complaining about something. Okay. Um, uh, there's, a there's a lot. We can okay, get into it later, so though, if you he, want. He blamed you for his actions absolutely okay we could we could say that's is narcissistic and you don't think that you had anything to do with him cheating my opinion cheating is a choice true so if you're gonna cheat that's on you do you think well my question that is true do you my question is uh do you think that there's anything you could have done to limit his desire to be out in them streets and clapping cheeks <laughs> Um, absolutely not. Like I said, cheating is a choice. If you're going to do it, that's on you. If he was going to do it, he was going to do it. Yeah, that's what there's, it, it's not my fault that you decided to go out and clap cheeks somewhere okay. else. No, no, I'm, I'm um, not saying that it is. I'm not saying that it is. I'm just asking. I'm just yeah, asking. I mean. Suck them in the morning and the afternoon. <laughs> I, I did a lot of sucking in the morning and the afternoon. <laughs> okay. so. I'm just, I'm just asking. I'm not, and once okay, again, so okay, I can, I can come from that because in the beginning we, yeah. we did have a lot of intercourse. Oh, oh. Now here's my question. Go you on said ahead. in the beginning you did have a lot of intercourse, so that means that it slowed down. It question did. for you: Did you ever withhold sex for compliance? After I found out he was cheating. Oh, you did that after. You never did that before. Nope. So anytime you know, homie wanted it, it was his. Yeah. Okay, well, all right. And once again, if the man was cheating, it's not your so, fault. And it wasn't even after the first time that he cheated that it slowed down. Got it. So you were still... So. Got it. Okay, okay. Uh, fun fact about yourself. Oh, um, I was in the military. 
You was in the military. I was. You give me some military vibes. Do I? Yeah. What uh what uh in the military, what did you do in the military? Like what was your So I did a lot. Um my main job was the cake baker and decorator on board. Um I also did things with damage control, firefighting, um, I did security reaction forces. I've been OC sprayed shot at. Um Okay. A bunch, yeah. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, fun fact about yourself. Just oh, wait, another you one? just said, oh, yeah, yeah. Dean. I already said that already. <laughs> I was looking at her fun fact, actually, but let's get over to you. Introductions, name, age, and where you from? Um, my name's Hollywood. I'm 24. I'm from Easton, Pennsylvania. Your name is Hollywood? Your mom named you Hollywood? Yep. For real? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> you lying. You look like a Claudia. <laughs> Your name Claudia? Jeez. Don't play with me. <laughs> Her name not Claudia? Jeez. Oh, she like, dang, you kind of close. You look like a Jessinia. <laughs> that got even work. Jessinia. <laughs> With racist. the Y, you look like Jessinia. <laughs> Um, All right, okay, Hollywood. No, she, my real name is Alicia. I'm playing. Okay, I can see Alicia. I can see Alicia. Okay, fair enough. And uh, Alicia, how old did you say you were? 23, 24. 24. Mm -hmm. And what do you do for a living? Um, I'm a behavioral technician. Okay, cool. Uh, relationship status? Single. Single. How long have you been single for? Like a year. A year? Mm hmm. Okay, been single for a year. All right, and uh, let's do fun fact. I've got no questions for you. Fun fact, that's my kid's stepmom across from me. Ooh. Wait, wait, time out, Thomas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> let's uh, recycle this back. Uh, all right, so this is the uh, your baby's father. Um, the father of my child. The father of your child, yes. that's his wife. Yes. And y'all cool? Yes. I love her. Dang. Yeah. We like y'all came together on a podcast. <laughs> mm -hmm. Dang. Healthy co-parenting. Some I healthy co-parenting. Mm -hmm. All right. You you never feel like this competition? Like he try, she trying to get... Absolutely your, not. Your, your man? No. You never feel like it? Nope. And you never feel salty? Mm -hmm. And ladies, while I'm speaking, no sidebars. And you never feel like, you know, jealous, like... Dan, I kind of want him back, Tyrone. No. Kind of want Tyrone back. <laughs> Tyrone? No, no, never. Never? No, no. Okay. Dan, I guess that is a fun fact. First time for everything. <laughs> All right. Uh, moving right along. Name, age, where are you from? I'm L. I'm 24, and I'm from Bethlehem. L, 24, from Bethlehem, and you stole her man. <laughs> Absolutely. Damn. Absolutely. Damn, you stole her man like that? He's trying no. to be messy. Okay. <laughs> right, he's trying to start trying to be messy. <laughs> okay, yeah. we're going to see. All right, so after, um, we're going to get to it a little bit. So when you broke up with him, how long did it take for him to get with you? <laughs> or was he already hitting it? Was he already smashing you while he was with you? <laughs> Y'all better get a truth. Y'all better keep it. No fugazi. <clears throat> Who gonna answer? Steve, camera or her? <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I really don't know. It's it's really uh. I mean, I really don't care. Okay, you don't. Right, but I felt like the most important thing was actually getting to know her versus being just some weird girl that just popped in the picture. Okay, um, so when'd you break up with him? Hey, hey, chat, uh, we about to figure this out. Oh, my God. We about to figure this out and see if, if, she, was, my if she was getting, uh, we about to see if she was getting dicked down by uh, her, uh, by her man. Wait, who is it? Wait, you was, no, nah, you the new one. Yeah, we about to see if your man's no. was piping her down while he was with you. Okay, so when y'all in? Um, like the end of 2023. End of 20. End of 2023. In so the middle, was, something like that. And and when was the last time you had sex? Cause you know relationships end, but y'all still casually. Like October, November. October, November, what? 2023. Yeah. Was November? Ooh. Baby, you say the year again. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I've been for three years. <laughs> The truth came out. She just exposed. No, it was, it was an accident. It was an accident. I got a marriage license with a yeah. date. Okay, 20, okay. 2020. My bad. All right, so it's 2020, mm -hmm. October 2020. Mm -hmm. Okay, and when you and homie start talking? December 
2020. December 2020. Okay, two months. Very, 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 very end. <laughs> very, very end. And you ain't give him no sloppy sloppy at the end of the month either. No. He, he ain't eat the box then? No. Okay, it was all all done. All done. Okay. All right. We safe. They safe <laughs> chat. They safe chat. Um, okay. Uh what do you do for a living? <laughs> I'm a stay at home mom. Oh word. Word. Damn. Our baby dad got money. Oh, the baby <laughs> dad. Okay. <laughs> sure do. She said, wait, cause you got a kid bomb too? Mm-hmm. Dang, so y'all kids is siblings. Right? siblings. <laughs> Yo, chat. This is wild. Okay, we're gonna have fun tonight. So dang, y'all be whooping each other kids then? No. no. What? Why not? Whooping y'all kids. Y'all got the same is baby disgusting. daddy. No. I don't believe in whooping kids. We don't believe in Y'all that. pop kids? No. No. Do the do he pop kids? <laughs> no. Is if he wanna pop pop the kid is y'all okay with that we all communicate yeah but what would he want to pop the kid y'all gonna be okay with that never no. was a <laughs> never was a conversation oh you yeah. you're not gonna be okay with it no no so do you think the man should have authority of popping the kids if he want to pop the kids i feel it like. depends <laughs> on the age oh I feel like y'all tripping when they what? little absolutely not i said i'm gonna pop the kid <laughs> My son, nine nine months, and I... <coughs> Stop playing. Stop playing. I told you don't pick up that toy again and drink your juice. <laughs> no, I'm joking. That was a joke. He's not joking. Um, but he's serious. Okay, fun fun fact about yourself. Nah, I'm multi-talented. Multi-talented. Okay, or, name one of your talents. I'm a groomer. I a, tattoo. A groomer? Mm-hmm. What's that? Like a pet groomer. Oh, okay. You're a groomer. Yes. You watch <laughs> people's pets. I got a turtle. You turtle? <laughs> you, uh, I can cut the nails. Okay, you gonna take care of my turtle? <laughs> the nails. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I can't take... take care of your whole turtle. <laughs> okay, okay. So you cut. Now I'm joking. I don't got a turtle. <laughs> uh, moving right along. Name, age, and where you from? Kiara, I'm 20, and I'm from Allentown. Kiara, 20, from Allentown. Okay. Hey, uh, Steve, put the cam over here real quick. Let me move her mic down a little bit. I forgot to do it. Why you ain't remind me? I forgot. <laughs> Yeah, that's a little better. Thank you. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Uh, you said Kiara and how old? 20 and from Allentown. Kiara, 20 and from Allentown. Um, what do you do for a living? Caregive and a single mom. Okay. How many kids you got? Two. Who got more than two kids? Nobody? I just got I mean, one? I guess two? we got three. Got yeah. Total, yeah. so we both had three. Okay. Yep, told you I got three. Mm -hmm. Dang. Okay. Uh, fun fact about well, actually, relationship status. Single. Single. How long you been single for? Since September. Since September. Okay. And wait, you said you're twenty what? Twenty. Are oh, you twenty? Yes. Dang, shorty, super young. <laughs> okay. Uh, moving right up. No, fun fact about yourself. <clears throat> it's a fun fact. I use music as a coping skill. You use music as a coping skill. Okay. So when you're going through something and you just want to like, ah, just cope with it, you put on some Drake. Okay. Fair enough. Got you. Got you. I mean, most people kind of do that. Like right? something that lyrics could relate to what I'm going through. Okay. Yeah. So you're not really not even trying to get over. You're just trying to like. Feel it. Feel like, it. Damn like this real life. Yeah. Yeah. You're trying to feel it. Yeah. Most people do that with music. Um. And uh, what about yourself? Name, age, and where you from? Um, Isis, um, 25. Originally, I'm from Jersey. Um, okay. Isis, 25. Originally from Jersey. And uh, what do you do for a living? Um, I dance. You dance. Okay. Uh, what kind of dancing? Like break dancing? Pop lock? No. <laughs> What'd you do? Exotic. Oh, okay. So you like, um, you strip, you want to pose? Somewhat. Okay, somewhat. You look, you like, yeah, I'll be up there, but not really up there. <laughs> no, <laughs> I didn't say that. Maybe you want me to do all them tricks, but I ain't with all I the mean, tricks. Like, I mean, if we're jumping into fun fact, like my, my yeah. thing, I was a pharmacy technician. So I'm just at a phase where I'm like deciding on a pivot in life. Yeah. I don't know necessarily where I want to go next, but I know that's not what I want to do forever. Yeah. Being a pharmacy technician was great, but it's not what I what you do wanted for to my do. Whole life. Yeah, yeah. So I'm at a point where I'm ready to like pivot and transition. So I can't really say definitively what 
You, what you're gonna be doing? I have doing. ideas, yeah, yeah. of course, but I'm not gonna tell anybody. I know for sure. Got you, got you. <laughs> so you was working at the pharmacy, and you was like, you know what? Let me just start. You was selling drugs, and then you was like, you know what? Let me start selling this booty <laughs> well, for a drug. No, no, because <laughs> the thing is, I wasn't at like you know across the counter i was in yeah. the warehouse in full oh, he was in a warehouse yeah, okay okay in full hazmat suit every day oh, making yeah. the drugs that are intravenous that go in the iv bags in the hospital so okay okay it was a point where i really started to a uh, pharmacist at the time when we were in there said it kind of feels like we're in a jail we're confined we can't really talk or move too much and we we don't have any phone any connection to the outside world and it really started to i was like somebody is speaking what i'm feeling i'm like yeah time to go time to go so you was like let's go and get on the pole hey i feel you i mean well i was was already well if we're gonna ask a fun fact it's not even like oh i was on a pole like for even if you go my social media is isis of troy two three four you can go and check i've like yeah. as fitness that was my thing pole dancing pole dancing okay so um, even before you went to the strip club you was already just doing it for fitness yeah like, like okay, okay. any in, but yeah like air aerialist in general like i do the aerial hoop the lira the the ropes i do it all okay fair enough um all right uh hey chat we live right now and we live on youtube and facebook everyone that's in right now uh click the link in the description if you're on youtube and uh go uh sign up for the discord man it's free man you're, you're gonna get all the uh the inside stuff that we have going on at no fugazi you're gonna get the merch when it first drops you're gonna get all the new updates so uh click the link in the description and our discord is in there also the link in the description we got my one-on-one coaching i do couples coaching I do relationship coaching and social media marketing coaching as well. As you can see, it's only been a year, and we about to hit 100K on YouTube. Uh, and on the other platforms, we're at over a million followers combined. So about 600K on Facebook. Uh, and both of the Instagrams combined is around almost at 400K. And then uh, TikTok, we had 100K. So, yeah, man, we're growing. Other than that... Uh, <laughs> Any questions, ladies? Y'all got any questions? I mean, y'all been watching a podcast, right? And maybe some clips. Y'all got any questions y'all want to start? I'll leave with y'all What made you start podcasting? To talk to you. I'm here for you. (laughs) But you could have talked to women anywhere. No, I I, I started this for you, baby. No, you started it for you. So what inside of you made you feel like podcasting is it? I mean, I've I've done other things. I would say I got into this podcast is about um, male and female intersexual <coughs> dynamics. Um, it's about you know uh, modern women. You know, uh, I bring modern women on and we speak dating relationships, and to have this open oh discussion and dialogue uh, about the differences between male and females. That's really all it's about. But I do other things on the podcast, like have live debates with blue pill people. <coughs> And uh, <laughs> also, uh, we do live debates on some other topics as well. So, uh, man, I just like to speak and give my perspective on things. But, yeah, any other questions about dating and relationships, anyone? No? Besides me. for you. Oh, you got another one? Yeah, sure. Yeah, since you asked all of us, what's your relationship status? I got 15 kids. Oh, he's lying. Okay. <laughs> no, is is my <laughs> nah, I'm in a relationship, and I have yeah. two kids. Oh, nice. Yeah. How old? Is it... I, is it with the one? Are the two kids with the woman you're currently with? No, one of them. Okay. So how many? I'm 34 years mother? old. How many children's mother? Two. Okay. okay. Full custody of my daughter. Beautiful. My so, son, so you're the sole. Is the mother not involved at all? Uh, no. The first one, no. So okay. full custody of my daughter. She's 11 years old. Uh, damn, man, she just got her period the other day too, man. That was pretty crazy. I'm like, damn, what? My baby girl getting? No, you got babies now. <laughs> It was wild. <laughs> so we just went through that. Uh, y'all want to know more personal stuff about me? Go right ahead. Mm-hmm. I mean, no, no. if you, if you want to open that door, yeah. we'll open we it. We can open mm-hmm. Pandora's box. I got a real box. good question. Okay. But let's okay. get into hit, some... Hit. Let's hit the chat real quick. Let's hit the chat, see what the chat's <laughs> oh, talking about. Oh, it was open the door. Now it's hit the chat. Right. <laughs> no, y'all could ask me any questions. We question, need a fun y'all. fact about you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A fun fact? I got a podcast. No Fugazi. That's y'all. But we all know we that. We need something that we don't know. All right. Let's give the audience a fun fact, right? When y'all came here, didn't it smell good? 
Yes, it is. That's not a good enough. We know that. We know that. That was information we experienced. We need a a brand new, fresh fun fact. Yeah, that what that was a fun fact. It wasn't. Everyone in the chat right now. Um. If y'all got any questions or comments, hey, man, send in a super chat. It could be a dollar. It could be whatever. But I do have a question for y'all since y'all got no dating and relationship questions. Um, yo, so, yeah, uh, send in a super chat. Anything you want. You could ask myself a question, the ladies a question. You could ask any com- make any comments to the audience. But, yeah, let's participate and get this lit. It's Wild Out Wednesday. Uh, Amen. Okay, so I got a question for the ladies. Let's start right here. So who do you think is more empathetic, men or women? Women. And why? Women, because a lot of the times what I've experienced from both sexes is women tend to more often, and not all the time, because it's always, but women are more inclined to put themselves in your shoes, and if not put themselves in your shoes, have shared a common experience because you're of the similar sex, so they've probably experienced something similar in life because you are of the same familiarity and men sometimes they hear things and sometimes because they haven't experienced it whatsoever they can't fathom it and so it's a little bit more hard for them to be empathetic to what the general masses are going through so you are Mm -hmm. saying that women are more empathetic because um they experience similar things with other women and they can put themselves in other women's shoes. Well, just so, not just women, people in general, because a lot of traumatizing topics happen to... Question for you. Okay. How can a woman... So you said that women are more empathetic. And I agree, well, I agree with you saying that a woman is more empathetic than a man if the woman is being empathetic to maybe another woman because she's able to put herself in someone else's shoes. Not agree. I mean, I understand mm-hmm. that. But now you're well, saying that saying even it if it's... A, a woman, though. I said to people in general, it had... Because a lot of topics that people experience that are typically traumatic, you say women, women experience, experience at more traumatic. common rates than men. It's so not that either to... sex doesn't experience it or... Both rape, sexes experience it, but a lot of the harsh traumas that are trending topics or major topics, you saying women, women experience, experience the bulk of at that at a higher rate. Got you. So women experience. Men. So they're able to empathize when they hear a man or a woman going through a traumatic situation. It's more palatable or fathomable to them. This can happen to people, whereas more often than not, men haven't experienced the most extreme or physically traumatizing traumas that typically people can relate to. Okay. I get your perspective. We'll go around the panel. So you pretty much just saying women are more empathetic because they're experienced more traumas than, you know, generally speaking, men and, you know, women just experience things. So since they experienced, experienced a lot, they're able to then put themselves in other people's shoes based off their experiences because they've naturally just experienced a lot. Okay, got you. And what about yourself? Who's more empathetic, men or women? I feel a woman. And why? Because. And you see your mic, can you just put it down like that? Twist it this way. But right there. No, no. Yeah, 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 right there. <laughs> Thanks. I feel woman is more empathetic. Okay. And why? <clears throat> because we're used to having like emotions. Like we deal with a lot of emotions and experiences, like traumas that we go through. Okay, so similar to hers. Got you. And what about you? Who's more empathetic, men or women? In general or just like right yeah, now? No, in general. You... I mean, I feel like men. I'm so okay. sorry. I just feel like men because I, I definitely feel like nowadays or our generation, at least mine. Yeah. Men are more in touch with their feelings. And so they understand more. So if I could sit here and tell you something, you're like, oh, OK. Instead of like, you shouldn't feel like that. You know what I mean? Like, just put down my feelings and not listen. So I okay. feel like men. Got you. And what about you? I think women. OK. And why? Um, just because we have more of a nurture nurturing side um 
than men. And if you really think about it, like, when something traumatic happens to a man or something that's out of the ordinary and he goes and he runs to a group of men and they kind of don't sympathize with his feelings. Um, so I feel like as women, like she said... Well, like, sympathy is different than empathy. Or empathize, whatever. But I don't know. I feel like as women, we're more, like she said, more entwined with our emotions and men are kind of like oh it is what it is okay like, okay so you're saying that women are just more entwined with their emotions so that's why they are more empathetic okay um and what about you so i'm gonna kind of agree with l i think men are okay. nowadays a little more empathetic and why um I, I don't know like she was saying like i feel like nowadays males have more of a soft error going on um they I feel like the the masculinity of males is like dropping a little bit, if that kind of makes sense. Like, there's not so much that masculine like um, upholding that males used to be subjected to. Yeah. Um. So I feel like it's we're kind of in a way allowing males to kind of be a little more um, expressing of their emotions. So now they're kind of getting to that point where they they can be a little more empathetic. I feel like I don't know females. I feel like females can handle situations that come with, like, traumatic situations, like they were saying, a little yeah. better than males can nowadays. Um, so, I, I don't know. I feel like males are a little more Males are a little. Now. Yeah. All right, cool. And then we'll go. In a way. Okay. Okay. And um, next question, we'll start with you, and we'll go back around this way. Um, next question is, does lying to keep people, uh, does lying keep people aligned well, actually, does lying <laughs> keep people aligned with being empathetic? Like, does lying align with empathy? Mm, I don't know. Like, does lying to people align with empathy? No. It don't align. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about you? Does lying to people align with empathy? No. No. Okay. So. Uh, what about you? I need you to explain more. <laughs> like it's just regular general questions. So I'll just say it again slowly. Does lying to people align with empathy? I mean, no. Yeah. When you think about it, okay. Does lying to people align with empathy? No. No. And you? Absolutely not. Okay. So uh, <laughs> since lying doesn't align with empathy. Why when women in general, right? If one if y'all out with y'all girls and she 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 that dress that she wearing is looking a little too uh uh is uh you know it's it's just not looking right on her. It's not fitting her right. She kind of coming out that dress. She looking a little bit too big for that dress, right? In general, most women will lie and say, "Girl, you look good." I'm not talking about subjectively. <laughs> I'm not talking about y'all experiences. We know in general women lie to coddle people's emotions. We know. Can we agree show hands that women a lot Some, women yeah, lie absolutely. to coddle women's times, emotions? Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I absolutely. Disagree. Okay, but and we everyone. well, generally speaking, generally, generally speaking, that, yeah. the point of love your curves, girl. Okay. It's That's just lying. okay. We, we well, all the only reason why I differ is because sometimes it's not even like body shape that makes an outfit not look good. Sometimes like it's different factors that make an outfit look good. So it's not just the shape of your body that can make an outfit. Yeah, look yeah, sure. Like I agree. It, it could be a total things. Maybe it's mismatch. I'm just saying in general, women will lie to coddles someone's feelings and what i'm saying is y'all all agree lying doesn't align with empathy and a lot of the things that women do which i say is where well we're very empathetic you're lying i'll give you another example it's not just the whole love your curves girl it's the whole yeah you go girl you a queen you a queen girl you slaying queen keep slaying queen mm -hmm. I know that. can i, can I Go ahead. What that, you got? I don't think that that's empathy that's coming in when that moment happens, though. I think when people say those things, it's not an empathetic I'm feeling that an you're feeling. I'm giving an example. No, of I things. get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. And based off of that example, I think when those times where people say those comments that you're using alluding as an example, right, that you're yeah. alluding to as an example of empathy, I don't think that 
the emotion when people say those comments are empathy. I think it's empowerment because I don't care what I see. If you see different from what I see, who if I go out and say, sometimes if that's your friend personally, I feel mm -hmm. like, yeah, friend, <laughs> I should tell you before we jump off this ledge, this is what it is. And if you decide to jump off this ledge, I'm going to support you fine. But if I don't know you and this is how you came out and you feel confident and empowered, why would I come and step and stomp on how you feel empowered? It's not me who has yeah, to go home so, and see that. So, yeah, once again, that's what I'm alluding to. I don't think it's what empathy. I'm, I think it's empowerment. No, no, what I'm, what I'm alluding to that it's a lie. So if someone isn't, if someone, y'all don't. Think it's don't a lie either. Well, it is a lie. If someone is, uh, you know, like I'm saying, when we're talking about why do women say, you know, no body shaming, no slut shaming, you can't shame anything. They don't want you to, they don't want you to say anything bad to a woman. They want you to, you're always coddling the woman's feelings. So, and y'all would use it as, oh, that's empathy. Oh, we're being, we're more, y'all all said that women are more empathetic besides these two, right? I also strongly disagree with you, though. Okay, I'll let you go. So y'all all saying, here's my point. Y'all all saying, besides you two, the three of you, said that women are more empathetic because women are able to yeah, experience more traumas and stuff like that. So then you're able to put yourself in the other person's shoes. And empathy is having the ability, empathy is the ability to understand someone. And a way of understanding someone is if you've been through it too, right? Not necessarily. Well, you just, that's what I'm saying. If you just use that example, since we experience more trauma, we're able to then. I didn't say then, more trauma. I just said of the traumas, it's more common or when common. people bring more, it up. More or more, that's the same thing. So mm -hmm. it is, if you're saying it's more common that women experience trauma, then they obviously experience what I said, more trauma than men. It's the same okay. thing. So if it's common, it's, that means that it's happening more. <clears throat> okay. So I'm saying this. You're saying that if a woman is experiencing more trauma, then that's her ability, that's her way of understanding other people's traumas and empathizing with them because she, she experienced it. Okay, fair that's enough, right? That's not the only way, though. That's not the only way. That's not what I'm alluding to, though. I'm saying this. I'm saying that usually when women are even friends, when you're friends with other women, you don't give the truth. You coddle everything. In general, women I coddle disagree. how they speak to women. Because y'all looking at I, I it subjectively. I'm not going to lie. I no, can, see, she can agree with I, it. I, I can agree with that. I strongly <laughs> well, to a certain extent. That. To a certain extent, no, I can agree with that. If it, I feel like if it's amongst women that are associates, but if you're with your real friends and your homegirls, it's no coddling shit. Mm -hmm. Bitch, I'm in crisis, and I need you to tell me what it is and what it's not. But see, I feel like a lot of females try to, like he said, coddle to kind of protect that friendship. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, and I see, I'm, I, and I've always been that friend. I'm not calling a shit, bitch. Yeah, yeah, we, you're looking we, at, one second, real quick. Y'all looking at, and I'll let you go after this, right? You're looking at a subject. We all speaking second. in general yeah, anyway, yeah. right? We all speaking in general. So we're not speaking about our own experiences. So generally speaking, I'm saying, I asked you these two questions. Y'all all gave y'all answers, right? Then the second question was, um, does lying to people align with empathy? Y'all all said no. And the point that I'm making is, well, usually how women show empathy is lying to other people by saying like, yeah, girl, love your curves. Yeah, girl, you look good today. And then you behind their back talking crap about it. Like, man, look at what she wore. She looking crazy. So what I'm saying is that usually when women say, women say that they are more empathetic than men, but usually, usually it's with lying. And we all agree that lying doesn't align with empathy. So therefore, align with empathy so therefore it comes back around to say to prove my point that no women are not more empathetic than men and actually i got another question for y'all before i get to your <laughs> question and we're gonna start here uh, actually just show of hands real quick so when women generally speaking um y'all got guys in the friend zone yeah okay show of hands who got guys in the friend zone show of hands dan and you married you still got dudes in the friend zone god dang uh, <laughs> so look Y'all not y'all don't have any empathy for that man in the friend zone because you don't you don't Sit understand down. his struggle. Listen and understand. You all got guys in the friend zone. I know, really. The friend zone mean that dudes are in a friend zone and they and their back of their mind they want to smash. Yep. You have no empathy 
for him wanting to smash, but you keeping him in that friend zone. So y'all all saying, you were saying like, oh yeah, I can understand a man's situation because we just experienced it more. You you don't understand your fr your uh, guy friend situation and they in there waiting okay. for the right move to slide in between your soul gaps, smack it and flip it around and dominate you. But you don't care nothing about that. Before we further, I just have a question to you. Yeah, okay, ahead. so what... <laughs> What would be the appropriate response? Do we just not be friends at all if no, no, you no. want to sleep together? Because I'm response, not understanding the what... The perfect response to that is what this. Is, what is me being empathetic being to you want to sleep? Okay, about, so about if I tell honest. you I don't want to sleep with you and you want to sleep with me, but I like you as a friend, what part of me saying that I'm, is not empathetic no, to No, I'm saying that is not a friendship, right? So should I cut the friendship off? What is the proper response is what I'm asking you. Yeah. If you realize the love is unrequited, what is the proper response in order for me to not be, for me let to me be ask, considered not empathetic to Let him? me ask you a question. What do you think the proper response would be to a guy that you have no intentions of having sex with him and you know he has intentions of having sex with you? I'll tell him, I'm not fucking you. I'm not having okay. sex with you. I'm and not then, doing anything of that with you. you know that he still wants to have sex with you. Then what will be your next response? Okay, I've told you what it is. What do you want to no, do? No. What is your okay. perceived... That is an empathy. The empathy is, sorry, Bill. Um, I know well, you Why wanna... do I have to apologize if I haven't done anything I didn't wrong. finish my sentence. Empathy is this. Sorry, Bill. I know you want to clap these cheeks and pull on my dreadlocks. <laughs> but uh, listen, uh, you ain't getting this at all. So this is, will be a fake friendship. I don't think no, that's listen. Empathy. This would be a fake friendship, Bill, if I keep you around my area. If I keep you around my space, it's going to be fake because deep down inside, I know you want to clap, but you have no, you're never going to get these cheeks. You're never going to pull on these dreads. That would be empathy, and then you will walk away from that relationship. But instead, this is what you do. You keep the friendship, and you garner time, attention, and resources from Bill until you dry him, su suck all, suck, suck him dry. Incorrect. That's not what I personally not you, do. but in general, no, I, that's I, what women and, do. And, 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 but, but a lot of the time, let's be frank, in them situations, those men, they know what they're signing up for. A lot of women do make it clear I'm not doing this, and a lot of women, a lot of men do stick around because they think they're going to change that narrative if they spend enough, if they talk enough, and they feel like it will change. I see it all the yeah, time. Yeah, but the woman keep them around. But let's not go to you real quick. You had you was waiting to talk. You had a question, right? Well, I got three things now. Okay, then you let's got three. Let's get to your first one. Okay, well, let's refrain from saying dreads. Dreads are dreadful. She has locks. What? That's what? I'm talking about her hair. You keep on calling them dreads. Dreads are dreadful. Mm -hmm. Dreads are for white people. Wait, Locks what? are for black women. <laughs> but my thing Dread is, that my dreadlocks. Thing. It's, it's I've a never topic heard of, of that. It's a topic it's a of topic. conversation. It's a different it topic is. of a conversation. But where did I get this from? The black caucuses or something? Oh my <laughs> <God>. <laughs> so my first it's thing. A topic. Is, my first what's going, thing is, going on with social it's a topic? What is you? this? The, the social you? justice warriors going on here, man? What's oh what is this? It's respect. We can't put dre we can't put dreads in front of locks. What is this? Is it a gender neutral thing or something? No. What is a cyst? Is she a cyst locks or something? It's more of a spiritual right, right. Let's not get on that topic. Right, but my first thing is that. my first thing is because I, I didn't get to okay, speak the first time. Sure, go ahead. Right, you said the lying and the empathy being the same thing, right? Then you said that yeah. women, you said women as an all general, Ge right? not all, and general meaning that. In general, if we're looking at most to least. It's a like, bigger, right, but I definitely feel percentage. like there's a lot of bigger women percentage. that I can also agree to, like, that are out there. I'm honest off gay. If she would have asked me today, because I just met her, yeah. do I look good? I'd be like, you look good, girl. But if I if I didn't think she looked good, I'd be like, okay, well, you got too many pockets on your jeans, girl. But I like the I like the fit. There's a lot of women that are honest straight out the gate. I don't have to be your best friend. I could just meet you, and I'm telling you what it is. I'm telling you as a stranger with my own eyes that you look, you could have looked better. I'm still being honest, though. Yeah, I mean that's 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 your uh, you know anad anecdotal experience where you could operate like that. Totally fine. I'm not saying that that's what you don't do, but I'm speaking in general. But you had another question or no? Uh, to circle back to whatever you last said. Oh, okay, but, go ahead. So, no, circle but back. What was the last question you said? Because we, we started. <laughs> no, we, was, yeah. we was just talking about. We was going back and forth. But what you had? What was the last thing you oh, said? The last, what, what were we talking about? Oh, oh guy friends. friends. Okay, yeah. okay, cool, go ahead. cool, 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 yeah. cool. Right. I feel like I have guy friends in the I'm I'm married, right? You said that. I feel like I have guy friends, but my response to if they wanted to have sex with me is no. Steve, hit record on that. I did. Oh, when? You did it like 30 minutes. Okay, bet. Say no more. <laughs> I feel like I, I can put you in your place and if you can't respect the place then you gotta go. Right? But that's my response to a guy friend. Like you said that if Bill 
<laughs> wanting to pull on my fro, and he's telling me that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so wait, no. Time out, time out. It was we can say up. fro, <laughs> but we can't say dreads. It's an yes, afro. It. No, there it Come really on. is. No, <laughs> but there re- no. Apart the from social it, really liberals. is a conversation. Some people really do feel very specific if you say dreads versus locks. She didn't Absolutely. just make that up. That really is a okay. A thing. So, I mean, this is the thing, right? I personally am. It not, ain't no dudes that care about that. Some men do. No, the men that do care about that are betas. They're spiritual. <laughs> no, no, no. Maybe. Betas. They're, they're, they're betas. Spiritual. spiritual. No, 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 no. It ain't no spiritual when it comes to being a you beta. You are you soft. Do, if you're gonna respect religion, you should also respect some people's spirituality. Yeah, nah, nah, man. It's dreadlocks. So, Anyways, uh, y'all not gonna take the dreads out of the locks. Y'all not gonna take the dreads from the locks. We gonna keep that together. Y'all already trying to take the <laughs> take the uh, the, the 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 man out of boy and uh, put the girl in there and the heat of she. <laughs> I ain't gonna let y'all get that on this podcast today. <laughs> Hey, we keeping the dreadlocks together. I'm sorry, we'll who, who else got something? No, so I just have, it's kind of going back to the lying, being empathetic thing, okay, the whole topic true. we were just Let's talking about. To it. So like she was saying, like, oh, whatever, if I just met her, I would tell her something, if she didn't look good or whatever. Yeah. But it just kind of like brought it to me in my head. Like, I'm if I'm in the club and mm-hmm. a girl comes up to me and she's like, oh, you look, pr- you're so pretty or something like that, my first natural response is to be like, thank you, you look good too, even if she doesn't. Mm-hmm. But that is just my first natural response, like, off you rip. Like, busted. oh, you look good too. <laughs> yeah. So I, I can understand what you're saying. Like, we be, the line goes with Guess what? Dude's gonna like do that. that. Like, when a dude pull up in a Lambo, but I'm, a dude's not gonna dude compliment another dude. No, like, no, the Honda Civic dude be like, "Bro, I love your car." Dude in the Lambo gonna different. be like, "Thanks, buddy." <laughs> <laughs> but Drive that's right it. Okay, we're talking about a car, and we're talking about a female complimenting my appearance. I, I know. I was just comparing guys because women compliment. Uh, it's it is a comparison because women tend to uh, compliment beauty because that's what the agency is there. That's where the value streams from. The man value streams from of what he can create, what he can obtain. So a nice car, right? He went, oh, ca- nice car. Then another dude don't got the nice car. Thanks, buddy. We're going to drive right off. That's why I was comparing the two. But anyways, we got a lot of chats in here. I see you. I'm about to get to them. Who else had a question? You had something? Yeah, I just want to say I don't think – the whole guy friendship thing. I don't think it's healthy to think that every guy that speaks to you or every guy that wants to be your friend is trying to but they fuck do. you. They want to. <laughs> I don't think. Well, you know, I, so this is the thing. I'm not walking around like, oh my god, every guy that wants to be my friend want to fuck me. I feel like that's that's not realistic. So no, I'm okay. I'm not gonna lie to you because I used to have this this argument with my ex all the time because I used to be the same way. I used to be like, no, we're just friends. I guarantee you, if you gave a male the opportunity that you thought wanted to just be your friend to hit they absolutely will you can i you can call somebody right now that you thought would just wanted to be your friend and ask them you want to call be on that timing be on that timing yeah they will hit so this is what i'm saying why don't you want to call your guy friend because you know you just said i don't think it's healthy to think that you know guys that are my friends you know just want to smash but why you don't want to call your guy friend because you don't want to know the truth if no, because we on a podcast. Well, no, but it's call. proving the point, though. If the but opportunity I, comes up, I guarantee you, a man will pull up. But so that's like saying is, every man that walks up to you on the street wants to fuck you. Men? Hold up, hold up. Let her go, and then I'll let you go. But I feel like that's like when you outside, and a man walking up to you simply off a conversation, you're going to think, oh, he wants to fuck me. Like, I think not every man in, male's interaction with you is, I want to fuck you. Like, there's so, some guys out here that think... Yeah. A male thing Maybe I just want to be her friend he because she. Else. Yeah, we look, got look, things look. in common. I'm not saying this, this. is what I'm saying. I'm not saying every guy <laughs> wants to smash you, right? I'm not saying that. But I'm saying in general, men want to smash women, right? So if that's a general census that is pretty true, most men find most women attractive. You know, most guys are on a dry Saturday night. Yes. Oh, they'll take one of y'all down. And Easy. A man? You may not even be they tight, but it's like, man, I ain't getting nothing in a minute, man. It's, ah, what's going on, mama? Come in a real quick. A man thinks with their head before they think with anything else, and I ain't talking about this one. Mm-hmm. So, look, so, actually, let's let's do it. You want to call your guy friend? One of them? No. And but, but <laughs> we'll do it like we'll do it nice. Like afterwards, you could text him. Like I'll even you can have your phone. You could text him. Like yeah, it was we was just playing. I'm not doing it. You don't want to do it? Because <laughs> no. you know deep down inside, he will, he going to be like, oh, yeah. 
No, but weird. I feel like if and then if that's the case, then it's gonna ruin a friendship. Because if I'm, in my head, if I'm thinking you want so, so, what it is, so the fact is, it is it's gonna make it very awkward. So the fact is, is you just want to uh, live in delusion land and believe that he's your friend, and you don't want to know the truth. It is kind of delusional. I'm a little delusional. <laughs> okay, I'm delusional. I'm okay, at least she's admitting it. She's admitting it that she'll live in La La Land because uh, she don't want to find out the truth. Fair enough. Fair enough. I, I'm sorry, you had something, right? Well, my thing is, okay, even if that is... You said something like, well, then we shouldn't just be men with friends. I, I, that's what <laughs> friends? I'm asking. Okay, go ahead. Like, if we're going off the assumption or what you're alluding to that is like, for the most part, if a man is your friend, he is also attracted to you and wanting to sleep with you. Yeah. Should we just not be friends with them? So, because I don't know what, what you want us to do. If, if I enjoy your company and i think you're a good friend and i tell you hey even if you have feelings there and i don't want that but i want to be your friend it's up to you if you feel like you can't be friends with me without ever thinking of that again yeah. i respect that walk away i'm not but, but but what do we do like because it's it you're you're bringing up empathy as if if we continue to be friends with them, we're not being empathetic, empathetic and correct. we're doing something wrong. So what well, do well, we do? Well, we, we can look at the moral side of it, too, but we didn't even get to that yet. We're just saying that if you know I, the point that I made that if you know that one of your friends wants to clap them cheeks. <laughs> but right? uh, Let me finish. This is the point I'm making. You know that your friend that you have wants to clap them cheeks. But instead, you deny him that and you even tell him, like, listen, Kyle, I don't see you that way. You know, I'm switching up the names. I said, Bill, now it's mm -hmm. Kyle. <laughs> Listen, Kyle, I don't see you that way. Um, I only see you as a friend. If you remain his friend after that, to you, y'all friends, to him is not friends. What is a friendship? A friendship is two people that doesn't have ulterior motives, and it's a common interest between the two, right? If someone wants to smash, it's not a friendship, because a friendship is platonic without sex, Right. If someone wants to smash, that means that it's not platonic. He has ulterior motives. So that means that you really can't trust what he, once you really find out that he wants to smash, can you really trust his advice and things? Because it's like, hmm, this can be diluted because he could be saying things to maybe sway me this way to get in between my draws. It's just like guys, straight men shouldn't be having friends that's friends that's gay. Straight men shouldn't have friends that's gay. That's weird. <laughs> if they have friends that's gay, what? if there's another dude that's attracted to men, and you're going to keep him around your circle and, and y'all chilling all the time? Bro, he is attracted so to men. You're going to keep him around brother. your circle? Right. Okay, I don't right. have any gay brothers. The people that got gay brothers. To, when you say that, what happens to people who have a gay brother or a gay, like... A brother's different than a friend. A brother is your brother. So you don't feel but, like family could be closer than what? What like you don't feel like family? No, no, friendship. Okay, wait, wait so closer than family that no, no, you're getting it mixed up. Time so, out, time out. Listen, listen. I got you. You're getting it mixed up. Don't let's not delude what's going on and mix well, things up. Because even if listen, 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 you listen said, I got you. I still had two questions. No, I got you. I got you. You're trying to compare the two and mix it up. A friendship is much different than a actual blood brother. They can be the same. You could be. I could be a brother and truly a friend, meaning that you're doing things and stuff like that. I was using gay as an example to show you that if you are if you bring someone around your space, right, that may have ulterior motives, it isn't genuine. I use that to compare that if a straight man has a gay friend as that's a guy around in his space and hanging out all the time, it's like, bro, all right, y'all may be doing things and you he looking at you. How you know if that's a genuine look and not well, a look like this? You think he's attractive. Right, I'm not tackling you down. Yeah, I have a question. I'll tackle you that. down. So let me, I got you. So the point that I'm making here is, it's like, yeah, you could have a guy friend, right? True. Do what you want. Do what you want. Have that guy friend. Uh, but it isn't truly a friendship because it's not platonic. He has ulterior motives. Now, let me give you another comparison, right? Because the opposite, the equal opposite of that is a man having a woman in sex zone. OK, so say if you talking to a guy and he's just smashing it and not elevating you to commitment, he's only smashing. And on your mind, you may want a relationship. 
But on his mind, he's only clapping them cheeks. You're never getting elevated. And you may say certain things like he may even say to you, like, listen, you know, I'm just looking for like, like, this is cool, but I'm not really looking for too much. But in the back of your mind, you're like, no, I know I can get him to commit to me. But no, baby, he ain't going to never commit to you. He's just going to keep smashing it. And that's not empathy. He's not showing that woman empathy. And it's not anything genuine there. Right. Because you actually have. And it's not healthy because you have ulterior motives to get a relationship from him. Meanwhile, he already told you you're not going to get that. I so mean, it's not healthy. So since you can understand that because y'all all been in sex zone before, you should be able to understand a nigga that you have in friend zone. But the facts is that y'all can't understand that. I literally had That's to give y'all the equal, the equal uh, equivalent to it so y'all can get a little glimpse of it. Like, ah, I well, get what he's I saying now. I don't agree that that's the equivalent. That is the equivalent. I the reason why I personally why don't, don't agree, you agree that, that, that is that's the equivalent. because if you just said that all it take you said the man that's your friend what would satisfy him is sleeping with you okay so if it would satisfy him to sleep with me I didn't say that it would satisfy what I said that the man that's your friend he just wants to sleep with you right so what is the difference if it he just wants to sleep with me and me saying it would satisfy him to sleep with me. What's the difference between those no, no, two no. things? That's not what I said. I said that his goal is to sleep with me, right? No, no. Yeah. Listen, listen. The man's goal in a friend zone is to sleep with you. Right. The woman's goal in sex zone is to get a relationship, but not necessarily. No, because no. I'm saying in those situations, usually when women have sex with a man, usually when want to have and consistently have sex with a man, they want a relationship with that man. Unless Sometimes she's broken. I know the only thing, reason why... And no, no, one might time real quick. Let me give you the facts real quick. Ladies, quick thing. We know that there are exceptions to the rule, and we know that every situation isn't the same. We know that you was probably in friends with benefits, and maybe you wanted to be there. We know this. Okay, cool. I'm saying that, generally speaking, when a woman is consistently giving sex up to a man, because uh, women are more emotional than men, so they want a relationship. They get attached more, generally speaking. So what I am comparing to friendship and sex zone is on the two ends, right? The person that wants sex in friend zone and a person that wants a relationship in sex zone. They're experiencing the same thing because they ain't getting what they truly want. Okay, I can so agree on genuine. that aspect. No, no, of but it. we're talking about that aspect. That's the full aspect. That's what well, we've been no, talking not about. Necessarily here. But hold on, hold on, real quick. Areas, but I agree uh, everybody on, that. on Facebook, we lit right now. We're going to close down a Facebook stream. I want y'all to come on over to YouTube. That's No Fugazi Podcast on YouTube. We got the ladies talking. We're talking about friend zone, sex zone, and we about to get into a couple more of the spicy things. Uh, yeah, so come on over to, over to YouTube right now. That's No Fugazi Podcast on YouTube. I'm closing down a Facebook stream now. Let's go. Okay, uh, <laughs> let's, and, and I'll let you finish what you were saying before I get to the chats. Okay, yeah, go ahead. You were saying something. No, all I was saying on that aspect, I agree on the two people not getting what they want on that aspect, but I do think it differs because if you're coming from the mindset of a, a male friend wants sex from you, well, if this was a sexual relationship, he would be getting what he wanted out of it. He probably wouldn't be necessarily wanting or hoping more for a relationship. So I, I do get what you're saying where the roles might switch for a female. But I'm noticing as time change, a lot of females nowadays are just trying to get their sexual kicks because they're not satisfied with other things from a man. So I think. Whereas a couple well, years well, no, ago, no, that's, that, that's that conversation fine, that might have been male I think the man takes the L, too, because I've seen several times a situation where a man is just getting sex and he really likes that woman and he thinks this woman is really into him as well and it don't go a place in the world. I think yeah, no, 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 no. So listen, listen, you got to be able to going, differentiate things. Listen real thing. quick. The woman takes an L. If the woman is having sex with a man that she doesn't want a relationship with, she gave up her body and her goods and a let someone listen but what what it's totally different it's different a woman gave up her body and her goods to another man that isn't worthy you get it it's much worse she's doing so she's literally wasting her time it's much worse right so that's that because then you got to think she's giving up her body and goods to a man that doesn't deserve it then she's you know what i mean she's with him for right now it's just a body that she's adding on then she gets with another dude that's not worthy and another dude that's not worthy and that's how girls increase their body count because they're choosing the wrong dudes to sleep with right so it's not good for a woman for the man 
he's actually still getting what he wants. He's getting his natural proclivity, which is sex. So, yeah, it could be an L on the fact that if it's one side where it's like, okay, he kind of wants a relationship from her, but she's like, he's inadequate and she's not really feeling him like that. Okay, that's a little, that's a small, like, okay, dude, just get your stuff together. She's for the streets. Let her go. Move on. Let those pretty wings fly away and get another girl. But at the end of the end of the day, it ain't no real L because a man isn't valued based off his based off sex. A woman is valued based off sex. So therefore, she increased her body count, which lowered her value. Therefore, he was just smashing, which he probably just got some more experience with smashing. Kudos to him is going to be helpful for him for the next girl. So yeah, it's a total L for the chick. But anyways, let's get to the super chats real quick, and then I'm gonna let the ladies go because they piling up in here we got tommy smiles sends in ten dollars he says do you believe a woman deserves less if not then why less what do you mean what? okay what? do you believe a woman deserves less uh tony smiles yeah less of what and is that question for the whole panel or is it just for me because I can give you my perspective on that. But um, Tony Smiles, send him anything, a dollar, anything. Just explain, elaborate a little bit. Um, we got King, uh, let's see here. King Carnal sends in $10. He says, stripper, very hard for you to be honest about your profession. If you're so ashamed of it, why do it? Question. Why not do something that isn't degrading in a gateway to a super 304? Uh, don't lie to yourself. Who Any said comment that that for that? That was my profession, number one. I just mentioned that I dance because I also said I dance perfect. I dance competitively. First of all, I've done competitions. I never said there's different forms of dance. Some people dance erotically. Some people dance high technically. It all goes on the same competition. Say, I never said I was in the strip club. You alluded to me being in the strip club. I never said I was in the strip club, number one. No, he said that you was hesitant, but you are I in the strip club, I wasn't hesitant. Right? I wasn't hesitant. Currently, no, I'm not in a strip club. I know not currently you no, are, but you said I'm you dance occasionally. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't, but... Yeah, that's, that's not, what he's talking about. He's saying but that... I did, but, and, and to answer the question... That's well, it's not, not a what, question. He was, well, whoa, 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 did he ask it? Why? Oh, yeah, he did ask a question. He was like, why do it? Like, why be, why do something if you're ashamed of it? That's what he said. And who said anyone was ashamed of anything? If I was ashamed of doing something, I would not do it personally. Yeah. Number one. And number two, it's, a lot of people do a lot of oh, yeah, things like the that they are ashamed that. of. <laughs> right. But I haven't done anything that I'm not, ashamed, that I'm ashamed of, number one. Okay. And number two, there's no reason to hide from anything. People dance at all levels. I've seen people pole dancing behind Snoop Dogg. I've seen people break dancing behind Missy Elliott. There's multiple forms of dance. Even if you're dancing erotically, you Kim, don't even have to listen, be in a strip girl, club. Uh, Kim Kardashian had sex with Ray J. She still did. And porn. she wasn't a dancer. But I'm she saying, like, no, you're trying to yeah, you're trying moment. to compare the levels to something. I'm not that's, comparing levels. I got I'm you. Listen, dance listen, listen. All as a plethora. Yeah, I got you. I didn't get on you for what you do, because truthfully, I don't care. But the chat that dude cared. But the the <laughs> just just, what I'm saying oh, is, <laughs> what I'm saying is, you just try to compare. You try to say that it's levels to dancing, and I. I'm saying that it's there isn't, well, let me different. finish, let me finish. You're saying that there's levels to dancing. I'm saying that there isn't any levels to doing anything that's uh, degenerate. Degenerate is already low level behavior. And to compare it, Kim Kardashian made a sex video with Ray J and it made her a billionaire, right? But it's still degenerate. It's low level behavior. There's no level to it. Like if you think about, well, well, I could do this that's and that's a level for money. No, it's not a perspective. It it's is. all degenerate. It's all no. It's, what I'm saying is low because level. Because how does listen, somebody listen, dancing listen, or somebody you. having sex you, equivalent? No, I'm not speaking about the sex part. I'm speaking about the levels part. What I'm saying that degenerate behavior is all on the same level. It's all low level stuff. If you make five dollars for it or a million dollars for it, it's still low level behavior. Behavior. It's degenerate behavior. That's what I'm saying. But um, let's get to the next super chat. Uh, Disagree. We got Jason Douglas sends in five dollars. He says, "What are the top three places it's okay to approach women these days?" Okay, good question. Uh, let's start with you. Let's name top three places where you want to be approached. You single, right? Well, it's complicated. Um, 
So that means that you still open to being approached, right? Sure. Okay. Um, I don't know. I don't go out much, so that's kind of a hard question for me to answer. Starbucks? <laughs> Cappuccino? Probably not, because I'm probably in a rush. In a rush. <laughs> I'm going to Starbucks. Okay. Um, I don't know. I feel like anywhere in public, in a public setting, um, I don't know. Maybe a club? Okay. Okay, so all right, um, club, club. What else? Okay, that's one. That's that's yeah. all you got. Okay, what about you? You single? I would say anywhere as long as my kid is not present. Okay. Right. Now, what if it's a guy, right? You strolling little day day. You strolling, you strolling day day through the mall, right? Mm. And this is dude like, dang, he fly. Like you, he catch your eye. You like, woo. Nigga smoking. And uh, let's say he actually do approach you while you got little day day. Are you automatically going to be like, mm -mm, nah, boom, boom, boom? Or are you going to actually, you know, give that your time and attention? I would say no. Mm -mm. You still going to? my kid. No, not, not only with your kid. The, not with the kid. So you're never no. going to be like, here, just take my number and go. Hit no. me up later. Hear my, I, hear, hear my Instagram, just go. No, because really when you're a parent, you really don't have no time for the chit chat. Yeah, but it'd be quick. Like, say he like, hey, my, you cut it short. You could just be like, hey, I got my son with me or my daughter, da, da, da. Here, take my Instagram. We can talk later. You ain't going to do that if he fine. No. Stefan fine. No. You know, Who's like Stephon? when Urkel went into the machine <laughs> and it came out. Stefan. 50 fine? Yeah. Oh, 50 fine. Okay, 50, 50 fine. fine yeah. 50 fine, you'll do it? Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm iffy when it comes around my kids. I don't know. Okay, okay. Fair enough. Uh, what you had? You had some? Oh, no, you next. All right. So, mm -hmm. what's the. Uh, um, the best time, and you said pretty much any time when your kids is not around. That was your answer. So same to you. Uh, Jason Douglas says, uh, what are the top three places for a man to approach you these days? No, I agree with a public setting or like, I don't go outside either. So online, but that's really it. Okay. Online. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. How you, uh, meet your husband through her? Oh, no, through oh. my cousin. <laughs> Through my, cousin. Through my cousin. <laughs> Through the cousin? On FaceTime. Dang. You wanted to fight the cousin? No, I didn't even know he knew her. Oh, okay. <laughs> hey, chat, by the way, let me just get a chat of update because we got a few more people in here. Let me let them know the situation because they probably going to be wondering <laughs> the vibes, right? So anyways, uh, her over here, uh, put your hand up. Uh, and then her over here, put your hand up. She got that ring, show him the ring. Be proud, girl. Mary. <laughs> proud. So uh her husband is her uh uh baby father. Father of her children. Father of my children. Father mm -hmm. of her children. Mm -hmm. And then her. she got kids too. Put one. your hand up. She got one kid, right? And then they uh brothers and sisters. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's where we're at right now. So, if you scroll back to the beginning of the podcast, it was some funny convos about that. Because um, <laughs> you made it funny. <laughs> but anyways, uh, let's get to the chats. We got uh, T. Briggs. Appreciate the support, man. Sends in $20. He says, ladies, if you had a son, which girl on the panel? Okay, as you, if you had a son, which girl on the panel would you want your son to marry? Mm -hmm. And which would you advise him to stay away from at all costs? Oh, he messy. Keep it right. no Gazy. They might switch up later, Coley. Ask them again at the end. Ah, true. Okay. Oh. Uh, good question, uh, T. Briggs. Good question. Okay, we're going to start mm -hmm. over here with you because we started over there last time. I just met them today. I can't really determine based off but, of one conversation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But ladies, what, like, you, oh, stay far away from her. Steve. And, like, I just... And I feel like everybody's individual. There's people who end up together. And I, I got you. I got you. Let me help you out real quick. We already know that there's like other things into it, right? This is one of the questions from the chat. He just want to know generally, right? If you had a son, which, I have a son. Okay, got you. Got you. You do got a son. Now it's a hypothetical. It's a hypothetical. It ain't real. Right. What? So just off of when you walked in, you met the ladies in the back. OK, you hear talking on the podcast. You experienced we all experience each other a little bit before the podcast even started. And we've been experiencing each other now while we've been talking. So just from this experience, hypothetically, uh, which women on a which girl on a panel would you advise your son to marry? And then which girl on a panel would you advise your son to stay away from? You just got to pick two. I so want to marry, want to stay away from. I don't have a sweat. Like, I... I. You can't pick one? No. 
What? God dang. Because nobody has said anything that made me be like, oh, her values. I See, this is the I part. Do. Remember in the beginning of the podcast, we was talking about empathy, and then we was talking about how but lying doesn't align. Let me finish. <laughs> then we were talking about how lying doesn't align with empathy, <laughs> and now you talking about. It's not a lie. If somebody and, says something that make me be like, no, I could never stand by you or stand beside you, I would say, this girl, this girl, this girl right you, here, but nobody said anything like that. You're not getting what I'm saying. Like you're not getting what I'm saying. We're keeping it funky fresh. We're keeping it no fugazi. What I'm saying is in the beginning of the podcast, we talked about empathy and all y'all said that besides two, that women are more empathetic than men. Y'all all said that lying doesn't align with empathy, right? And now what I'm saying is you being no fugazi lying because you trying to be empathetic when you don't want to make one of, one of these women feel bad. I, you I, can just I keep it funky. Then y'all not going to feel but bad, But that's right? the thing. I don't know them to care. I hate to say this like that. I don't know them to give a damn how they feel. They could walk away from this today and say, fuck her. Okay, I hate so then her. Give a, just a hypothetical. I do, hypothetically, yeah. nobody has. Okay, if, if if we have to pick somebody, yeah, just pick somebody. Pick pick a marry. I help you out. Make it concise. Hypothetically, a marry, and then the one that you would advise your son to stay away from. Marry her because oh, which one? Which one? She, her right here because this she one? says she okay. bakes and mm -hmm. I love baked goods. And if she could teach me some stuff to bake as well, because I used to do that. I would pick her for him to marry. If there would be anybody for him not to marry, who would it be? Um, don't be scared. Maybe me. Because okay, well, fair enough. What you got going on? Could you I'm, on that poll? No, it has nothing to do with that. That doesn't have. I'm a whole person. I, I would say not to pick me because for my son personally, I think maybe he needs somebody a little bit more empathetic and a little softer than okay. me. Okay. Oh, oh, she being food. No for crazy. Okay. <laughs> All right, all right. Mama, she ate with that little one. Yeah, yeah. That's not all right. Okay, mama, she died a little bit. You're being <laughs> taking accountability. We get points back. I love we get that. some points I back. That. I told you I was so never bad. lying. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. And then, um, same to you. Which women on this panel would you want uh, your man to, uh, your son to marry and stay away from? She not here, so you can say stay away from her. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if you want to, you can go ahead. You, you don't got, you got a couple minutes. She in the bathroom. Like, yo, um, you can say it now. I'm trying to help you out. <laughs> <laughs> trying to help me is funny, but I feel like her. Marry her, yeah, okay? Because she was in the military. Of... Okay, marry yeah. her and stay away from who? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Stay far away. <laughs> okay, stay far away from her. You're not. All right, fair enough. And what about you? Who you I definitely want? say stay away from me because okay, I, I definitely you. feel like I have anger issues. So I don't find a woman with anger issues. Okay. God forbid. But I definitely say marry her because she got her head on straight. She already played her whole life Dang. at the age of what? I'm 22, baby. Right. Her. She's a military bake. She's okay. I, I definitely would not you be upset. You got no kids, right? I have no kids. Okay. All right. And what about you? Your son. Who would you want your son? Oh, marry her. <laughs> marry her, obviously, because okay. she got her head on her shoulders. Um, and stay away from who? Stay away from. Got to choose uh, one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think you can I choose know. whoever you want. You gotta pick one. Hurry up. You got a couple <laughs> seconds. Myself. Oh yeah, I've been. <laughs> I'm trying to play it safe. Uh, that's funny how all the girls said themselves, uh, stay away from, oh, besides you, you said stay. And what about you? Who would you want your son to marry and stay away from? So, to stay away from, I'm not going to lie, I'm glad that Isis said that about her not being empathetic because I was going to say stay away from her because I feel like she's a little, yeah. boy, men are soft. <laughs> men are soft. So I feel like they need a female that is more empathetic, that can kind of coincide with sympathy a little bit better um and I, i'm sorry if my son's getting married he better not come home crying like so he needs someone in more of a soft girl era situation um to marry yeah. i don't know why y'all said me because i'm not even gonna lie i tell my son to stay away from me <laughs> um, <laughs> um but to marry yeah which one on the panel to marry um damn all y'all pretty cool <laughs> um I'm not going to lie. I kind of say this from personal experience. Yeah. I probably, Danielle, um, I, I've known her for a long time. Okay. Like, and I know she's a great mother. And she's married right now anyway. And she is, mm -hmm. right? Okay. So I, I'd probably say Danielle, yeah. Okay. And how old are you again? 24. Dang, you got married 20. Dang. I got married at 21. Yeah. Yeah, I did. Oh, dang. You, dang, you took, you stole. You don't want to know the timeline. <laughs> Yo, she done took you. 
He's it, just messy. No, nah, you, know, you are. He's just messy. God dang. The timeline is worse, though. I know though. you kind of regret that. Yeah. Nah, so I am regret shit. He put them shades on and got messy. You, like, <laughs> you never be like, dang, I kind of miss daddy. You never be like, no. you don't even know the facts, though. Like, if I could sit here and really tell you, like, really? He, the be, whole... he be clapping both y'all? Yo. The oh! Door. The door. <laughs> the door. The door. No. Y'all got the entwined relationship. No. no. Oh, okay, okay, okay. All right. Never mind. Um... Okay, fair enough. Cool. Next question. Uh, Tommy Smiles sends in $10. Okay, you back, bro. He says, <laughs> ladies, do you think women deserve less meaning? Who has it harder, a man or a woman? Men. Oh, okay, men, okay. Men. 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 Um, what? I what? think men do. Women. Uh, let's men. go around the panel and, and go with why, and that's why. We can start here. So who has it harder, um, men or women, and why? Men, I, men or women, and why? I think men do. Um because the standard i feel like is a lot higher than men a lot of people expect men to just be on their a game 100 percent of the time yeah um whereas you know females they're like oh they're you need to provide this and that for your females so there's a lot more pressure on men when it comes to and i'm kind of speaking relationship wise like there's a lot more pressure on a man in a relationship than there is a woman if you're a man and you're not giving 100% of the time or you can't provide all the time, you kind of look at, you're looked at as lower of a male than you are a female. Like, so I feel like men have it harder in, in some aspects. All right, you go. Okay. You okay, go. so you said that men have it harder, <laughs> so that's why, you know, um, you know, pretty much is men have it harder because in, in, in a multitude of aspects because of the standard is higher for men. Makes sense. Yeah. Thank you. And on to you. I agree. I think men have it harder than okay. women do. Um, I feel like in society's eyes, there's a lot of things that men have to do in order to be considered like a man. A man. Yeah. Whereas to as women, as long as she look good and she smell good and she makes herself presentable, and like we coach. could do a lot without doing anything at all. Yeah. But I feel like as for men, they have to have this degree and work this job and have this house and have this car and make this amount of money and I need you to cash out me this and do this and this and this. Yeah. So. Got you. Okay. What about you? I mean, you changed my mind. I'm not going to lie. But I I definitely feel like women because if we're not talking about relationship-wise, we're talking about just the entirety of being a woman. Tell me we have equal pay right now. Tell me that. Equal. Do, do equal women pay. Have like, tell equal me pay? we have anything equal uh, man, to men. It's another wage gap so I feel argument. Like it's changing though. <laughs> it's not, but like, that's, the, the wage gap. But it is. Has but how fast? Debunked. But how fast though? A woman in HVAC can be making twenty one dollars an hour, but a man in HVAC can be getting, making thirty five. Yeah. Like so it also it's depends still, on where you're working. In the military, we all get paid the same. I mean, so per, I can't really like. Per, but that's why I said you changed my yeah. mind because I get I get the aspect of you know men and having to like set up to the standard. Yeah. To like, I don't know. I'm just I'm fifty fifty then. Like they kind of like alter my brain. But and like, just to explain it, the the wage gap has been debunked like a while ago. Uh, women earn women tend to earn less than men is because they deserve less than men for two reasons. The main reason is for choice, right? The other reason is because women are uh, more agreeable than men. Men are non-agreeable, so since men are naturally non-agreeable, they tend to negotiate for higher pay. Women don't tend to negotiate for higher pay. They kind of take it and complain. Men be like, ah, complain, I'm not, I'm going to the boss. So, yeah, the wage gap has been debunked, especially with affirmative action now, meaning that if you own a company um, it uh, with affirmative action, you know, it companies have to pay both genders the same if they have the same basically resume right you know what i'm saying both uh you know uh education um qualifications they're going to get paid the same but it changes a little bit say if the man is more educated and has more qualifications than a woman well he 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 earned more because he deserves more because he qualifies for more so that's a way why someone can get paid more you know what i'm saying mm -hmm. so uh it's pretty much illegal to pay someone with affirmative action i'm saying that it's illegal to pay a woman more based uh, pay a woman less based off her gender yeah it's just not true um and i have a, like think about it this way right see if you have a company you have a company because you want to profit. It's a for-profit mm -hmm. company. It's not a non-for-profit. It's for-profit. So if you own a company and you can 
pay women less legally, you can hire all women because you'll be it's for profit. You'll bring in, you'll keep more money yourself, right? So it's very nonsensical to even think that a boss will be hiring, will be paying a woman a uh, 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 less. Like if they can pay a woman less, they would hire all women and do the same job a man can do. But the fact is that no, men just tend to be a little bit more capable than women in certain jobs and not only that women choose choose jobs that deal with people like nursing and social work and stuff like that I men agree. choose jobs as far as is in stem science technology engineering and math and those fields just pay more because those fields build the infrastructure of the united states so i'll lay my plane out labor go to the restroom yeah you can go to the bathroom um did we go around a full pound yet oh no with you so uh yeah uh the question was, ladies, do you uh, do you think women deserve less? Meaning, who has oh yeah, who has it harder uh, in life, men men or women, and why? Uh, I feel like men got it harder. Okay, and why? Because we set like she was saying, like we set standards higher for men. Like we not like that. We don't allow them to have emotions or to lack what they're supposed to provide, but. Women needs more reassurance than men. Women need more reassurance than men? Yeah. And you saying that women have it harder? No, men. Oh, men have it harder because since women need more reassurance, men have to work harder to reassure them? No. Like, I'm saying, like, the <laughs> standards so that we have for men is way higher okay, I know that than part. females. Yeah, yeah, true. So, like, if they can't provide and they can't, like, build a house or, like, little stuff like that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's be, what you're they, saying. That's what I said. They'll be afraid that they're looked at differently. Well, they will be looked at differently. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. As if to a female, if a female can't provide or a female can't build a house or anything, they'll, like, another female could reassure them, like, get them yeah. reassurance, you know? Yep, yep, true. And uh, what about you? Who has it harder in life, men or women, and why? I personally don't believe that one sex has it harder than the other because, like, every point for me personally, mm -hmm. it has an opposing factor. Like, when you say things like women are more inclined to accept the lower offer, well, when, when, you, when I hear you say that, my thing is, okay, well, in that situation, is it just because, oh, I'm a woman, I'm willing to accept less, or is it because I'm a woman and this opportunity that was easily given to somebody else, I had to fight for this opportunity, and now I finally got it at whatever rate I get it. I got these kids to feed at home, or I have all these responsibilities because are, there are some women who are independent of a man or even a family who are just the sole breadwinners and the sole survivors and that, of their and that family should give them and, an even more proclivity right, to, but to negotiate a higher rate as, and they still okay, don't uh, but sometimes the, and, and yes i agree but sometimes also we do have to figure out like you i hear i've heard you talk about on this podcast reality versus fiction and what we want to believe but in reality yeah. There are situations where we're not going to sit here and lie and black women or women of a darker hue, whether you're Indonesian, Filipino or Dominican or whatever hue you are that is darker and you do happen to be a woman at the same time. Sometimes it is a little bit harder to fight and advocate and get that same opportunity of someone who looks completely different than you. And that's not a crutch. That is a part of reality that we've seen time and time again. Do you want to know another part of reality physical, real quick? So look, another part of reality is we've already compensated for that because there are I laws disagree. in place. No, it's not a disagree. It's a fact. There because are laws. Let's stop it. There are laws in place I don't that, think that listen, God. there are laws in place that if you are a black woman you one they uh, these companies have to meet a standard right with affirmative action and all of these other laws right they have to meet the standard and one of the standards to meet is that they have to have uh, a, a gender standard and a racial standard so guess what women would meet the gender standard and a black woman would meet the racial standard okay. so listen Can I time, no, no, stop, stop. Question, so listen a black woman applying for a job a black woman applying for a law, a law firm or to be a doctor or anything in American society right now with the crazy social liberals running stuff she would have a, a, a step ahead of a white guy that has a, a, a doctorate degree and even she could have just a regular bachelor's degree so with affirmative actions and all of these laws in place it overcompensated <clears throat> what used to be called as people discriminating over race and gender there's no this that's that's 
all false now. There are more black women in college than I think than any other, you know, race so and gender, right? I, I, there are more black yeah. there are more black yeah. women graduating college. And so I'm it's not. like so listen, listen. So now you gotta so you said something about oh reality versus fiction. Well the reality is this. The reality is there are more black women graduating college than men. The reality is there are uh with affirmative action and all these other laws a black woman that has a degree, she has a better position when she uh, applies for a job. She has a, a step uh, ahead over a white woman, a white man, and a black man because she meets two standards that these companies need to get grants from the government. One of the standards is gender. The other the standards is race. A black woman meets both of those, so she's going to get hired. That's reality. So, uh, and I, I, I honestly... I agree. I disagree. Agree. No, I disagree, disagree to that. No, because <laughs> when you're physically in those work phases... I always say on the sugar cookie there's only a few chocolate chips there's like three of us in the building to meet that quota (laughs) yeah because when you i grew up in a predominantly white area and yeah it was only a few of us chocolate chips on the sugar cookie and another (laughs) this was just a question i had because you you brought up the affirmative action all that there is something that we do know within the workforce they tell you to not share your salary and what you're making amongst the other employees. And that is still a tactic to undermine. No, no, no. The, That's the, a tactic to not cause right, drama. It, I have no. a, I have a company. Yeah. I wouldn't have my employees sharing their salaries with other people. But we're not going like, to act like gonna, it only so applies to one thing, I kind of have two things to yeah, yeah. add. I got you real quick. So, so in the matter of fact, I'll let you go. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, um. so I grew up in a... When I graduated... There was about 10, 15 black kids out of the 100 and some that I graduated with. But I can guarantee you now, those white kids, if they applied for the same job I did, I would probably get it over them because of the simple fact that I set myself up in a position that I would be able to do that. Like right now, if one of the girls I graduated high school with applied at the same job as me, I'm going to get it because I went to the military Can because I, I set myself you, though, up for that success. A random question. And and I'm not expecting a specific answer. Did you go the extra step to make sure you were well prepared because you knew as a woman of color you would need to step to the plate at a certain level? No, no, or listen, did you listen. just do it organically? That, that question is all in I'm void. asking Yeah, her. I know, no. Look, look, I want you to... You got to understand something. Women tend to make less because of choice. But that so, wasn't no, the no, question I know, I but just her. listen, you asking questions like, did she have a tendency to work a little bit more because she knew that it would be harder anyway, so she needed to step up? That's all in void. We all, No one starts equal. We are born... I was born in the hood. She was probably born... Someone else was born in the suburbs. Suburbs. Someone else was probably born in, in wealth and be pretty much in a millionaire family. It doesn't matter. We can't control where we are born in our circumstance. Well, what we can... What we, no, but listen, I'm trying to help you out, to help you out with to, your state of thinking. What you can control is choice, right? So but since you... know, Listen, about her choice I got it. I'm helping you out. So since you can only understand choice... The fact of the matter is women tend to make less than men is because they deserve less and because they because they deserve less. Well, they deserve less because they chose less. They chose to get in the fields that pay less. They chose to not work offshore drilling. They chose to not be, uh, you know, uh, an engineer. They chose these fields that they don't want to do because guess what? It's a biology thing. Women don't have a natural proclivity to be dealing with things. They have a natural proclivity to be dealing with people. And guess what? Jobs that deal with people just tend to pay less. You know why? Because they don't build the infrastructure of the world. That's what I'm saying. The jobs that pay more build the infrastructure. These cameras are very, very very unique and expensive and hard to build, right? Engineering would come from this. You think a woman has a natural proclivity to sit there and work on freaking lenses and give a freak about that? Some would. Yeah, a small percentage <clears throat> would. But men is going to do that. Men have a natural proclivity to build. The reason why, now I'll answer this and bring it full circle. The reason why women deserve less, right, and a man's uh, a man's life is just harder than a woman is because women are born with innate value. 
innate value, innate sexual value too. They're born with value, meaning that since you are born with value, your main job is to preserve your value for the right man. Because guess what? We are all put on this planet to reproduce, right? So since we are all put on this planet to reproduce, a woman... Her, she's born with her value because most men are attracted to most women. So that means that she's born with her sexual value. She can reproduce. That means that she doesn't have a natural proclivity like a man that's not born without any sexual value to gain and earn, right? A man is born without any value. So he's judged on what he creates and the status and income he provides to people, his loved ones in the world, right? So this is why he has a natural proclivity just to get out there and become something and build these lights that's making us bright and these cameras that's on us right now and it's microphone tvs and everything that we're looking at and staring at and touching that comes from men because we have that natural proclivity it don't come from women because y'all ain't got the natural proclivity but you know what's a natural proclivity for women it's to have birthed we're all here we came out of a woman's womb so don't feel like this is like coming at women no we just have different goals in life women y'all here to create babies men generally speaking we here to create things that sums it up. Well, uh, what I ahead. asked her had nothing to do with what you just said. Okay. But okay. Well, I mean, I, yeah. are we going to say I something asked different? Her had yeah, nothing good. to do with that. I mean, did you did you truly want to? Uh, no, you I ask? asked her a question, and you went on a completely different did, tangent. Did you than interpret what, I asked. what you asked her as well? Is the reason why I you... just asked her a personal question about her goals? Like personally, I just asked her if that was her natural inclination to achieve that high, or if. In her mind, personally, she felt like there was another reason why she needed to achieve that high. You achieve went on high? to saying men and that women don't deserve more because no, of, no, no. You're 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 missing the correlation. No, I I was just saying that the question I asked her, it was a personal question. It really didn't have any more to do with none of what you just said. Okay, so to answer your question, no, I didn't feel like. Exactly. I, I had to <laughs> go. Said, exactly. I just wanted that answer so, but from no, her. And, but yeah, I'm giving you, you said, the truth you said, because no, I already you know. You just said, oh, I'm going to help you, but you can't help me if I wanted the answer from her. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So you have a limited thinking, right? You're I don't thinking, have a limited thinking. I just wanted her personal yeah, answer. It's I didn't great, care it's from great. you. It's great. The reason why I already knew is because guess what? I, my thinking isn't limited, and I understand female nature like I just explained, and I understand male nature and why like do you I just explained. Thinking is limited because you don't. You didn't even un comprehend what I just said. If you I comprehend, did comprehend what you said, listen, but it Mama was Sita, different from the question if you I comprehend, asked. No, it's not. If you comprehended what I just said, you wouldn't even. You would have been like. Okay. Comprehended he exactly answered what my you question. Said. You would have but said you answered, my answered it for you. It's her question. I didn't ask you. That and guess question. what? She just gave you the answer that I just she gave you. She didn't even finish she it. Heard... Go ahead, finish it. Wait, can you ask your question again? <laughs> you, did, right. you did say no. You said no. Yeah. 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 Okay, okay. So <laughs> I was, I was wondering her explanation. You just made it seem like I was. I literally said before I started the question, I wasn't expecting us. A specific answer for so for you to say it's very oh, simple. I have limited the chat may not know. Crazy. So now look, we're gonna get very specific. Since you want to do this, we're gonna play the game, and then you're gonna make you look foolish. So go ahead and ask oh, her oh, the question. Oh, so that's your goal to make me look foolish? No, no, no. We're gonna get it very concise because I'm going to let you know what I explained previously about three minutes ago. Already answered it for you. So ask her the question. Okay, but I asked her the question. I just wanted just her answer. Her that was quick. my whole point. Just ask her it again so she understands it concisely. Ask okay. her. It. So what was your question? All my question was to you was, naturally within you, have you always had that spirit of just being a top achiever? Or was it any outstanding factors that made you feel like you had to be a top achiever? A top achiever? Or was it just natural for you as a woman or as a person? Um, so it was more of a natural thing. Like okay. I always stri strived for better. Um, joining the military, that wasn't something that I planned on like, way before there was more of like personal things i went through senior year um i dropped out of high school senior year so there wasn't really many options for me after i graduated as far as going to college um but i mean even if i would have went to college i i and not did the military i still feel like i'd be on the same path because i still have the same i don't want to say the same mindset because i'm not gonna lie i've seen a lot been through a lot in the military so i definitely don't have the same mind same set. ambitions yeah okay yeah. so okay. i can i can agree with that same ambitions to become a better person and i feel like that was why i chose the military because that was my outlet to become better and actually do something with my life and not end up in debt with a 
lower GPA going to college. Now I'm kind of set for life. The military is going to pay for my schooling. Um, and I mean, like I was saying, if I apply to a job just because I have that military experience on there, I'm going to. And you're colored and you're yeah. a woman. So exactly. So now I have things. three factors that I'm going to get hired for before somebody else. Like I applied to a CEO position a couple of days ago. I got called back the next morning. Congratulations. Because African American is on my on my um Check. resume. I'm a female. Check. And I have military experience. Check. She getting a job. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I I mean yeah, okay. it was just so now what look, I needed with to that do for answer, myself. right? I've explained it in full to you. I said that I can make it very concise for you, right? I said that it doesn't matter where you start, right? Because we all have different upbringings. You was trying to see where that spark or where that motivation came from within her. I said that we all have different starts. It's not about that. It's about choice, right? So she chose to do those things because she chose to do that, right? But this is a uh, 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 anecdotal experience we're talking about where she just has more of a natural proclivity to assert herself Maybe more than most women would say. But then she has three things that's helping her out. She's black, she's a woman, and she was in the military. So when it comes to her finding jobs and moving forward in life, it's going to be a little easier for her than a, than, than a man, than and a, and a, and a white woman, and a white man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So all of that in place is just like, your question was kind of all in void because I already tackled everything well, to no, explain I asked it. The question before you even went into that long, but yeah, well, I, I, I know you it did. It wasn't in void because I really genuinely just wanted to hear her specific personal opinion. I never said anything you said was wrong or contradictory. I genuinely was just saying you, you could answer hear. that specific question for me but, because but I, I wanted but to I, hear it from her but personally. But I, 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 I did is what I'm saying. But you she, can't, she got and, that and way. my whole point but no, was, no, listen, listen. I she just got wanted it. to hear It's very simple. It's very simple. Listen, listen. Because you're not listening and understanding. I understand what got, you're no, no, saying. No, no, listen, Mama Cita. Stop, 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 stop. stop. Listen, I'm listen. not a Mama Cita. Yeah, yeah, but either. I call everyone Mama Cita. I'm black and I ain't Spanish. So, hey, deal with it. You got dreadlocks, but you call them locks. Deal with it. They dreadlocks. I didn't say about them anything. This is what I'm saying. Uh she got there in life because of choice, like everyone does. We all I didn't have choice. Say she didn't. But yeah, but once that, I just once asked. you, but yeah, well, once you, and then she said yes before, and I mean, she said no before to it, and then it was just like, all right, whatever. But anyways, on to the chat. Um, and are y'all having fun? Show of hands. Yeah. Who's having fun? Everybody having guys, fun? Yeah. Are we chilling? Like, all right. Yeah, all right, cool. Super <laughs> chat? Where you super at? Chat, where <laughs> super chat? Where the super chat's at? <laughs> um, and actually, ladies, um, come up with some questions, too. Like, you know what I mean? We got the chat in here asking questions. How many but genders are there? Like, um, yeah, come up with some nope. questions. Nope. nope. Because you know how I'm asking y'all questions. Y'all could ask me questions or the just in general questions. Well, like, they wanted to know when your birthday was. Per. Mm -hmm. Per. Because I was still my question. you still haven't told us. So... Uh, no fugazi. Uh, Chad, right. The ladies has been asking me my zodiac sign. <laughs> send a dollar for me. Uh, before, no, they didn't ask your zodiac sign. No, they well, asked. I did. No, I did. I, did. I, I asked the zodiac See? sign, but then he wouldn't tell us. I asked his birthday, so somebody sent a dollar so he could tell us his birthday. Per. Listen, chat. Uh, <laughs> they want to know my zodiac sign. I don't. Ladies, I don't believe in zodiac signs. I was born on the day that I was born, the day that my mom pushed me out. Scorpio. I popped out head first. And so I'm what bad. day of the 365 days or the 366 days of the year you was born, what day were you it born was on? One 12 of them. months. Listen, mm -hmm. chat, ladies, uh, get, take some advice, chat. Ladies like to ask this question so then they can they can put a sign on you to say, mm, oh, that's why you act that way. <laughs> <laughs> they put a sign on you to judge you for the sign. I just want to know your birthday. I don't this even care what, if it's a birthday sign no more. They want, they want to be able to prejudge me. <laughs> That's what they want. I think we probably prejudged you already from the clips we saw. Okay. If anything. All right, so what sign do y'all think I am? Scorpio. Okay. Over here. Taurus. Okay, over here. Maybe a Gemini. I was okay, gonna over say here. Gemini, not going to lie. What you think? I was going to say Gemini. The Gemini? You think going with that? Sure. Okay. I don't, I don't you? care about zodiac. Like a Cancer or a Capricorn. Cancer or Capricorn? Uh, <laughs> Y'all never know. Anyways, <laughs> on to the chat. He's an Aquarius. <laughs> we got... Well, have well, what? we Googled him? Maybe he's We ain't got no phones. He stole us. He stole us. Maybe we smart. can Google him and pull all of his information up. <laughs> yeah, I mean, y'all could. Steve it's got all his phone. out there. 
Um, let me get to the super <laughs> chats real quick, ladies. <laughs> one, one mic at a time, real quick. Let me get to the super Are chats. Um, I am. Uh, Avoda twenty seven. Avoda twenty seven sends him five dollars. Peace to the gods and the earths. Uh, shout out to Big Cooley. Let me see what shorty I need to save the most tonight. Um, <laughs> hey, appreciate the support, bro. Uh, what? Move on. Right, what did Gay man sends him one dollar. Appreciate the support, gay man. <laughs> We have uh, Deshaun Jackson sends him five dollars. Like he says, uh, "Ladies, name, ladies, name three countries, and you can't name USA, Canada, or Mexico." Whoa. Let's get it going. First let's start all, let's here. No, no you're not Wait, about to look I'm stupid. not that smart. Right. It's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest right off the gate. Name, I, name, just try to do your best. No, name three countries. <laughs> right, <laughs> state. Yemen. Oh, oh, okay. Keep going. Uh, <laughs> Uruguay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, Finland. Over here. I'm lost. <laughs> <laughs> like, just quiet. You, we got all the Af. We, I'll help you out. Where you want to take vacations? <laughs> you I grew up poor. I don't know. <laughs> Where you want to um, take a vacation to? Africa is a continent. I said we have all of Africa. I said I was going to name a continent. Thank God I ain't saying nothing. Yeah, we have all of Africa with a whole lot of countries in Africa. We have Um, all of Asia with a whole lot of countries. (laughs) You asking the wrong person. I skip every day at school. (laughs) Every day. Every day. Can we skip me and come back? God dang, you ain't you don't no. want to take no vacations? Yeah, but like we got a whole lot of islands. That's countries too. Oh, Jamaica's a country. No. Yeah. Oh, oh, period. So Jamaica. <laughs> um, what is Haiti? That's a country too. You said Haiti? Yeah, head. Haiti is a country. Haiti and Barbados is a country or no? Barbados, wait, Barbados is definitely a country. All right, yeah. so Barbados, Jamaica, and what did I say? Yeah. Haiti, yeah, Jamaica, yeah, yeah, yeah. And Barbados. Yeah, okay. yeah, that's good. Okay. And what about you? Oh, let me fix your mic too. Hold up. Can I say but the no, same ones as her? Yeah, we're hmm. me. Yeah, yeah. Name your. Country. Oh, I mean, I don't know no countries. I just told you I skipped every day in school, but I can tell you where I would visit. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. Well, no, no, but they got to be a country. Uh, and I can't tell you but what it can't be like a city or or. Oh, obviously not a city. I would want to visit like Japan or oh, that's Barbados a... or. She said Barbados, but Japan is one. But I said somewhere I want to visit. I didn't say she I was. Stole, oh, right. she stole mine. What? Where, stole where else? Mm. Switzerland? I want to go to Switzerland. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like we all kind of saying the same thing. Um, I don't know. Besides, like, Japan and. Is Haiti a country? She, she said, said that. that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's China. <laughs> Word. Of, like Croatia. Bro, it's mad countries. Name <laughs> Think about the little Asian man that want to blow stuff up. Kim Jong Un. Dominican Republic. Is that a country? There you go. DR. Okay. That's Dominican Republic. Um. We're we're Spain. Kim, we're. You said no. you said Spain. It's Spain. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, where's, where's Kim Jong Un at? North Korea. Okay, there you go. North Korea. North Korea. North Korea. Cause she already no, said she three, said so I'm taking North so Korea. If, if, the, look, if there's a North, then there must be South a... Korea. Okay. <laughs> Can we go to oh, look, I'm stupid. No, no, that was That's one. A... You need two more. No, because she said three, so I'm taking North Korea. Mm-hmm. That's fair. Uh, uh, man, yeah, she can't choose another. Anyways, next chat. Uh, <laughs> We got uh, Nitty77 sends him $5. Cooley, uh, Cooley, shout out to you and the show from Philly. To you guys up there in the, in the valley. Hey, bro, appreciate you, man. Hey, you ride in Philly, bro. Uh, it's just... only like an hour, 15 minutes away, man. Um, so I appreciate the support, bro. Um, we got uh, Yazabella sends in $2. Um, what do you think a woman of God is? Good question. Going to start. We started here last time. Let's start here. What do you think a woman of God is? I'm not a... <laughs> I don't know. Do you believe in God? I, I do, but I'm not, like, super, like, spiritual and, like... You don't got to be spiritual. You just, what is your per... What's your, you know, idea of a woman of God? Someone with morals. 
know. Good morals or bad morals? Good. Okay. But I, I don't know, because I honestly feel like people that claim they're a person of God are really not anymore. I know people sins. can claim like, some. People claim things all the time. People claim <laughs> that they be uh, at McDonald's, but they ain't flipping burgers. They barely doing a job. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we know people lack in all areas. But what is a woman of God that's not lacking in areas? Okay, you said good morals. Yeah, okay, good. Cool. Like, we leave it there. I good morals. Know. What I'm about you? Not a woman what of is God, a woman of God? Um, I don't know. Like she said, good morals. Um, and just speak up in the mic a little bit. Go closer. There you go. Like she said, good morals. Um, I think someone who is very empathetic. Uh, I don't know. Someone that's. Like they say, a woman of God works up, wakes up in the morning at 5 a.m. and she does this, this, that, and a third. I can't say it'll be, it would be for me to be hypo, hypothetical. Hypocrite. I would be a hypocrite. Is a, is a, is a woman of God? Off. Is a woman of God gonna have a guy in friend zone that no. they know that that guy want to smash? No. Oh my God! See, nobody's a woman of God right. then. Yeah. Right. And, and if they are, they say they are, they lying. <laughs> I don't know why uh -huh. that is measured. Uh huh. Uh huh. Um, Someone that saves himself? I don't. Okay, move it on. We'll move right along. I just really know I'm not religious at all, so I wouldn't even know from a hole in the wall. Okay, but you got married. You got that ring. Okay, what does that have to do with? Well, oh marriage, is, marriage is a religious a religious thing, right? Just so, necessarily, it's just mar I mean, it's well, the not... word marriage is between a man and a woman, and it's, that's from, it's a religion, it's a word that derives from religion. But some people are probably atheists and still get married. That doesn't mean that the word doesn't mean, I mean that it doesn't come from, that it didn't derive from religion. I can't, I can't speak for my husband, but I definitely don't feel like that's what tied us together. Like, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you, I mean, you got the ring. You're the only one with the ring. You can't. You don't know what a woman of God is. <laughs> no. Just I okay. definitely feel like my relationship is different than most already. <laughs> okay. Do you think you got married because you have good values? Yes. Okay. What's some of those good values? <laughs> I listen. I endure. <laughs> I educate. I learn. Okay. I inspire. Okay. Inspire her, your men. Yeah. Okay. And vice versa. And he inspires you. Absolutely. Okay. All right. What do you think a woman of God is? Somebody that saves their soul for marriage. Somebody that now holds their self to, like, some type. Like, they hold their self-accountability for every action and choice that they make, if that makes sense. Okay. They hold their self-accountable. Okay. How Take accountability. Accountability is good. Uh, that's good. You got any more or no? You go to her if not. Yeah. What about you? I believe if somebody says they're a woman of God, that means they are devout to one religion, whether it be Christianity or whatever. They live their entire life based on that book's scripture, whether it's Muslim and they dress in hijab and they follow that word religiously. I believe if you're going to say you're a woman of God, whatever religion you subscribe to, you follow that fully, you live your life in accordance to that religious book. That's what I feel. Oh, uh, when If I was to say I'm a woman of God, that's what I would be trying to relay, that I follow this book and that's my religion and I don't do anything, or at least I try not to do anything outside, outside of, of course, the, to that book the, the, that the I follow doctrine. religiously. Okay, okay, fair enough. Um, okay, good question. Um, Yazabella, I think I'm saying that right. I'm horrible at reading names and horrible at remembering names, so... Um, sorry, chat. <laughs> uh, but thank you for that super chat. Uh, we have AZ sends in $2. Frank Castle, the dread <laughs> girl. <laughs> uh, nah, man, no Frank Castle, bro. Uh, shout out to Myron from Fresh and Fit. I know that's where y'all um, get the kicking out the girls from the Frank Castle. So shout out to him. But nah, man, she's a good sport. She's chilling. She hasn't been disrespectful. We've just been having a conversation. So I'm never going to kick out a girl where, you know, when a girl is not disrespectful at all. Um, but Appreciate the support, bro. Uh, we have Stephen Jordan sends in two dollars. Come on, bro. <laughs> I'm not reading this chat. <laughs> what does it say? That's the that's the uh, that's the, uh <laughs> that's that's the uh, his money. <laughs> he wants his birthday. Did you ask his birthday? That's the producer back there. Sent in two dollars. 
<laughs> no, you, he sent the money. You gotta yeah, answer it. Yeah, you gotta answer it. Is, is most the, of the chat answer? asking? Yeah. Uh, what? Is most of the chat asking? Was they yeah. asking or no? Yeah. Nah, yeah. you capping. It wasn't yeah. asking. He's sending two dollars. That asking. definitely counts. <laughs> All right, I, we'll, I we'll all tell our that. birthdays. Go ahead, you first. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Look at me, nah, polite, nah, empathetic. Nah. <laughs> like, nah, your nah, feelings. Nah, lying. Y'all not being empathetic. Y'all not being empathetic. Straight lying. Um, May 14th. There you go. I knew it was a Taurus, right? He's a Taurus. Taurus. Yeah. She was He's right. a Taurus. She was correct. Taurus. She was correct. Um, but anyways, we have uh, <laughs> King Carnal sends in $2. Uh, Dreadhead, <laughs> trigger, Dreadhead Triggered Stripper. Who hurt you? <laughs> why am Yo, I triggered? What, what am I triggered about? How, and why do I have to be hurt by anything? What, are, what have I said that makes me feel hurt? Just because I have an opinion doesn't mean I'm hurt. And what do you feel I was triggered by if you feel I was triggered? Have I been screaming or doing anything derogatory or telling anybody... You're a bad person, and you. I don't think I'm triggered by anything. I'm sitting here flowing with the conversation and enjoying the conversation. I don't feel triggered, but if you feel I'm triggered, I'm sorry for you. That's very unfortunate, beloved. Okay. Uh, we have Hurry. Queen Lala sends in $2. How are their relationships with their mom and dad question Ooh, that's deep. Ooh, good question um, good question tea, bro. Uh, we started here last time so we're going to start with you so um how's your relationship with your mom and dad well happy birthday mom number one happy it's birthday. my mom's birthday oh, it's my birthday shout out to moms celebrated my mother this morning for her birthday what you get her um my mom right now she actually broke her achilles tendon so mm -hmm. she just she didn't want anything but to get out of her cast, and I couldn't do that. So I just made sure I cooked everything that she could have wanted to eat. I made sure I had her a cake. I made sure I just brought everything to her. Like, okay. everything that she could have thought of, I brought it to her because she could. She can't move. So I brought it to her, um, and I don't. Okay. Fair enough. All right. You say, and what's your relationship with uh, with your dad? We uh, we don't really have one. God dang, man. We could tell. Uh, come Not on, Steve. Really. You out, we need the camera switch. <laughs> but that's by my choosing. So I it again. God dang, we could tell. No, I'm throwing questions. I'm I was about to say, because there's plenty of women that have fathers that act all different sorts of ways. So I don't really think whether or not you have a father or mm -hmm. some people don't have a mother and they act all sorts of ways. So I don't think. There's such well, thing as it's, there is a such thing as a father that does is facts on it too, not it's just very my important own opinion. To have a father in yeah, your yeah, life, yeah. But no I don't think it. one type of person, like, oh, you're fatherless, because there's people who have have fathers that act the same as people yeah, who don't yeah. have. But fathers. generally speaking, so, studies was done that a single mother, uh, a single father household does just as good as a uh, as a two parent household, mm -hmm. but a single mother household does worse okay. so therefore single fathers fathers right the reason why they do better um because fathers are the disciplinarian and children just tend to uh respect and listen at like adhere to a father when they're disciplining them right i'm not disagreeing with you so, at all. just i don't agree with you saying Oh, I can tell you didn't have a father. Well, I think that's well, somewhat. Well, no, rude. no. Well, it isn't rude. It and it if, isn't. I mean, I get to determine if I felt like a comment was rude. You might not admit that I'll wasn't your why. intent. I'll explain why it isn't rude, right? Um, because I grew up without a father too, right? So, and it's it was. I'm 34. You were correct when you said it in the beginning when it came to age. So, I mean, uh, I lacked and slacked a huge majority of my life on many things. Wasn't assertive, wasn't dominant on a multitude of things. You know, but I had to, I had to get there, right? Now, especially if I had a masculine, if I had a masculine father around, life would have just been, I would have been you know, in a better, better, I would have been in this position in my life much earlier is what I'm saying. Right. Okay. Right now I'm great. Life is beautiful <laughs> for me. But what I'm saying is I, wh what I said was, I'm saying that it's not rude. And this is how I'm going to explain it because most girls that are, are on stripper poles either dealt with daddy issues or they have or they don't have a father. It's the lack of a father around. The reason why uh, is because uh, the father is a disciplinarian, a good father, a good father that the daughter can actually feel, uh, accept the father's love. Because sometimes a father could be around, but the mother is 
uh, pushing the daughter away from the father by instilling bad views into the daughter because the mother is just toxic herself or the relationship between a mother and father is toxic in general. And then mother would use innuendo, which is gossip and character destruction to instill a, a bad, uh, a flawed view of the father into the daughter, which then the father would, uh, then the daughter would uh, look at her father uh, like shameful and, and wouldn't disgusting. appreciate the father mm -hmm. and look at him as like, you know, disgusting. Uh, but so that's that situation. But if the father is around and the, and the relationship is healthy, that wouldn't happen. The other side of it, single mothers that don't have a father around, there's no discipline, it's zero discipline, right? So that means that the daughter or the son Fathers keep daughters off the of stripper poles and it keeps, uh, you know, sons generally from doing degenerate things like going to prison and selling drugs. That's what it normally does. Uh, now, I'm not saying that there aren't exceptions to the rule. Like, you know, those two kids, you know, Billy, he grew up with uh, two parents and in a rich neighborhood living in the suburbs and he still shot up a school. We know that <laughs> uh, he just has some emotional, tra emotional traumas and maybe some situations was going on in the household. It had to been. That's why he wasn't uh, always there in the head. Uh, mental suffering from a mental illness, from a lack of fatherly guidance and stuff like that. So obviously the father was lacking in some area. But generally speaking, uh, fathers keep daughters off of stripper poles and sons out of prison because fathers are the disciplinarians. So when you said that you didn't have a father, I said, ah, I could kind of see why. It wasn't well, shade. It okay. was just like, I figured. And, and, okay, and in my personal opinion, I if I felt like it was rude, because you're using that stripper pole comment, and now you're using that as that defines my whole character. And because it, I didn't have a father, that's I didn't how say I ended it does up. Defy your whole but character. that's what it made me feel. I'm not saying yeah. that. That's what, and that's why I said the way you said it. Because sometimes it's not what you say; it's how you say it. And the way you said it, it came off for me personally a bit insensitive and a bit rude. So your intent might have not have been rude. But for me, it felt rude, and I'm got you. to feel that. Got That's you. So I let me, saying. I get you what you're saying. So let me ask you a question. If something is true, can it be rude? I don't agree that what you said was true, so. Well. And if I something mean, is true, it can still be rude. Being true. I can say something rude as hell to somebody and it still be true. It doesn't negate that it's rude. It's a fact, but it's still rude. I could have said something that's a fact in a more polite way. Got or, you. Let me ask you another it, question. It wouldn't have been Let rude. me ask you another question. If someone gives you a fact, but your interpretation of that fact is rude well, or it affects your it feelings, fact? Can we... is it still a fact? Like what makes it a fact? <laughs> well, the, well, I didn't make it a fact. And you that's, made and it that's, a fact. No, no, what did I make a fact? Is my point. Got you. So I, you've said that you was you was raised without a father, right? That's a fact that you didn't have a father around. And then I also gave my own experience why I didn't have a father and why I lacked masculinity at, at a young age. Right, and right? that was your opinion. No, 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 no. Listen. That's a fact on both of us. I'm literally. Well, that was a fact. Listen, and then listen, you listen, gave listen, your listen, listen. Afterwards. No, no, listen. I'm literally explaining it to you and me. How two people cannot have a father and how two people I'm not even I'm coming up at myself too. Right? So I'm I'm doing this for a reason to be empathetic with you actually, to let you know, know that it isn't just you. I with fathers not that. around and it affects everybody, right? So I'm not trying to gate on you or being rude to you. That's why I spoke about myself too. But what I'm saying is, yeah, it's a fact because a lack of father, a lack of a good father leads kids, society astray that's that's what it does it leads to degeneracy so uh i like masculinity when i was young because i didn't have a father you ended up on a stripper pole because you didn't have a father that's it's not the same. true that's <laughs> okay. not true though because all right well, if i just true. said i i'm not on a stripper pole right now how do you feel like that's my pipeline uh, i mean it's it's Causation doesn't. But either way, I, I, I can agree. I, even if I agree with your fact, it still doesn't change the point that if I felt like right then the the comment you made, even though the intent it was to make me a slight butt of a joke for a little bit, it, it was slight because laugh. Because I spoke about myself too. You, but but before you spoke about yourself, you wouldn't have spoke about yourself if I didn't say, well, I felt like that was no, kind of rude. No, I always speak about myself. But because if in that moment, if I wouldn't have said, hey, I felt no, like no, that no, was a I bit still would accord. I always do it. In the okay. beginning, when we had a, it's very simple, ladies. Even when we spoke about the empathy thing, and I spoke about women having guys in the friend zone, 
Then what did I do? I spoke about men having girls in a friend zone. Mm -hmm. I did this so you can experience, so I can give you the equivalent, because men and women aren't the same. So when I speak about women, I have to speak about men too. I'm not one of these podcasts that just get on women all the time. It's not, this, is, this is not what this is about. I'm literally trying to be genuine to you, even though I think what you do is degenerate. <laughs> and I, I'm saying it. I've been saying it. Yeah, any girl that's dancing, you okay. don't know at what level I'll I give, do I'll, it. You I'll, made an assumption. I'll, I'll, I'll never give, clarified. <laughs> I'll, I'll give you some uh, some jewels. I'll put some jewels right here so you don't feel as bad, okay? I don't, or feel, you don't feel bad anyway. about anything. All I said was I felt like what you said to me was rude. That's got all you, I got said. You. Well, well, guess what? What I say actually helped girls out. Okay. I had another girl on the panel. She That's stripped fine. on a pole. Uh, she was older than you because you're young. She was uh, about 31 years old. Uh, and she came on a podcast three times. Every time she came on a podcast, she would ask me questions. Well, you know, coolly, is it because of this? Is it because of, you know, lack of fathership? Like, why am I on a poll? Like, why did I choose this, this and this? Like, you know, she was looking for answers and I didn't hold back at all. I gave her the truth. And, I, and she came back because she was like, dang, she never heard the truth before because I wasn't a dude that was trying to sleep with her. Mm -hmm. So I'm able to give a girl the truth. If I was trying to sleep with one of y'all, then I'd be like, uh, girl, slide down them poles. I don't really am. Actually, slide down my pole. I'll be saying some weird beta male, you know, kind of dude that's just looking to smash. But I'm not doing that because I ain't trying to sleep with none of y'all. So I'm giving y'all the facts and keeping it very no fugazi. So with that being said, to make the story very concise, she came back once. She was a stripper. We talked about it. The chat was eating her up just like they eating you up, right? She came back oh, again. Wait, the wait, chat wait. was eating her up again, and I was eating her up too. She came back the <laughs> third time, and it finally sunk. And guess what? Then two weeks later no three weeks later i seen her at the gym she walked up to me and she said coolie guess what i got great news i said what she said i stopped stripping i said wow why she, your podcast helped a lot every time i came on and the advice that you gave me you really you know opened up my eyes and it was something that you know i came to the conclusion that you know it's just not something that it's ever going to make me feel good and that's it's not something that i want to do and that's it's not anything that i should be doing and i see the effects that it's doing in my life and i want to make change and good change i said you know what i'm proud of you i shook her hand and i said have a good workout but afterwards you know what i was like i'm not going to stop right i'm not going to stop speaking the truth I'm not going to stop when a girl comes on here and she's doing, you know, sliding down in poles or doing OnlyFans. I'm not going to get on it. But if the issue tends to come up sometimes and we're talking about things where I could then give actually truthful advice to and guidance to, I'm going to do it instead of not doing it. Because if I got one stripper off the pole, I can get plenty of more. We got to keep it no fugazi. <laughs> That's what we got to do. Okay. We got to keep it no fugazi here and get all the strippers off the pole. And uh, maybe one day I do an all males panel. Yeah. I'm gonna have to box some of these niggas though, because um, <laughs> really? niggas is just they not gonna listen. You bro, let's get put on the boxing gloves, get in the ring. You over here selling weed. You over here, you know, uh, lack masculinity and you not asserting yourself and not dominant. Catch these hands. We are gonna have to catch this fade. It's much different when it comes to men. But men generally just tend to actually respect the hierarchy mm -hmm. and respect what a man is saying instead of getting emotional. So I don't even see the boxing happening. But uh, yeah, let's move right along. Actually, ladies, do y'all have any? What you got? It's lagging a little bit on the stream. What, that's what they said? Mm -hmm. oh. I mean, I'm watching it, too. Okay, and that's what they said, though, too? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. The, is the audio and video lagging? No, no, no. Just the video. Just the video is lagging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's going in and out, though. Like, it'll be, like, straight fine for a second, and then it'll start lagging. What's the recording on there? Is it still recording? Yeah. Should we turn it off? Oh, no. What's the time on the recording? It should be in the right-hand corner. Um, How much time left? Five minutes? Mm -hmm. Okay, fair enough. Now that's good. Um, let's see here. Let's get through the super chats and then we're just going to, um, you know, wrap up the show because we've been so already rocking. Answer that question yeah. Or are we just that question ended that real question. quick. Yeah. What, wait, what question? The mom the, and, dad. Mom and yeah. dad, if they were in our lives. Oh, dang. Yeah, we can get to that. We, we'll have you answer that question because that is a good question. Um, hold on. Let me see why it's lagging. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Like, I even see it on the thing here where it's wearing like the red. It might have been because the viewership. The, the viewership okay and then we got yeah we a lot of people went out because it's lagging too yeah, no, no. okay um hmm let's see what we could do on that uh yeah it's not gonna be much we could probably do right now so i'm gonna just get through the super chats and we gonna wrap up here 
and finish it up. Uh, let's so actually let's have y'all answer actually. Um, so with you, what's your relationship like with your mom and father? Um, my relationship with my dad is really good. He's like my best friend. Um, and then keep going around. I'm gonna help you out back here, Steve. After you done, then you go. Me and my mom could be closer. Like I feel like my dad was just like more of more emotional support. He was more involved in what I was doing growing up, or like I don't know, just being there more. Like my mom was always working like a lot and raising me and my brothers and sisters. Like she didn't have time to touch base with each and every one of us all the time. Per, I love that for you though. <laughs> I don't know. My mom was my father, so there's that. I was raised by a single woman, really? and then. I got a stepfather, amazing, immaculate. I love him. <laughs> the sun, the moon, the stars. My real father, kick rocks. Kick him. <laughs> <laughs> um, me and my mom are very, very close. I take her opinions and everything she says, and I go with it. Um, me and my dad, on and off, when it's good, it's good. When it's not, it's not. But my stepdad, that is my daddy, so... Um, me and my mom, don't get me wrong, she's, she's my best friend, um, but me and my mom are, like, the same person, so we bump heads mm -hmm. way too much, um, but my mom was a single mother as well of three, so she definitely did her thing, um, my dad, he came around when I was about 16, so he's kind of in and out, it's kind of, you catch him when you can, um, but... This I, this I'm kind of coming at you from that like stripper comment ended up on polls. Okay. I didn't have my dad. I didn't end up on a poll. So I feel like it's just it, it's a choice thing. Like I yeah, chose not. Choice. I, I was a dancer, but I was a competitive dancer. Yeah. So I every, wasn't an ex it is a choice, dancer. but it's like what influence things have to influence have your choice, right? So when when we're speaking about things before before you make a choice, right? You think about something. Before you think about something, something influenced your thought, right? So I'm saying that a father, right, you're just an exception to the rule. Um, because a, a father that's around influences your thinking, which then affects your choice. And then it alters your choice. A father that's not around influence thing is not around so nothing is there to influence that masculine guidance is still going to influence your thinking then affect your choice so yeah kudos to you you don't have a father and i i can father. agree with you with that but i feel like as far as like choosing to be a stripper i feel like having your dad in your life doesn't have anything to do with that mm -hmm. for question, the simple though. fact oh but for the simple fact of like i know of a lot of females that have had their dad that was a very big part of their life mm -hmm. that ended up, ended up strippers. Right. Mm -hmm. I feel like having your dad is more or less like gonna help you in a relationship aspect of being choosing the right male. Yeah, because yeah. Well, it and, isn't even is more than choosing the right male. Like think about it, you're right. It's choosing the right male. A part of choosing the right male is having discernment. A part of having discernment is having discipline. You can't discern to make good judgment on things if you're not disciplined because then that means that your views would be skewed, right? Because you're not disciplined, so how can you really judge someone else because your view your it's, it's foggy to you. Your vision is vapious. You can't really see things clear well, because because you lack it within yourself. So I'm saying that a father that is instilling good traits into the kids disi and disciplining them, and fathers make a virtuous woman. Fathers make a man of integrity. That's what it is, right? So fathers turn women into ladies and fathers turn boys into men by instilling certain things. And I'm talking about good fathers. Now, okay. I know yep. that you still made some good decisions in your life. So you're using an anecdotal experience to put it on a general statement, right? An anecdotal experience is just an exception to the rule. That's what you got going on. Guess what? I'm an exception to the rule, right? I grew up in the hood. I don't cuss, drink or smoke or do any of those things, right? But all of my friends indulge in that. But I've never done it because it still is a choice, right? But then we have to understand that everyone, we all have different perceptions and how we perceive things. So, uh, you know, uh, a woman that's not, that doesn't have a father, 
um, versus a woman that does have a father and that's guiding her. Well, guess what? She could have got influence. Well, they always being influenced by culture and society and their peers and boyfriends and stuff like that. Both girls got influenced by both. Right. But then it's like what actually what influence actually impacts the decision making. Right. So a girl that didn't have a father, but didn't end up on a stripper pole. Other influences just happened to impact her more. So that's what affected her choice. But the girl that did have a father and maybe ended up on a stripper pole. Well, she just took a liking to those other outside influences and that but, impacted her choice there. Can I but add not that? only wait, that, wait, wait, can I, listen, can not I only question, that, though? I got you. Not only that, it gets even deeper. Generally speaking, and not only generally, this is like pretty much factual almost, right? So if a man is a good man and a good father and leading his daughter in the right direction, meaning that he's being perspicacious and aware of things, right? He's truly protecting his daughter. He's aware that, listen, if it, if her do if he doesn't instill certain things into his daughter, then uh, then the outside world is going to instill things because everyone is being programmed. We're all being programmed by life, right? When we go outside, when we watch TV, when we scrolling on Instagram, when we in the school talking to the teacher, when we at the job, when we in a relationship, that's all programming, right? But when you have good parents. They know like, OK, people are going to program her program our kids anyway. So let me prepare them for the program programming and program some good things, some blockers in there, some things that's going to block out all that degenerate stuff. Right. So that's what it is. If you can program some block, some blockers in there, some defense in there, then that's going to help guide the kids and lead them on a good straight path. But what you got? I have a question for like both of you, to be honest, because I don't feel like she's ever said that she was an act like a I'm going to say actual stripper, like she's on the pole getting money thrown at her well i definitely well, feel the like chat already wait. called that out she never said it and that's what they called wait, it but out my question well, is she did say it but my question is for you is that is stripping the same as pole fitness because there's people that do pole mm -mm. fitness mm -mm. and people still have that judgment we 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 already we already differentiated the two me and her in the beginning i said we already agreed that she do it for the exercise and the physical standpoint as far mm. as dancing on a pole. She said she was already dancing on a pole before she started doing that for work. I said, yeah, that's totally fine. Like, if you dance, if you get your exercise, climbing that pole and doing tricks on there, that's cool. Do your thing. But then when you do it so, the, so guys could see and throw money at you, well, that's a different thing. I ain't nobody to judge, right? But go ahead and do your thing. But the chat was just calling that out because she wasn't concise and clear about about what she was doing. That's all it was, okay. which I don't even care about. Yeah, go ahead. And like probably like y'all too. Um, like when you said like growing up with a good father type. Yeah. Like I feel like probably me personally. Like hey Steve, I is it good? No lag. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I wouldn't good. think to probably become a stripper just because like how me and my dad was and like what morals. Like, he brought up from what his mom showed him and his family, like, so much. Like, I've, I, if I was to be a stripper, I would think, like, what would my dad think of me if I, if he was in the crowd? Like, why, mm -hmm. like, what would I do if my dad was in the crowd? Or what would I do if my dad's friends are in the crowd? Like, So, nine times out of ten, though, a female that is stripping, that does have her father, guarantee her dad don't know about it. No, I could defer. One of my friends has a great relationship with their dad. And she still strips. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. Her all dad using her dad knows, her mom knows, everybody knows. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's yeah, that's a chilling. the father failed. Trust but me. But it's about what you. I'm a father. If my daughter morals. ever end up on a stripper pole, trust I come on this podcast and be like, probably in tears, like <laughs> I failed. I just don't think I can do in life. I was broken. I didn't, didn't do really my job. That's what it would be because at the end of the day. Uh, that's a father's worst nightmare. I bought a couple extra guns. I told y'all my daughter just got a period like a couple weeks ago. She's 11 years old. I'm like, oh, I got to get more <laughs> guns. She can get pregnant now. Oh, I got to get strapped up. I'm out here with it. Nah, I'm joking. But anyways, uh, anybody else? Did we, did we, I think we're that ready question, for the right? next question. Mm -hmm. All right, next question. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so we have... Uh, no. Ooh, make a wish. What? Yeah. Period. Oh. 
Okay, we got some more super chats, and then um, we're gonna get to last thoughts on the podcast, ladies. Thank y'all. Um, we got Pro Sports Debate sends in two dollars. He says, "When is Cooley going on whatever or fresh and fit?" Uh, good question, man. Um, as far as fresh and fit, I'm open to going on both of those podcasts, man. Um, uh, I support both of those podcasts. You know, keep doing your thing. No hate over here, bro. Um, yeah, uh, you know, uh, maybe sometime in the future. You know, we can make that happen. If y'all want me to go on those podcasts, I would say when they go live, just go in their chat and support. What's up? Uh, go. We're gonna do it later in the show. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I'll I'll do the I'll do the announcement too. Um, but yeah, go go in. Uh, if you want me to go on those two podcasts, what you could do, man, the best way, um, uh, just go. Uh, all my supporters. When those channels go live, if you do watch Fresh and Fit and, and whatever podcast, when they go live, um, go in their podcast and support. Send in a super chat and say, hey, I would like you guys to um, host No Fugazi podcast and bring on Cooley or do a collaboration. Um, if you spam them and keep messaging them, uh, you know, that'll, that'll make it happen much easier because at the end of the day, it's a value exchange. Those two podcasts are big podcasts. My podcast has been blowing up and going viral, viral. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, those are two podcasts with um, a lot of uh, leg room in the game. Uh, I'm only I only hit a year. They've been around for years. But other than that, um, but shout out to them, bro. Uh, other than that, we have Rob Jeezy sends him five dollars. Hey, Cooley, shout out to the shout out to the dopest podcast out. Appreciate that. My question for the ladies, what are three values of man that will make you all submit to the man? So what is three values of a man that will make you submit to that man? Uh, let's start with you. Genuine. Um, Wait, what'd you say? Oh, you What's said three values, values? Values of a man. Wait, what, what'd you say? If they're genuine, honestly, someone that. Oh, genuine. Okay. Yeah. One. Um. Someone Damn, men suck. <laughs> really Dang. Um, it, but it's the question is like to make you submit to him. Like what does a man have to do? Like what values he has to have within himself to make you be like, Yeah, daddy, this all yours. You get whatever you want, you got Honestly, it. someone that has a soft side. I don't I don't a care. A man for that's that. vulnerable? There you go. Yeah, that's a good word. You like a man that's vulnerable. In certain situations, okay. yeah. Okay. What situation? Um, like if I'm trying to tell you about my feelings or something like that, um, how I feel about a certain situation. How you feel? I'd want him being vulnerable. If you're telling him how, but for you him feel, to, that, that means that he would be empathizing with you. Yeah. There you go. Okay. There. I guess. So empathy, that's empath not empathetic. vulnerability. Yeah. Yeah, because women aren't attracted to vulnerable men. Vulnerable when vulnerable when a man shows vulnerability. That is weakness. Y'all all want a leader, right? I don't think that's weakness. Let me ask, do y'all ladies want a man to lead the relationship and be a leader? Raise your hands. Want At times, you? but I know you they're not like always 50 -50. going to be. Huh? I definitely feel like 50-50. Yeah, okay, I don't... You, what about you? You want a man to lead you? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I... generally speaking, most of the ladies here want a man to lead, right? So part of leadership is sh showing strength, not weakness, right? You are in the army. Right. You are in the military. I was in the Navy. In the Navy. OK, you're in the Navy. Now, let's just say you used to do drills and stuff like that, too, where you have to, you know, work with guys and girls and stuff. Now, in the drill. Right. Who uh, who's going to be leading the sergeant or the lieutenant? One of them. Right. Mm -hmm. OK. So that's your leader, the sergeant or the lieutenant. And you report to them if the sergeant or the lieutenant and say if you're in battle and that sergeant or lieutenant is showing weakness. Right. Oh, huh. Wait, what's your name again? Taja. Taja. Uh, Taja. Uh, I don't know what we do, what we're gonna do, man. There's there, too too much too much bombs is going off. I I don't know what to do. And he's he's like you know pretty much crying and just not showing any leadership capabilities. You gonna look at him and be like, okay, who's the next in charge? <laughs> right. So what I'm saying is that a, a a woman in a a woman in a relationship with a man, when that man shows vulnerability, what she what she starts to do, l find another man. Absolutely. She not. looks for another man. You may but not you think that it's for a, everyone. It, so what I'm saying oh, is no. that what I'm saying is that it's not going to happen. It, it wouldn't happen instantly. But if the man continues to be vulnerable and show weakness, 
you will start to have one foot out the door in time is what I'm saying. Because women yearn for masculinity and men yearn for purity. It's just like if a woman is just doing just disgusting, nasty stuff, isn't cleaning, she's being dirty, which we would have women because we purity, like clean, right? Smell good, like do good things, clean up around the house, like turn a turn the house into a home, right? It's all these type we, we like these things about you, right? And it is natural. So if you go against those those things in time we're going to lose attraction for you just like for a man you're looking at him for guidance masculinity assertive dominance a protector and a provider if he starts to go away from that in time you will start to lose attraction for him it's just a way of life I guess mm, I don't yeah. know uh huh uh huh bitch I like that yeah I got yeah anyway y'all ain't got nothing for that but, do y'all I mean we do I don't know I feel like I'm okay what you got <laughs> Well, I mean, my, I I agree with what you're saying. I I I'm a person. I've been married. I'm divorced now. I've been in 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 both who di- who gender divorced roles. Who? who divorced who? I don't even know how to put that because. Well, who 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 uh, gave the divorce papers? It it doesn't work like that in our situation because we well, yeah, were was separated that married legally? for yes we were but we were separated for a year before it, it became legal before it became okay legal. got so, you but still who gave the divorce papers like it who? was kind of a a mutual it's okay something but happened in our relationship go no something happened in our, our relationship that it was like a point of no return okay for I got you we not us. talking about all that I want the facts who went to the courthouse and signed up papers and then delivered it to the other person who initiated it he did okay he did got you now let's move it step let's move it a step back y'all was living together when y'all was married yeah he lived oh. in my home he lived in your home did you kick him out or he went or he left. He had to leave. Okay, illegally? Uh, he had to leave. He couldn't stay there no more. I got you. So you kicked him out. Got <laughs> you. So, so therefore, you. I would say that you initiated the breakup, and therefore, and a year went by, he initiated the, uh, the divorce. So at the end of the day, uh, yeah, he was lacking in a, in a bunch of things, because, and that's why and I got the divorce. I was, I, I'm not going to sit here and act like I was all the way up to par, and I was the best damn you. wife but either. The but fact but is this. I, my point is that he couldn't lead you. Absolutely not. And and that's, you're right. And, and I, that's, that's why I said I point. never dis I, I did I disagree with your point? No. Mm-hmm. That's why I said I will give you that. Okay, one. got it. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Anybody else? No? All right. Well, not the same question. Wait, where the question at? Where we at? Um What three values of a man? Oh yeah, yeah. To submit to them. Yeah, yeah. Three values of you. What's your three values of men? Um that would make you submit. I would say dominant, um, educated. That's definitely my biggest one. You have to be educated. Um, educated, like you need a man to have a bachelor's or a master's? Something like, or at least trying to get be something in your life okay. besides just ambition. So, so, so you mean in the street, so amb- intelligent and amb- ambition. ambition for sure. I ain't got no dang degree. But you that's don't have story. you don't need no, a degree I, to be smart. That's what I was asking her. I was asking. I was asking. Is it education or is it intelligence? Because you can be intelligent and and. Then my and, thought. Let me rephrase that. Intelligence. Got but you. Because you. Can if be he has a degree that's preferred, or is preferred. trying to get a degree that's preferred. Okay. Because if I'm getting my degree, like I feel like we should be equally. But a, a, the a same degree in what? He can have struggle. a degree in social science, and that's trash. Education? Ain't gonna get him nothing. <laughs> Damn, degree you preferred. Just the, yeah. That's an indeed the people with job fucking degrees. What? Well, yeah, that 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 is that isn't a real degree. <laughs> And what? And what? What's not a real degree? <laughs> I said he can have a degree in like uh, gender studies or social science, which isn't a real degree. So it's like you pretty much you want an intelligent man. I got yeah, you. Yeah, Fair yeah. enough. Okay, okay, intelligence. What else? I said dominant. Okay, cool. Um. And I would say caring. Yeah, caring. Okay. And that's going to make you submit. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's going to make you cook. You Spanish? Mm-hmm. But equal, you going to cook that Spanish food every night if you like that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm, no, with the I'm rice and beans, mamacita, extra Man, sofrito. You, you going to do the, you gonna make the homemade sofrito? <laughs> No, I don't do all that. You don't do the homemade, so you gonna buy from Walmart? No. If the frozen kind. They got to eat the no frozen No man ever made me want to f- <laughs> homemade nothing. 
No man never Dean not even that man He's not gonna make you Want to home make this the, If he's like that Yeah so I'll gonna, home make whatever you want So you gonna home make The sofrito Whatever like you grandma want them. Whatever you want All If right. you have those qualities But if you're sassy Like I'm not making you shit Okay fair enough Why not <laughs> 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 Are you like a little sassy? I definitely feel like You gotta be yeah. open minded At least for me I'm a different yeah. breed of woman But Open minded for sure Communicative You definitely need to learn How to talk and definitely need to understand when somebody is speaking to you about their feelings. So, got it. And, and chat, sorry about that. We had some lagging issues um, about ten minutes ago in a podcast. Uh, the audio was still good, but it was lagging. It shouldn't be lagging anymore, so we good. Um, and I see our chats. We're gonna finish up the super, super chats too. Uh, good. And what about you? What will make you submit to a man? Three traits. Um, honesty. Um. Okay, let me let's play this out. You said honesty. I don't want you going to the club. I don't want you chilling with none of your single friends. Um, I don't want you wearing that stuff that's too revealing. Um, and actually, I want to have another girlfriend. See, that ain't honesty. That's just goddamn that's delusion. <laughs> I mean, you better get the hell out of here with that See? one. Look, look. Like, you got to bring it to... Like, come on, man. Right. See, if, if, if he's swiping his card for that. everything, then all right. All right besides the last one, what you going to do? You going to be like, yeah? You going to be like, yes, daddy. I'm gonna say yes, Daddy. If he's doing making, the other if things, he's doing everything else. Okay, so like, honesty. What else? Um, dang, my hat just went blind. It's all good. Uh, we could come back to you. What about you? Three things a man needs to have for you to submit to him. Great leadership skills, as in you know how to make the decisions that would benefit the entire household if you're the head of the household, not just you and your needs. That decision that you make benefits everybody in this household, from you to me to the kids in this household. Second, somebody who provides security, and I'm not just talking about some Oh, and for I don't I'm not, I'm not insecure. I'm never worried about no other female if I'm in a relationship. I'm talking about security. Like if I'm out with you in public, I can turn my brain off if I need it or wanted to because my man is watching yeah. from all angles and nothing is going to happen to me. Nobody is going to hurt me because I'm secure with this man physically. And um, three, somebody that allows me the freedom to be myself and open-mindedness. That doesn't mean I'm going to be willy-nilly, but if I express my feelings to you in a conversation, what I say to you is valid, and you genuinely like the things that come out of my mouth, and you want to see me win. If I say, hey, babe, I want to try this business endeavor or whatever, whether it succeed or fail, I want a man who allows me that freedom and is genuinely happy to see mm -hmm. me try something. Gotcha. I got a question for you now, right? Because you said you want a leader, but then you pretty much said that you want your own freedom to do things. No, no, no. Not freedom to do things. Freedom to be myself because well, yeah, I have... Yeah, freedom to do things. Yeah, no, that's... no, 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 no. Those are two different things. Do things and be myself because you can... That's the same thing. Freedom me, of choice to do your no, thing. No, let me to explain. To be yourself. Can I explain to you why it's different to me and what I'm trying to articulate? Sure, Maybe my ahead. verbiage isn't correct, sure. but what I'm trying to yes, articulate yes. is... I'm not talking about physically do things. I'm talking about just simple expression because I have been in relationships where simply me expressing my opinion on something or saying something. It was shut down. Right. Or just that person make me feel bad about myself mm -hmm. because of the okay. way I think, breathe, or speak. I'm not saying anything that has to do with physical action. I'm literally just saying damn sir please just freaking like me and if i say something to you i'm not ostracized for myself the freedom to be myself as a person not freedom to i want to go out and do, like literally just you the freedom, freedom to, to express, express. yeah express yourself to him freedom of expression yeah okay I totally that. fine that is fine mm -hmm. yeah freedom of expression is so is totally fine um but at the end of the day if the man is a leader it's still with that we can still use that right if a man is a leader and a good leader, even with your ability to freely express yourself, if you expressing yourself, you, you want you saying that, well, you want him to still be accepting of things and stuff like that. If he's a good leader, she knows in the army, let's say there's level of things. What is it? A lieutenant. What's under the lieutenant? Uh, 
JG, which is like a junior lieutenant. A junior lieutenant. What's under that? Uh, ensign. So, okay, they're different. You know, Signs are different from Navy, Army, stuff like that. Let's just go with what you got, though. Navy. Let's go with what you know. Um. So lower ranks would be like a first class, second class, third class. Okay, let's do Above first them, class, we have the chief, ranks. Senior chief. Chief. All right, let's go chief. Senior chief, right? So he's the leader. He's the senior chief. And let's just go say you on... You know, you said first class, second class, third class. Say you on third class. You ain't you ain't a junior chief, but you third class, right? You rank third class. But he's senior chief. Uh, if the third class, um, uh, what is what are they called? Agents, uh, soldier. Okay, is the we're third sailors. Sailors, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if, the, we're sailors. if the third class sailor has an opinion and wants to express themselves to the senior chief. It could be expressed to the senior, hey, well, I think we should do this and maybe implement that. They'll hear that, like, they could hear it and maybe implement it if it's good because they're the leader. Or they can hear it and shut it down. That was that was nonsensical. Change your thinking, and they may even lead you to start thinking and instilling certain things in you so you can think another way. So you have to be accepting of a good leader because a good leader will do that. Who said I wasn't? Okay, it, I'm just letting you know. No, because and my whole point of the— wanting a man to have freedom to accept me, I wouldn't have chosen to follow this man if I didn't already like the choices and the decisions he made. So if I choose you as my leader, if I'm coming to you as my leader and say, hey, babe, this, this, that, and the third, I'm coming to you and this, this might be completely ridiculous and I'm expecting him to bring me back into reality and put uh -huh. me on the rails or I just came up with something brilliant and he's going to support it, or I'm in between it. You know what? This is but, good, but, and this yeah, is bad, know, and let's build on it. But you said something like, even if you fail, even if you want to do something, but even if you fail, you still want him to support. I'm saying... No, no, no. I'm not saying be delusional. Even if I fail, okay, babe, this didn't work. Don't let this stop you from doing anything. Okay. Try something else or try this new. I'm very open to good leadership. That is, she wants a leader, but also someone that's supportive. I, other two. I don't want yeah, a dictator. Right. I want a democracy. Yeah. <laughs> it yeah. it, you, you understand what I'm trying to no, say when I say saying. that. I don't want somebody to control me and condemn yeah. me. I want somebody to lead me in a path that's right and wrong, but it shouldn't be... Oh, you're the absolute leader, and yeah. nothing and I say is matter. Right. Like, I should, totally I should, I should, I should matter too. I got it. I got too. it. Yeah. All I'm saying That's is all that I'm all I'm saying is that if women tend to lead with their feelings anyway. Because y'all all do. Since you lead with your feelings, okay. you could have a masculine man that's really giving you a leader, that's really giving you advice on things and trying to lead you a proper way. But your feelings would get in the way. And you may think that he's controlling, but in truth and the truthfulness of it, he's just looking out for your best interest and for the best interest of the relationship. So Goes that's that I got you. you. So even. Yeah. Yeah. Goes but even if even if. uh so that's the thing. So even within that, you got these aspirations and these goals that you want to do, fine and dandy, great. But just be aware that if it gets shut down, don't be all emotional about it. I Trust wouldn't in that be man. like I said. I'm not. I'm not. I'm, not leader, I'm just speaking accept, in general. I'm I would speaking accept, in general. If I, if you were my man and I chose you as a good leader and you told me, baby, I don't think that's gonna work, I would accept. Girl, it. you'll be off that pole. That's what I'm talking about. You want to be on it? You don't know that I'm on it. I got my other two. What'd you say? My other two. Oh, word. Go ahead. You had a long time to think about it. They better be good. They're not. Uh -huh. They're <laughs> good, but honestly, I think they're good. honest. Right. All right, let's um, hear it. Honest, motivational, okay. and uplifting. Oh, okay. That's pretty much like the same motivational, uplifting, supporting, supportive. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. it. That kind of goes into, but it's good. What that's about good. generosity? I mean, I mean, if he being a, a I'm not talking about masculine man, stuff, he should be generous. She say cuck. She said generous. Yeah, yeah. Well, no, that's that's <laughs> good. Nothing wrong. We just want to know what it takes for you to be submissive. You y'all gave y'all, so that's what the chat wanted to know. Thank you for that. And I wasn't getting on the things y'all saying. I was just trying to see and pinpoint, like, mm -hmm. okay, uh, this sure this what you want? Because this <laughs> may be what you you gonna maybe get something else from that reaction. But that's all it was. Um, we got. Uh, Isabella sends in two dollars. She said, "What do you think the Bible teach you?" It's Isabella. Sorry, yeah, Isabella, I got your name wrong. Well, I mean, why the freaky got a Y in there? I guess is okay. Maybe it's another. Anyways, yes, Isabella. <laughs> uh, what do you think the Bible teach you? So, I mean, 
the Bible is a book of guidance. You know what I mean? Um, it's just a book of... It's, <laughs> What? <laughs> she kept yeah, her two I agree. Dollars. I agree. She could have kept question. that two dollars. We kind of already account. dug the other I'm question. Not lie. <laughs> we. I'm gonna just answer it, so y'all yeah. gotta answer it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna give the short bingo. answer. Queen's Fire, <laughs> they ain't finna answer this. Um, yeah, I mean, uh, the Bible is consists of multiple books, right? And it gives stories, and it gives it's it's a lot. It's a blueprint to life to how to live a good life and avoid problems and overcome problems um, within book. yourself and within community, within society and within a nation. So it's a book of guidance and it's a book to lead you on a righteous path um, for mm -hmm. the afterlife. You know what I mean? Because there is a life after this world. The world just doesn't end and that's it. We're all spiritual beings. And um, yeah, but yeah, that's pretty much what the Bible teaches. So it teaches morality, good morality. And it teaches good morality by a lot of giving, uh, talking about a lot of stories of bad morality and what leads to bad morality, like Sodom and Gomorrah and why that had to been destroyed because it was men sleeping with men and women sleeping with women. It was all these uh, degenerate uh, 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 things going on in that era. Um, <laughs> because he just reminded me of a question. I oh, you got a question? Sure, you can answer. You could go to your question. Um, this reminded me of the topic we were having earlier. Sure. About what you were saying about a gay man hanging with a straight man. Uh huh. So if you were friends with someone for years, say it's your childhood friend. I won't be his friend anymore if I found out he was gay. And actually, I'd be pissed off. That was. And question. actually. Okay. And he um, answered it <laughs> right away. Yeah. No uh, I'm, I'm, I'm okay. like, bro, you was hiding this this whole time. I like, I would have uh, uh, hypothetical re reality. I would have called it beforehand because if if it was one of my friends since we grew up <laughs> when we were young, I would have called it beforehand. Like, ah, oh, this thing a little too fruity. Let me slide. Or uh, you know, hypothetically, if say if I didn't catch it, then it's like, yeah, bro. Um, I mean, we could. Uh, it's no hate on it's a it's an action is not uh they weren't born that way so since it's an action uh it's like okay like i just opened what? a can of worms yeah ladies it's very simple i to don't you. smoke drink or cuss or do any degenerate behavior so my close fr i got friends Never. that i grew up with when i was you know 10 years old they're my best friends so but you think what? being gay no, no, is listen, a choice listen, listen, listen. is that what you're trying to yeah, say yeah yeah yeah. it is a choice but so being straight is a some choice of your friends and i yeah. feel like they're degenerate yeah yeah all of it is a choice it's interesting so let me finish ladies i'll give an example so i have friends that do degenerate stuff they smoke sure and they do. drink and they they do things right and those are my friends from a distance like when we were young we used to hang out but the distance I'm talking about myself, okay? The distance separated a lot as we got older, meaning that when we how much we hang out, how much we communicate, when we do things and stuff like that, the distance started to get greater over time as our values didn't align so much. We're still friends, but it was distant, right? So the same thing would happen if someone, if one of my friends came out the closet, it'd be distance just like that, right? It'd be like, okay, bro, are you still my dog and this and this i wish the best for you but it's a distance now that's all i'm saying but being gay yeah is completely different than choosing to smoke it's the drink, same exact thing it's a choice do drugs it okay, so time out let's break it down someone that's someone that uh uh is smoking weed they were they were influenced to smoke weed. They were peer pressured to smoke weed, unless it's a medical thing. If and a you're doctor bad like under pressure. no no unless it's a medical thing. And a doctor like guess what? You got glaucoma. You need the weed, right? <laughs> unless it's that. But let's just say that most people that smoke weed, right, and choose it's a choice to smoke That's weed. Definitely. And when they choose to smoke weed, it was peer pressured either by their peers or they were influenced by Snoop Dogg or other people in I society, disagree. and they chose to do that. I so agree. when I'm saying that someone that is gay, it is a choice. Well, some people can't figure it out. Uh, like why? Like why? Uh, they can't. They, I mean, they can figure it out if they truly, truly wanted to and truly thought about it and got some counseling and some guidance. But at the end of the day, it's all about what uh, uh, influenced your thinking and then what what 
uh, influence your choice because mm -hmm. after you think something, you're normally going to choose, you're normally going to act on it, right? So what influenced your thinking? And normally it starts at a young age. Maybe when a kid comes out the womb, they get the soft touch of the, fa of, of, of the mother. It's a very feminine touch. The, mm -hmm. the rough touch of the father is a more masculine touch. They hear the father's masculine voice. They hear the mother's feminine voice. They're going through life and, and puberty and all of these things and experiencing the world. And then they tend to find a liking to something because they experience it, things of their five senses. And when they find a liking to something, then guess what? They start to think about that. And then when they start to think about that, they make start to make a choice then. about something, mm -hmm. a decision. So a person that's gay, they weren't born like that. We weren't born anything but male or female. Everything is a choice. Just like someone that's that. going to kill, yeah, steal, or do any type of other that. behavior, good or bad, it's all choice. So what I'm saying is that uh, I'm black and I was born this way. That ain't no dang choice. So we're not going to compare the black struggle and the gay struggle because mm -hmm. they wasn't born with that. They, that's an action. What I My skin color is a, I was born this way. I ain't have no choice to be black. Dumb niggas chose to uh, uh, put their penis inside another man. But <laughs> I, honestly, though, because you, you, because you, you say it's a choice, and I, speaking from personal experience, my cousin is gay. Not he wrong. is got, very in touch with his sexuality. Gay. He knows what he you wants. He has Heck tried. No. He has <laughs> tried intercourse with a female. Oh, oh, okay, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No. He he has tried intercourse with a female. He did mm -hmm. not like. He did not like it. It wasn't something that turned him on. It wasn't a feeling that he could help. He couldn't just be like, "Oh, dick get hard." No, he's not sexually attracted to females. He's sexually attracted to males. He's been that way yeah. forever. And uh -huh. it's not because of someone influenced him. No, no, you don't get but, what I'm saying. So there's direct influence and indirect influence. So just like how our bodies move, like when something is like if a ball is being thrown at you, you automatically like this. You ain't think to do this, but you, you did it, reflux. right? It's a reflux, right? So where did the refluxes and everything come from? It all came from being, you know, it, it was all the things that your, what, that your body absorbed and your mind absorbed, your five senses, seeing touching tasting hearing and smelling all what your five senses absorbed and also other things based off of your biology like your hormone levels your estrogen and your testosterone levels and stuff like that it's a it could be a chemical thing too right within within your body it could be a multitude of things that influence your decision making right it could be a multitude of things that influence your decision making but even within that you are still born a male or a female and okay. whatever you act yeah. on any action is always a choice you can't deem an action as something that's not a choice because that's la la land right but what we are born with well that's what you are born with a man or a female but what you choose to do is different but and anybody else got being, yeah what, born what now. Saying, like there's like how you said like you don't feel like it's a choice to be gay like you feel like like that's just how you're brought up like like you said your cousin been gay like all his life he just don't get attracted to women you don't feel like you still like don't think being gay is a choice because it's, it's the attraction part. no because if that was the case i would choose to be gay i would choose to so, mess with females yeah, that's all the what time you, that's what you gotta not like be influenced but that's what you desire because of let me put it in a all right so if i was a boy and like i like he was saying the masculinity like my dad like i just heard his voice all the time and he was just being like strong powerful in the house and i didn't want that like i just wanted to be around my mom her friends all the time and i was like oh like maybe i want to start painting my nails or maybe i want to start doing this or maybe i want to start doing that it, like you start picking up after but i don't think a boy painting his nails or wearing dresses is gonna make him gay Absolutely. later down the line he wants to do that because he sees it but that doesn't mean that my seven-year-old son is now going to be gay because i he allowed him to paint his right. nails and put a dress on he right. chose to put a dress on and paint his nails that don't mean he's so gonna you think be people are born like, I do. Okay. So if you my, think my that cousin, people are born, my, 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 my cousin, died, my cousin so. didn't wear dresses. My cousin okay. didn't paint his nails. So, you wouldn't even know. So look, you I know, know what I'm talking about. I know. You wouldn't know my cousin was gay. I got I you. A question for you at a, at one yeah, I'll get you right after. It's very simple, right? If you believe in a notion that someone is born to act away, what's your opinion about people that are pedophiles? Do you think right. that they were born that way? My question. No. Is there's, so I mean, the there's psych studies like that so, so look, the simple so, fact of so their then, brain is functioned and their brain 
processes in a way well, to make them way. think no, no. that there's that no, is okay. Yeah, there's no studies that there's no studies that prove anything that someone was born uh, a certain type of way besides an XX chromosome and an XY chromosome. That's the facts. But the I'm, other not, things, I'm not even talking about gender. That's more of a psych on a psych level of things, a psych eval. Well, yeah, it is. There's it is. the way a pedophile's brain processes and the way my brain processes are completely different but i don't i don't go way? around it could have looking at, at little like, exactly yeah, what I'm it doesn't matter what age you are there can be a five-year-old little and boy that looks from at nothing or other little have from kids and touches something. other little there's yeah, no, plenty no, of yeah, situations y'all where y'all yeah, missed the point at the end of the day it's all perversion it is perverted it is going outside of what's natural right mm-hmm. so a man was born a man xy chromosome he has every inclination and tendency in a natural proclivity to find a small waist and wide hips and voluptuous breasts and a soft feminine uh, uh 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 essence of a woman attractive right he has everything in his biology tells him to find that attractive right everything in his biology right but he went out side of what's natural and he chose to find a liking to a to another man so it is not it isn't not a choice it he was in he chose to find a liking to that meaning that something influenced him to find a like to, to have a thinking for that find a liking to it and then act on what he was thinking about that's all it is that's all i'm saying so at the end of the day it's like uh then you got to say that well if someone was born uh, uh, gay, then there's people born actually attracted to kids. I mean, or like a grown man mm-hmm. that still wants a kid. No, wait, then there's people that's born actually uh, wants to, uh, uh, you know, attracted to animals and wants to do things with ant- like bestiality. No, in the Bible talks about all of this as well. We are all born within sin. We are all, all born with a sinful nature, right? Mm-hmm. Meaning that we are born a male and a female, but our nature is going to always pervert a little bit right in certain 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 situations will pervert a little bit and we'll find a liking or an attraction for something else based off of what we what we influenced by based off whatever influenced us impacted us the most right because we all get influenced by a lot of things but it's like what really impacted you to then have a thinking and then take on an action to that thinking because if the influence isn't that impactful then it's just gonna be like oh nah it's just like niggas in your dms right let's just compare let's just compare and contrast it right you got guys in your dm some dudes uh he 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 mid but the other dudes that's fly, he looked like he got stuff going on. He got a higher probability of getting your number and maybe linking. But the other dudes don't, meaning that the other dudes just di- wasn't impactful enough, like that other dude, right? right. But get, and it's something that it was that you that you wanted, right? That you that you liked in that other person. So what I'm saying is that some influences are impactful to people, and then other influences aren't. So <laughs> a man liking another man, I guess the masculinity essence was just a little bit impactful for him, to him to really be like well that's what i actually want yeah so that's all it is it ain't that hard to understand the same thing with pedophiles like it ain't that hard to understand but you're comparing but, pedophiles and gay people but it's the same dang thing because it's an action but it's it's the I mean, same you can't but you can't put you can't put a pedophile thing. and a okay. gay person and on the actually, same actually oh i got facts on is actually what they find is most pedophiles are gay because All it's perversion right. so when you are perverted one way you tend to go another way you're perverted in a multiple multitude of other things and there's studies on this we can look it up after the podcast most pedophiles actually report <laughs> that they are most pedophile men actually report that they are attracted to men i'm talking about the men i'm not That's talking about women nine times out of ten they rape men? little girls wait what nine times out of ten they're raping little girls bro what you talking about uh all the freaking um uh the the, the freaking uh the, the popes and all them they was touching little boys they wasn't touching but no little girls not gonna absolve but, okay, but they, girls they are not <laughs> attracted we they are, are not attracted to grown men statement. and half the time say... those pedophiles that are raping little boys oh, no, don't say rape. Are, oh sorry that are molesting little boys i guess we can use are that married <laughs> to a female <laughs> that that, whatever <laughs> that that are attracted to little boys yeah are more most times married to a female their attraction is to a little boy that's 
Yeah, like, people, like, I just, still can't compare. You just lost us, right? I think that like, comparison is like, where you lost us. Yeah. I just, what I, comparison? I would, a pedophile uh, and a gay a person. Yeah, like I don't. I, no, no, I, no, no, no. It's very simple, ladies. It, you're being lost because you're you're. No, you're being we just confused. don't agree. It's not. It's lost. not about being I don't agree. agree. You don't understand what I'm. No, I understand to, and no, no, I don't agree. Listen, it's because you're emotionally evolved. No, listen real quick. I don't like the narrative that because somebody doesn't agree with you, that means their emotions are at play. I can mm -hmm. I don't have to agree with what you're saying and it come from an emotional standpoint. I don't agree with your views, your value, your standpoint. I don't agree. Listen, it has baby girl, to listen. Do with my I know you don't agree because you're on a stripper pole. Usually, okay, you know what I mean, when I, you're doing something, well, what does that have to do with like, me agreeing with what you're saying? Your a gay views, person and it's a very fam, simple. Look, look, time out, time out. Time look. Synonymous. Your views are all your your views are already perverted. Your views That's are what already led you. Listen, time I know out. One mic at a time. I know people that you. I know male degenerates that you are friends with, and you just sat up here and said you distance them, yourself from them. I'll but you, I've yeah. seen them sure. on this podcast and I can name the degenerate things that they've done if I really wanted to. So you... you people said, that smoke you, weed? That's no, that, that ain't it. Weed. I'm talking about sexual activities that make them degenerates. I ain't even talking mm -hmm. about weed. And I've seen them on this podcast, on the on the clips that I did view. I've seen their faces I've had a gay here. person on this podcast? No, no, I... If that's I've, the only I've thing. never had okay, a gay so person. I, that's not what How I would do. you know though? How oh, would you know wait, though? No, no, stop, stop with the gay. So I the mean, only way for a, a man person. to be degenerate to you is for him to do something gay. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. But anyways, let's sexual, get back on topic. I say gay. I've let's seen get back men on topic. That you were friends with on this podcast do degenerate things and in a sexual of nature that don't have to do with with homosexuality, and you didn't separate yourself with them. You might not have known the degenerate things they've done behind you. Whether it's targeting younger women when they're thirty plus mm. because they know they're more susceptible to mm. um, what so younger do, women? What I the, was one of those younger women. How old were you? Twenty. Okay, so a man. <laughs> look at chat. This is funny. So a man that's in their thirties talking to a woman that's twenty. You think that's degenerate? No, no, that's no, 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 no. I didn't say that. I said. What was asked and what was the seductive nature? No, 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 time nature. out. No, you and just said. No, time out. No, 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 at the time, okay, you're tw you were 20 years old at the time. How is that anything degenerate? An older man talking to a girl that's younger. That's not what I said was the degenerate part. With you skip past what was the degenerate part. I said, I already told you. Purposely going out of their, their way. Things, no, I and and, and in my and in my personal opinion, it is degenerate when a man 30 plus intentionally seeks out women in their 20s? early 20s, early 20s Nothing is wrong with that. Okay, listen. To seduce Stop them it. For Stop it right there. Reason. Stop it right there. Wrong. You are incorrect. I'm not wrong. No, That's wrong. my You're opinion. Incorrect. Let me stop you there, right? And this is what I'm saying, what I wanted to tell you before. The reason why you ended up on a stripper pole is because your mind is perverted anyway and it's diluted. You don't know so what my thinking, mind is. Your thinking your is mind always is perverted. perverted. One mic at a time, I'll let you speak and I was asking you questions and I'll let you finish through. Got it, right? So what I'm saying is this. Your thinking was already perverted, which then led you to the stripper pole to do a degenerate action. Because you sliding down a pole and let another nigga slap your butt and throw money on you is disgusting and degrading. Yeah, you say you don't let niggas do that, but I'm sure they do. I can probably call up my homie right now and see what's good. And that same homie that we probably that's talking about homie? is the one that did the degenerate actions that I'm talking to you. about. Okay, but you were 20 years old. That's, that's what you're trying right. to say. And that's right. not and degenerate. My, okay, you are and legal. My, and my, and my, legal. Okay, so... And my question to you was, is, is the only thing that makes a man degenerate being homosexual? Because no. is it... Okay, so what no. makes a man degenerate to you? Because okay. I said, Let's get into if it. a man 30 no, plus seduces yeah. a woman 10 years his senior... So what about a woman? It's still degenerate. Mm -hmm. No, but oh, like a woman, you sound crazy. But like a woman 20 Let knowing me... that she's going into a club knowing it's 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 no, year no, old no, men. No, 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 no. In there, you know you about to go in there, and they about to. And, no, do no, what no, they do. and that's fine. What I'm asking him is from his point because from what I was getting, it seems like the only thing that he was saying that made a man degenerate is homosexuality. Because no, 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 when no, no. you trying to switch it up. You trying to no, backpedal I'm now? Not, I'm asking okay. because my point was you're trying to backpedal. A you're man totally thirty plus. No, I'm not. For you, me, I wrong. feel like it's degenerate behavior for a man thirty 
plus to seduce women 10 years his that's senior not a seduce. and coerce. That's so, not a seduce. So one, let's make some corrections here, right? What do you think about a woman? What do you think about it? What's, what's the uh, one one woman? Um, Dane. Drea? Uh, you, we got Drea talking to the young basketball player. He's 19 years oh, yeah, old. She's 35 years old. That's nasty. You think that's inappropriate? That's it's nasty. Degenerate. Okay, wrong. That is, so it from your act. Listen, 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 ladies. Y'all can feel how y'all want to feel, but at the end of the day, here are the facts, right? Because I only speak facts. At the end of the day, when a woman becomes 18, guess what? She is legal. She is legal to drive. She is legal to uh uh she she legal to smoke marijuana in certain states. Uh she isn't legal to drink alcohol, maybe in certain countries, right? But she's legal. She has full agency and responsibility over her body. Agency is a woman having responsibility. So if you have responsibility, you must have authority over your actions, right? So when you are 18, you are legal. So a man, you talking about one of my friends talking to you when you was 20 years old. Bro, they doing what they supposed that's to do. Not, you get no, a lot of young. Not, I didn't even lay get out. You're you, assuming well, what one, I'm talking listen, about. I said sexual acts. Talking I, I in a sexual want, act. I wouldn't want any different. of my friends talking to no girls that's taking any girls. If they is doing this, like, ah, then that's your choice. But would I recommend it? I wouldn't recommend any of my friends to be talking to a girl that's sliding down a pole. That's just my recommendation. I would okay? never oh, recommend it. I see girls inside the strip club saying that they were with the strippers in there. So I don't recommend it. That's what I'm saying. If they go ahead and do it that's that's what they want to go ahead and do okay they but do you think that a 18 year old 19 year old is mentally mature enough to deal with someone who is 35 yes. 40 years old yeah 100%. Year old. So if your 18 year old daughter comes to you with her 35 year old boyfriend that's what i just how said how does yeah, your yeah. view that's I'll okay. I'll explain you? it to you. Yes. No, I'm asking you. I will explain it to you. I'll give you a detailed answer if you want it, right? No, I'm asking you. I'll give you that answer. Listen. Stop talking. Listen to, under, uh, listen to understand. Got you. Men and women are different, right? Since men and women are different, it takes time for a man to acquire value. Like I said in the beginning of the podcast, since it takes time for a man to become a man, usually it's going to be older, right? For a woman, she's born with her value. So it doesn't take any time the more time she waits that's more opportunities for her to get smashed by this nigga smashed and dumped by this nigga and it's more emotional trauma being packed on and it's harder for her to submit to a masculine man no. so for a woman she's at her she's at her prime value her peak value when she's young no. when she's 18 19 You're, 20 I, let me finish when she's young <laughs> 18 19 20 years old 21 years old pretty much the value a woman is at her prime value when she's in because Attraction isn't symmetrical, meaning that what you find attractive in a man, the man doesn't find attractive in you. He doesn't want those same characteristic traits. Men don't want a strong, masculine, dominant woman, a woman that knows this and got this in order, a woman that studied this and had this degree. We don't care about that. We don't look for that in a woman. So you're you trying don't care to care about that. No, 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 no. Listen, men in general, men in general do not care about this. You keep you, no, no, time out. You only think that you men care about that about because say. niggas lie to you. They lie well, to you. Why are you no, listen. Why you are talk you about that. No, no, listen. Listen, because I want you to I want you to listen. To scream listen, me, I don't care. It's my podcast. <laughs> listen, you think what you think is because niggas lie to you to smash. What I'm not trying to smash on keeping it what real. What the fuck are you talking about? Do you get it? I'm not trying if to you want a stupid none of y'all. little girl who's going to them. obey you. It's you move. You're, you're, you're you prying move on. on I'm it sounds speaking like over you're, here. But okay, it sounds like you're prying on a little ass girl. But that's what you're saying. You're saying that woman. Okay, but I'll let you talk. So it's my turn. You're saying that. Men prefer younger women because because of what you're basically saying is they that's a prime time. Proclivity. That's a prime time. But what, no, no, okay, what, what I'm proclivity. saying what is, are you saying? What I'm saying yes. is to me, from what it sounds like from a lot of men who pry on younger girls, not on what, it's, not, but but how they think of it is speak on what the I'm shit, speaking on. The shit that little younger girls are gonna let you slide with you know for a fact a woman who got her shit together is not gonna let it fly and you guys want control it's not about slide that's what it's about cause you talking about education and that means that they don't give a fuck about you being educated correct there are immoral people listen what am I gonna tell you let me speak to her I get what you're saying of course any human being would uh, you know if someone wants to take advantage of someone and if they have this 
a mindset to take advantage of someone, they're going to do it if they're old, young, the same age. They're going to do that, right? So we know that there are men with bad motives. Why am I got a time I'm speaking? We know that there are men with bad motives. I don't disagree with that. I agree with that, right? We know that there are women with bad motives. Like, for example, Drea talking to a younger guy. Her motives could be good and pure, Right. Or her motives could be, well, I'm going to get this dude that's in the NBA that's young. I could finesse him, get this bag and take advantage of it. I can make up that excuse. Right. Because we know that women do it and did it before. Right. But those are just bad people in general. We get that. I'm not talking about that. We get it. I understand that. I'm talking about. Generally speaking, a man, men have a natural proclivity to find a liking in a soft, feminine, submissive woman. What type of women have those things and still have a lower body count? Usually younger women. The probability is higher for a younger woman. five year old. What are you talking about? What? You are talking talking about about children. You are talking about children. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. Men desire purity. We don't desire all these other things that you're talking about, right? Just listen to understand and stop giving emotional reactions. We're not. Listen, I'm peeling all the layers back. I'm going to the biology of it, right? I granted you what you said. Got it. I understand. Now, listen to what I'm saying. This is what I'm saying. Men just have a natural proclivity for a feminine, soft, submissive woman. And the highest probability of getting that is normally a younger person because they've experienced less, right? That's just the facts. The more you experience, the more you go through in life, the more dick you had, the more trauma you've been through, the more baggage you will bring to that man. So guess what? Hey, a, man, no, listen. Guess what? A smart man and a man that earns something and knows how things work in a world operate right he knows women's nature he's like okay well this uh 30 year old well dang she's been with this dude been with that dude she's gonna suffer more trauma right the 18 year old there are 18 year olds and and 19 and 20 year olds and 21 year olds that been through things too well we stay away from those girls like the girls that's on a stripper pole that's 20 years old well we don't want to deal with those girls (laughs) but there are girls the probability is much higher for a younger girl to just have been through less is what i'm saying so since the probability is higher that a younger girl been through less Most men are attracted to less because we don't care about all of your accomplishments and the goals that you're going through. Because even when we get into a relationship, my money is your money and your money is your money. So what the freak? Why do I care about your accomplishments and the things that you're doing? That's I don't give a freak about that. I want a woman to be soft feminine submissive and be a cheerleader and follow my lead. Guess what? The other girl. And you making little comments while I'm speaking. No, because cool. I, I mean, no, I, bro, bro, I, listen, listen. listen. Genuinely, listen I at the end heard of the day, a man no, say it's, that. It's, it's totally honestly, fine. No, 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 no. Listen, I haven't when I'm heard speaking, a man say listen, he listen. wanted a woman to be all a right, cheerleader. Right, honestly, right. okay, I got you, I got you. Took me by when surprise. I'm speaking now, now you're being a little disrespectful and annoying. Okay. Okay. Got you. So listen, when I'm speaking. Shut okay, up. Father. Don't speak. It's oh, very don't, simple. Don't or you can get off the podcast. Sh- some shut up. There's I've a had way to, to warn to you many of times. If you don't like it, you can leave. I'm not, I'm really not worried about that. It's just a no. Room. No, listen, listen. If you don't want to actually, when I'm speaking and listen to understand instead of listening, listening to respond and give these little side comments, if you can't do that, the door is there and it's okay. Or you could just, if you want me to leave, you can ask me to leave. No, it's totally fine. If you do it again, I will have to kick you out. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna get into that. It's like it's like I'm a father. Now you clapping. Listen, none of that. It's like I'm a father and I gotta I say one strike here, two, third strike, you out. So you got two. One more strike, you out. Okay. So let me finish and lay my plane. And then I let all of y'all go. It's very simple, right? So you were saying something, right? And I just I granted you what you said. And I'm not saying that, oh, there aren't guys, right? I'm not saying that there aren't guys that would be like, you know what? <laughs> Yeah, I want a girl that's uh, that's going to be younger just, you know, because, you know, uh, you know, uh, I could get away with more things. I'm sure that there are guys like that, just like there are women that going to talk to a young NBA player so she can get away with things. Right. We know that there's a people like that. Can you grant me that? Okay. I'm not talking about none of that. So let's put those to the side. Those are the two extremes. Right. We got the extreme version of the man. Just uh, manipulating a, a, a woman, and we got the uh, manipulating a younger woman, and then we got the extreme version of a woman manipulating a younger man. 
Mm-hmm. Put that to the side. We got those. We understand it. But now let's speak about hair, where things mostly happen. And this is the natural proclivity is what I'm speaking about. Men naturally have a, a proclivity to date a soft, feminine, submissive woman. And the probability that a woman has that in her is when she is younger. So that's why men is just attractive to younger women. That's the facts. Like, it, you can't argue it. But it's facts. So, it's, it's your opinion. No, no, it's not an opinion. Facts. Hey, so, put a one in the chat. But, Let's just do this real quick. So We're going to do a poll real quick, real quick, real quick. We got like uh, 300 people in here right now anyway. Put a one in the chat. Put a one in the chat if you agree with what I'm saying, that men have a natural proclivity to find a liking. Maybe. Listen, you still speak while I'm speaking. So men have a natural proclivity and find a liking to a woman that is soft, feminine, and uh, beautiful, and that's gonna follow his lead. Put a put a one in the chat if you and if you know that younger women tend to have that. Put a two in the chat if you think that no nigga coolie, you crazy, bro. We don't care about those. We don't care about none of that. We'll take a forty-five year old chick with kids and all of that. Let's see what the chat I mean, say. It still chat doesn't boy, prove anything for the fact of did. facts. What you talking about? Just research look, and data. Oh, that's God, facts. God damn. Because of the way you just set up the always, scenario. Right. Look, look, look. But time out, time basically, sh- what real I gathered. Real quick, gather, let me give an update for the chat. Listen. God dang. All ones. Oh, look, it's still going. Ones, 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 ones. This is what I'm saying. You, you hear, I'm giving you the truth, right? But the truth doesn't align with how you view the world, right? But how you view the world, I'm telling you, it isn't reality. That isn't true. How Just you view you the world. Just because you say it doesn't mean no, it's true. No, I gave you the extremes. You're not God. I granted right? you the extremes. You're not God. You Whatever you say does not okay, go. Ladies. The way you worded that scenario, right. though, because I feel like everybody just already forgot the whole beginning of this conversation. So oh, okay. from the way you worded that scenario, put a one in if you agree that a guy wants a soft, calm, beautiful woman. No, no, that's and not I put even, that but, younger. I said younger. But when you say younger, you can say younger because, okay, the person I'm dealing with right now, I'm younger than him. He yeah. is about to be 29. He's going to be 29 years old. I'm 22. Okay. So that that's younger. I'm younger than him. But not wrong the whole beginning of this conversation, we were talking about a 30, 35 year old man being attracted to an 18, 19 year old. What no, no, are you, what are you getting? She said okay, 20. Even still, even okay, like exactly 40 year old man being attracted to a, tw- what, are you you, what are you, what are you, what are you at 40 years old so getting out of 20 20 like, like, out of high finish. school? Let like, her finish. Go ahead. What, what are you really getting as a 35 to 40 year old man out of a 20 year old sophomore in college? I, I'll exactly. tell you, I'll tell you what a man gets. Since besides, you want to know. besides pure. No, I'll tell you. Guess what? Guess what? Good question. Let me explain it to you, right? Men, it's all about our priorities is much different from a woman, right? A man's priorities is these. Like, we literally prioritize it. First priority is beauty because we got to be attracted to her, right? It's like beauty. The second priority is don't be a hoe. Like, that's uh, actually, that could be before the first priority. That, so don't you could be don't, a hoe at any age. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, yeah, but the probability is just higher. The probability is higher for the woman to have a higher body count when she's older because she had more time to acquire more penises. Like, how don't you understand? I, but a girl's going to be a hoe. A girl's going to be a hoe. Stop, 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 stop. Listen, listen, listen. How can't you understand? I'm talking about probabilities versus possibilities. We know that a girl can be a hoe at any age, but what's the probability of her having, what's the probability of a woman having a 30 body count at uh, 18 years old versus 30 years it's old? It's a lot higher than you think. Ex- no, 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 no. Listen, 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 that. listen. What you talking exactly. about? What I think. The studies are out there. But the it studies doesn't, are out nowadays, there. No, no, listen, listen, listen. Nowadays, 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 but I know, I know. No, stop, Mama Sita. 18, you saying you know. We're not talking about you know. We're talking about facts and statistics here. I could bring it up if you really want me to. Bring it up on the screen. I'll show you guys afterwards. It's, a, the, it's all based off probabilities. A woman that's 30 years old, Generally speaking, women in their 30s have a higher body count than women that's in their in 18. Now, let's go to exceptions to the rules, right? Well, we know that there are some slower 18-year-olds, and then we know that there are some pure 30-year-olds. Those are the exceptions, right? But generally speaking, as a whole, the 18-year-old wasn't even freaking on his planet long enough. Generally, all if you compare all of them, put them all in one, they weren't on his planet long enough to rack up those many bodies as his 30-year-old. She got 30 years on the planet. But times aren't the same. Right, there's right. there's yeah, girls that we know are that. been no. having sex since 12. Now by 18, yeah, yeah, they're it. at 100 we, bodies. You have somebody that's that. been You're with... You're still talking about the exception. We know the sums. And I Guess get... what, ladies? You know what? Which I never see? Comments. 
comets. Guess what? Don't tell me. Listen, comets actually comets? hit the comets, right? Comets from outer space hit the Earth. Guess how many times? Guess how many comets hit the Earth? I think uh, it's between like uh, uh, it's like a thousand something comets. No, it's between uh, six hundred to a thousand. Look it up real quick, Steve. How many comets land on planet Earth a year? What I'm gathering. <laughs> so go. Oh, oh, listen, 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 listen. So guess what? This this is the advice I'm giving you. Seventeen thousand comets hit the Earth a year, but the Earth is so big that we don't even see it. So it's an exception to the rule. So it's significantly uh, uh, insignificant, right? It's insignificant, meaning that it doesn't matter because the world is so big we don't even experience the comets. So guess what? A woman that's 18 years old, that barely happens. It doesn't even matter because it's not a general thing. I'm speaking about generally things that commonly happen, right? Can so since it comp since women are in their thirties, the probability is higher for her to have a higher notch count. Niggas don't want that. That's what I'm talking about. Can I so, ask you a question? No, no, let me answer yours. The first one didn't save that, right? Mm -hmm. So all I'm saying is that to answer your question concisely, a younger woman, right? She has a higher probability to experience less. And men, we prioritize the characteristics of purity, right? And what's some of those characteristic traits? I'm a, fifth time, I repeated it. Soft, feminine, submissive, beautiful, fertile, yeah, right? And where is, is that at? More? Where is that <laughs> at? Is it someone that is younger. What? It's very simple to understand. Y'all all want to, now let's just flip it, right? Because I don't think y'all understand it. Y'all will agree to this. Y'all all want a leader. Y'all said that. You all want a masculine man. You all want a sort of dominant man. And you, some of y'all gave other things like honesty, respectful, things like that. All of these things that you want in a man takes time to acquire. So mm -hmm. what's the highest probability for a man to have that when he's 35 or 18? 35. Exactly. Got it, right? So look, most... You feel me? Now he's making sense. So listen. Whoa. No, stop. You, you went outside your brain. I see you over here. Listen, right? You just said that you, you have this natural proclivity to want things in a man that takes time to acquire. So you're attracted to men that are older, right? And guess what? We want things in a woman that don't take time for to acquire. It takes men that they have to preserve it. So we are going to be attracted to women that have the characteristic traits. And guess what? It just happens to be when they're younger. Just like for you, the things that you want in a man, it just happens the beef for when that man is older because men and women aren't the same this is why i do the podcast uh uh, uh freaking it's different uh attraction isn't symmetrical it's asymmetrical meaning that what you find attractive in a man guess what the man doesn't find attractive back in you god dang uh let's move it right along let's get to the super chats bro because they yeah, piling up <laughs> They are palling up. So we you, going back and forth. When you got this. with your girl, though, did we you... were twenty six years old. We was both twenty six. Yes, and she was. We were both twenty six. She, she was all them things on your she, hand. Did, we, you, did you, you ask her her body count when you got with her? She, my, when I met my chick, she was in a. She was married when she was eighteen years old, right? So she right oh, out of high okay, school. Okay, so that... no, no, listen, listen, listen. Right out of high school, she was married when she was eighteen years old. Experienced oh no, no, nothing, right? Experienced nothing at all. Then I got, then she had a divorce, and then I got with her, right? So then I got with a woman that experienced one man for all of these years. You don't okay, know what you're saying. Listen, listen, listen do you no, know, this Come is on. what I'm saying. You asked me a personal question. Yeah. You know, no, Sama, listen, listen. You asked me a personal question. Absolutely. So I'm giving you a personal answer. So you're saying that I had options even when I was 26, so I had to look at things, and I had a kid too. So I'm like, Dan, okay, oh boom, I'm looking at this, I'm looking at that, okay. Which chick, okay, should I do this, okay? And then not only that, she proved things to me. I wasn't just jumping the gun. She had to earn the relationship. She wasn't given this relationship. So then no one is you know, just getting a relationship. You had to earn a relationship. So what I'm saying is, yeah, men just naturally tend to see their choices and be like, okay, uh, who, who I'm going to give dick to? Well, these slurs over here, they qualify for that. But who I'm going to commit to? Okay, we looking for purity. We looking for certain things. Okay, boom. This one got it. I right, bang. That's what it is. So, yeah, you're saying things, and even in my own choices, predicts this. And every man's choices predicts this, too. But some men don't have the value to get the things that they want at the end of the day. But so go ahead. if you were 40 years old yeah, and you sat in a room, you had a 20-year-old here, maybe a 26-year-old there, yeah, and a 34-year-old there. So you would put that 26 and 34 year old in a category of just I would smash because they're older probably been through more but I would commit to that 20 year old at 40 years old because she hasn't 
caught a lot of bodies or she hasn't been through no, it's, relationships. It's, it's, it's more than that, that when a man is choosing word. a woman, right? Men are looking for characteristic traits, how the woman carries herself. The man is looking for a multitude of things, right? When he's looking for to give to grant a relationship, just like y'all women looking for a multitude of things before y'all gonna give a man sex to, because y'all hold the key to sex, we hold the key to relationships. So you look for all of these characteristic traits before you spread your legs open to a man. Cool. Grant it, right? All I'm saying is, men, we look for a multitude of characteristic traits before we grant a relationship to a woman. That's all I'm saying. So when a when a man in that situation, if he's looking at things, what would generally, without knowing anything, generally what would have the highest probability? The younger woman would have the highest probability of being pure, being more feminine, being this and this, and uh, being pure where the uh, younger woman hasn't been molded by the world, so she's more uh, uh, able to follow the man's lead. That's what I'm saying. But there could be other things in it. Maybe that uh, 20 year old came from a broken home and didn't have a father. Maybe the uh, other girl had more of some guidance and, and came from a two parent household and, and has some values instilled, to her, instilled in her. So he may choose a girl that's 28 over the girl that's 18 because it's just it aligns with what he's looking for better. That's what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, it all comes back to purity. That's what but it all comes back to. You don't think about it as like. Manipulation? Like, no, no. You I'm saying gave, I granted that. I granted that both but parties I'm just do saying, that. Because, just because you have a daughter. Tom, can any of understand <laughs> this? It's not that I, we're not understanding, understand. and that's why I'm saying you. I feel like when somebody says I don't agree with you, mm -hmm. the first thing out of your mouth is, "Oh, you don't understand. You're lost in emotion." No, I'm allowed to right. agree. Is to it disagree. because we're women and we're lost in emotion? Wait, what? I, like, I just don't disagree with some of the stuff you say, but I understand. I just don't agree. Okay, that's totally fine. But, but um, I said what you that had? I was lost in emotion. I feel like everything. I mean, you were, but go ahead. I'm not. Everything that's being said, like you're automatically on the defense, especially when it comes to her. Like, thank you. You're automatically on the defense, and you keep saying emotion, 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 emotion. Bro. But I feel like you're oh, being yeah, emotional as well. Emotional. You're no, no, being no, no, emotional no. as well, though. Well, passion is a form of emotion, right? I'm being passionate about the but things okay that I'm speaking about. It's okay for you to do it because you're a man. But if she does, it's a problem. And her emotion is being annoying. And she's annoying. Stop it! Stop it! Because when I'm speak, I'm the host of the podcast, and y'all came here for me, right? What I'm saying is this, right? What? We came because we wanted to discuss the past topics okay and, and we are discussing that just for you but listen no no but listen you the difference of it you got to be able to differentiate things you're trying to say that we're all emotional incorrect mm. i'm but saying then. that i'm passionate and i'm listening to y'all and literally refuting all of your arguments to the point where we're staying on staying on this topic for so long because i'm listening and then i'm like okay let me you know be very tactical with this approach and analyze this so i can give a good response and i'm using active listening skills that's not being emotional i'm hearing y'all and then giving a response Man. some of my responses I host a podcast. I don't, I'm not these other podcasts that got two hosts. So I got to be charismatic. So what I get is passion and charismaticness. I got to be screaming, hey, doing a little bit of this, hey, this is for the audience. I'm sure the audience is having a good time. What is it, 12 p.m.? And we got over 200 people, 300 people in here right now. What is are you talking about? So now? obviously it's lit. But listen. No. No. <laughs> what, what? It's what time? It's 12, 13. It's time for me to eat. <laughs> Damn. But I have a question though. I have a question though. Okay. If you don't mind. Uh, real quick, hold your question. Let me just finish up with her because I don't want to be moving all around. Did you have anything else with what you were saying? No, I'm just saying it feels like everything that she's saying, and this I is how it's coming it. off, but the way you speak to her and how you raise your tone when she's saying something versus when we're all saying something that you might disagree with is very different. And I think. It's just okay. very uncomfortable. That, it's, that's how it's, it's coming totally off. Fine. Is that's everyone, how it's coming got off. It. Is everyone the same in this room? No, y'all not the same. Y'all all gave different responses, right? And y'all all carried yourself differently, even when y'all gave the response, right? And I don't think anyone really interrupted me during this podcast but her. Dude, can, can, we all can I say yeah, my, can I say my question? Yeah. It's not Other really a question. Interrupted. Can I, say no, my statement I don't though? think... I got you. Can I say Real it? quick, let me just finish my statement. I got you. I don't think, and even with that, like she's like, can she say it? And then get her go. Me and you is always back and forth. All I'm saying is the reason why she's, the reason why our dialect is different from you dialect, right? It's just because she's different from y'all, and you're she's different from all of y'all too. So it's it's not a uh, uh, like 
Y'all looking for all of this equalness. Like, females always looking for, like, equal things. Well, you're not treating this person equally to this person? Because y'all different. What you, I'm not going to treat y'all all equal. Like, all the same. You're not going to get the... She's giving me different responses, so she's going to get a different response back. Go ahead. It's, all right, but I, I get that. I get that whole scenario. Got, okay, got you. Right? Got else. And I get everything that you're saying, but I do feel like you cannot sit here and act like you're completely a saint because you're literally inter like interrupting each and every. Right. I mean, I haven't really spoken because I I can get disrespectful, but like you literally interrupted every single person here, but you did like interrupt her more. Right? Correct. But that's not my he point. Flat out that, shut up. That's not. But that's not my point, yeah, right? But you're telling other people to stop talking for you, but she won't stop talking for them. And I get that you're the host. Respect. Thank you for having me here. It's gorgeous. Okay? But, like... Appreciate that. I definitely feel like you <laughs> you should be treating everybody like they're a human. Yeah, yeah. You I know am. what I mean? Uh, but do you so believe like, in a hierarchy? I, nor, no, I don't care. I don't okay. care for that. So, I feel no, like no, you and totally me fine. are the same. It doesn't matter the gender, the race, yeah. no, no, the age difference. Yeah. I don't care about none of that. It, it, no. I definitely feel like, though, everybody should be treated equal. Yeah, if yeah, she's yeah, talking, I'm going to let her talk. I don't care if this is my house or I got whoever's house. I got you. Life just doesn't operate like that, ladies. So this is podcast is called No Fugazi, right? And this podcast on No Fugazi, uh, the world, everything is a hierarchy in life. I'm sure she understands the hierarchy a little bit because she was in the Navy. So she understands that she got to report to this person, this person is above this person, that person is above that person. And it's a hierarchy to things based off accomplishments, competence, and all of these other factors that's involved in it, right? Oh, excuse so, me. so let me finish and answer your question, right? The reason, the, the reason why it's like this is because this is my podcast so i am on the top of the hierarchy so if i have to interrupt someone it isn't i always give it back just like i gave it back to her when i interrupt her or if you interrupt her I'm like let her finish her point it was mad times when she interrupted me i didn't kick her off i still let her finish her point and i was like wait elaborate on that speak a little bit more even if i'm interrupting because we have to have the dialogue right you feel what i'm saying so me interrupting is me doing my job and you have to respect the hierarchy but the fact is that audience i need y'all to take some notes on this women in general don't really know how to respect any hierarchy that's why it's hard for them to follow <laughs> man's lead because they okay, can't respect can, any type but of hierarchy you can at least say excuse me you know, right. i do respect my husband i do i do respect my husband but he would never ever talk to me however you're talking to these ladies right now exactly. he totally would never yeah, i well, respect him he's higher than me because he is the man of the house he is the breadwinner he is the father of our children but i would never sit here and not allow him to not say excuse me baby can you let me talk real quick or excuse me can you let me speak real quick yeah, there's yeah, yeah, respect yeah, in the hierarchy yeah, 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 you can't yeah, yeah. expect and respect when you don't give it out so i understand why she's snapping on you because you're mm -hmm. not even saying like all right whatever you're not even gonna let her be dead wrong at Wait, all all right whatever what do you mean you don't even let her be dead wrong. So dead wrong. Oh, you mean like if she says something right. and she's dead wrong then yeah, i just but leave even it? at that like you're still no, being no, no, like no, listen baby girl listen if that's not you're looking for something that's not that right and the thing is what you're looking for something that is like that's not a uh, 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 masculinity you're looking for something that says the go along to get along podcast this podcast ain't called you're giving me toxic along. masculinity you're right? you're listen, time out. listen no, ladies i got you let me finish i will yeah this podcast isn't the go <laughs> and chat uh this is good. The ladies is, you know, questioning how the podcast is being ran and stuff like that. But this podcast isn't the go along to get along podcast. You think that I'm going to allow someone to walk in something to what I created. I have men on here that I speak to them much worse. Pull up my debates. I had a man in here and I'm calling this dude feminine in his face. I don't hold anything back. The same energy I give to y'all, I give to another man. So, so are you higher different. than all? Wait, I'm sorry. Are you higher what? than all? What do you mean higher than you're, all? Uh, obviously, I feel like you, the hierarchy thing you're saying, so you're higher than other men because they're feminine. You're no, higher no, no, than no. us no, because no, 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 no. it's your podcast. I, I didn't just say that. I'm just t telling you that but I'm asking. how I'm speaking to y'all is the same way that I will speak to another man. I don't think that I'm higher than anyone. I believe in a higher power, right? And I respect people, and I respect the hierarchy myself. If there's another man, I have other, did podcasts with other guys that know, things more than I do in different areas or different fields. And I respect it. If I don't know something, I'm going to sit back and listen and get that game, right? If I don't know it. But if I do know something and they saying something that is very nonsensical and false, that ain't going to fly has with Has that been me. her, though? Who, who has you that just been? Said, I can't. I'm, it's I'm, been a lot of y'all on the podcast. Okay, but I'm talking about her. Like, what about her? her? You just said. She's chilling and she's fine right now. What about her? What big ass word did this no, man just use? You said, said nonsensical. Okay, yeah, so was that her? So everything okay. that she said, is that no, is no, what no. she's saying? Was that? 
everything that most of the ladies here, y'all had points of contention and uh, of things that I said. And I had to, uh, you know, give a rebuttal and refute some of the arguments, meaning refute you make a claim and then I make a claim that supersedes the claim you make. And then you don't like my claim. You may understand it, but you don't like it. So it's like, well, I'm not going to accept it. So I agree to disagree. That's totally fine. And what was my response? Well, you're just you got to take out your emotions from it. And then what would y'all say? Well, we're not being emotional. Well, you're emotional, too. Then I'm saying that. No, 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 baby girl. The truth is the truth. Whether if, if someone says one plus one equals two or one plus one equals F and two, it's still two at the end of the day. It's not about how you say things. Mm -hmm. It's what is being said. Mm -hmm. Now, we all know that human beings are emotional. So, yeah, how something is said may affect that person where that person got a weakness. If this person can't see the truth, it's very simple. If the truth is here, right, and if the truth, when you get the truth, it can... Uh, alter your worldview by accepting the truth and then lead you on a better path. The people that accept the truth go on a better path. They are successful in their endeavors. The people that get the truth, but oh, I don't want to accept it. I can't take it. It's too emotional. Their emotions fog them from the truth. Then they go on the wrong path. So I'm saying I'm giving you a game. If you want to take the wrong path, go ahead. If you want to take the right path, by any means, good for you. That I other stripper on his podcast, like I said, she was same things I was saying to her. I was way worse than than the things that I said to this other girl was crazy. Stripper? It was it was much right, worse. Like I was said that. Wait, what? She never said she was a stripper. No, but we already, we already clarified we that. Already but my problem is, that. is that he keeps on referring back to that like she's not a human being. And aren't right. you a mother? Was, Can we talk like, about how she's a mother instead of calling her just a stripper? Like, well, my really, only thing was he said what? he's talking it's like that because of hierarchy. So from what from what I'm hearing, it seems like I'm lowest on the hierarchy Steve, here. Real quick. Yo, how the chat's in there? Uh, should I get to the super chat? When I ask that out? question, yeah, we redirect it. Okay, okay. Point proven. Point proven. Yeah, let's get to the... Well, you already said what you said. You said... No, it. I just asked you a different question. And I answered that question again. That's did, what, I, I never answered did. that question? I didn't no, all I asked, so I'm the lowest on the hierarchy right now. No, no one said that. What are you no, talking that, about? No, that was the question I just asked. I just asked. Have your water? Yeah, but no you one said, said that. You were, no, I, oh, I, I'm you asking a question. I said, you said Steve, switch you were speaking to us uh -uh. based on Not the, the hierarchy one. system. No, no, I didn't say that. So you weren't active listening. No, I was, but you said a lot, so I'm right. trying to understand no, no, what I, you're trying I, oh, to say. Got you. So what I said that when I talked about the hierarchy, I was I was referring to when she was talking about cutting people off. Mm -hmm. She said, "Well, we're being when you're cutting us off, and mm -hmm. you're cutting us off more than we're cutting you off, and you're cutting her off more than you're cutting us off." And then I had to explain the hierarchy to things. I said that, "Well, guess what? Everyone, I'm here." because this is my podcast and y'all are under right and then we got to speak about who's saying the most nonsensical and illogical things and, and also you, interrupting I asked you, no, and listen and also interrupting i said uh well it's very simple it was her so that's why she was getting a different energy and different verbiage from me y'all saying that at the end, bro, it's, yeah, like, what the heck, y'all, we was on this for that long, and at the end of the day, this, this shows right it very, very clearly, uh, women don't know how to really take guidance from a masculine man, it's you because, know, okay, it's being influenced incorrect. You just said yourself okay, you were the, feminine. At, what? Wait, what? When then did this I whole time you that? kept saying that you lack... You lack masculinity. No, from no not one going ever said that. No, that's different. I said that before in the beginning. No one's talking about now. I'm talking about every man, any man. My bad. To become a man, when you're freaking 18, <clears throat> 17 years old, you think that you are as masculine when, if you actually learn from your mistakes, as when you're 35 years old? No. It takes time to acquire value and time to acquire masculinity and a multitude of other things. To be fair. So I'm not saying any of that. But let me get to these super... I'm sorry, go Wait, ahead. But you got a question? To, go yeah, no, I just want to make a comment. To be fair, I don't think because you can raise your voice and and speak your opinion very loudly that... that you're masculine. In my opinion, I think you sitting here, to me, you come off to me very feminine. Sure, great. And very I'm sassy. Sure, I'm, That's why nobody here is respectable. to me. Exactly, because you're not respectable. I mean... You're not respectable. I mean, the way you, you talk to women is disgusting. 
Like, well, I mean, if you want to go, you can go. Disgusting. Like, well, yeah, I mean, you're masculine, you're black, fat, you're overweight, and woman. hey, it is what it is. That's a masculine trait. Uh, being, like, being, being, being big. <laughs> That's a masculine like, trait. Peace. Like, Peace. Let's get this on. Let's get this on recording. Peace, ladies. Get up out of here. See, see the door. Not you. Get up out of here. See the leaving. That's so corny. It's right there, right on the couch. That get get out of here. That's the, so le, get up out of here. Sweet. It's giving sweet. Oh, and she threw stuff. Oh, and she threw stuff. It's giving sweet. We got that. Get get up out of here, little fat old beast John. Now and touch now something else. We way... got and go ahead and touch something else. What go happened to all, all this this this, this masculine masculinity but now we're degrading women about the way so from what i gathered from his podcast it's degenerate to be gay but it's not degenerate to groom people and that you know everything is cool to state your opinion if you disagree then it's all about your emotions have a nice evening that was cute that was so cute no 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 i'm good i'm good no, it's just funny because when you call him hey, out y'all. on his stuff, you know, Where then his whole, <laughs> his whole consciousness changes. I'm on Instagram, Kate. I mean, oh, I need to go my Insta. Go first, go first. What? I'm gonna add you. Oh, facts. Add me on Instagram. My Instagram is T-Y-Z-A-X-K-L-O-T-Z, Taja Klotz. Facebook is Tajane, T-Y-Z-A-H-N-A-E, Klotz, K-L-O-T-Z. Shit just got real in here, y'all. Right? They didn't turn Follow this me shit on up. TikTok. <laughs> Taja X Clot, same as my Instagram handle. I don't know what it's called. You got something for me to. You got something for me to wipe it down. We live right now. Nah, nah, we good. Steve, back on the switchboard, bro. We live. Alright. Put it on one. Put it on two, I mean. Oh, are we still going? Or you want me to leave too? If you if you want to leave, you can leave. I was, I was gonna close it out. Okay, come and close it out. That's totally fine. I, I didn't kick you off. The mother chicks, she, they was acting crazy. Yeah, you can sit right here. Okay. Should I go back there? Uh, you could you could stay wherever you want. It yeah, smells like stay. alcohol. Real strong in here. I will wipe it down. No, no, no. no. Yeah, good. It's okay. <laughs> no, my cup good. of alcohol. Oh, my, my cup. I just. Y'all good. Y'all good. Y'all good. Hey, uh, my chat. Cup is under we do it live. <laughs> I'm Ladies, so calm down. Sorry. Hey, chat. We do it live. We had the two fat wildebeest back there. They got I mad, bro. I, I, I do hey, not listen, agree to that. I, that's fine. That's I'm speaking right me. now. At the end of the day, we had the two fat wildebeest got mad, and they walked off the podcast because they Damn. couldn't handle the truth. They couldn't I handle the truth. beautiful women. Uh, at the end of the day, we do it live, and I got the uh, this video. So they was wilding, too. The video, uh, I am going to upload it. I'm going to upload it in... Uh, Dang. You, this it's going to be in a Discord. It's going to be in a Discord. So this is what I'm going to do, chat. Everyone that's in here right now, I'm actually, this is what I'm going to do. Because uh, we're going to make the YouTube membership, right? If So if y'all want to see that, I got the whole video of her throwing and stuff and all of that. So, I mean, this is a whole business. So I could actually sue her if I really wanted to. But I'm going to just let her go. Oh. That ain't nothing. I could clean this up and... That doesn't cost me nothing at all. But then when we walked upstairs, it's a whole lot of more stuff happened. So I got a video of all of that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it available to the members. So I'm going to make a subscription right on YouTube. And if you sign up for the membership, you're going to get access to that and access to all the other kickouts in the background footage that I have. So, yeah, that's going to start literally on Friday. I'm going to put that up on Friday for the members. So we about to make it lit. Uh, other than that, man, we do it live. This podcast podcast was pretty wild um let's get to the super chats because i know they piling up on here so let's see real quick let's see we got god dang it's a lot um and ladies thank you for uh you know hanging out the ones that's are and uh look at you you actually survived i thought you was gonna be the what one is to, run there off. to be scared of i facts th- okay people keep She's... saying i'm triggered but i'm not triggered if i was triggered i would be hollering and calling you out of your name I'm literally just asking you questions, and because I'm strong about my opinions, like you're strong about your opinions, I have to be Got emotional you. and triggered. Well, well, I mean, it is what it is. Let me get to the super chats real quick. So we have uh, Dane. Dane, it's a lot of here. We got King Carnal sends in two dollars. Uh, I called Scripper triggered and delusional. He called you that, okay? Um, A Z sends in five dollars. Panel, the women is the second self of God. If there wasn't God, man would worship a woman. Uh, preserve yourself for the right 
man, uh, I see what you're saying, and weak men would worship God, um, but women aren't the second self of God. I don't agree with that at all. Um, without I don't even know what he without said. a man, uh, women wouldn't even uh, without a man and, and and masculine men protecting women. Women wouldn't last twenty four hours on this planet, especially five thousand years ago. The wildebeest would have ate them, and other men would have uh, you know put them in servitude and raped them forever and ever and ever. So it would have been wow. much differently. So you need masculine men to create good. Uh, to create uh, uh, to protect women from themselves and protect women from other men and and the uh, animals and everything else out there just the, the nature so I don't agree with that part it's God over man man over woman woman over children that's the order of life anything else is uh, manipulation and confusion uh, moving right along girl Davis sends in ten dollars the beautiful lady has a hole in her heart in the shape of her dad hopefully she'll desire to heal that bond that she truly needs to be happy uh, she is f uh, functioning with survival mindset uh, un Dane, yeah, uh, yeah, unknown, un unknown, unknowingly. So yeah, you're pretty much suffering from survival mode. That's what he said. Anything to that or no? Was that supposed to be yeah, for me? That was to you. Yeah. I Most mean, I, I, you only are subscribed to what you answer to. I didn't receive you that. You didn't receive so it? I okay, don't... move right along. We got Lie Man sends in $10. My wife gave me a kidney. Respect to her. Mm -hmm. uh, she didn't want our daughter to be without her dad. Would you females do the same for your husband slash kid's father if he was a great father? Or would you let him go through the medical system? That's a good question would you give your kidney for um the mother of your kids or your husband um yeah absolutely you got two you only need one okay what yeah, about you yeah i mean i i would i mean but i would hope that my child didn't need a kidney like I, no it's just talking about the. I, I i would do it it's not i have two it's not if this is my husband i mean okay got it what about you yes okay fair enough they say yeah um, we have uh, LL Music TV sends them five dollars. Peace, no fugazi podcast. Uh, keep giving them that truth, honesty, and thoughts from a logical stand up uh, uh, and a logical stand uh, standpoint. These conversations are much needed in these spaces. Respect, hey man, respect. Um, Gerald Davis sends him five dollars. Appreciate the support. Uh, what if the father wanted to uh, wanted the child life wait what if the father wanted to the child's life but was prevented or wanted to be in the child's life but was prevented or if the mother only um only wanted to have child from him that way I, would, I mean what's the reason it's not just i mean some cases are in unprovoked but like it's there might be a reason why she don't want you around but usually when when that happens, it be like toxicness. Like she right, withholds, like, she holds the child like, like it's for safety. Like she'll like people. Women tend to can you hold move their it closer or no. Yeah, you can move it. Oh, <laughs> you're sorry. <laughs> women tend to keep like their like a child from the father because yeah. of what the father done to the woman. Like if that's what the comment was saying, right? Yeah, yeah. Um. Well, I mean, I mean, he pretty much said, "What if the father wanted to be in a child's life, but the, but but was prevented, um, like the wife pre uh, prevented the child from being in the father's life, mm -hmm. or the mother only wanted to have a child from him?" So meaning, like, um, you know, the mother just wanted to have a child from him, but she didn't want the father in his life. I get what he's saying. Go to, go um, go yeah, go I mean, at the end of the day. At the end of the day, that dude chose to have a baby by the wrong girl. Um, so he got to take accountability for getting the, the wrong chick pregnant. Um, the other part, that woman is uh, not a good woman. <laughs> I would just well, say one. go to court and fight for your rights, though. Yeah, that too. I mean, you could, you, could, you, could, you could go to court. Rights, and you you go to court. Yeah. At the end of the day, I got go full custody of my daughter. I was just about to say that. He got full custody. Yeah, I got, I like, go I got court, full custody of my like daughter, that, so I fought for victim. mine. Other men, y'all could fight for y'all still. The probability of you getting full custody is extremely low, so I'm an exception to the rule. So uh, you, you, most men are going to get what I got, but uh, at the end of the day, you can still pursue what I got and still try. Uh, closed mouths don't get fed. Um, 
Let's see here. We have Gerald Davis. Again, sends him $5. Thanks, bro, for the support. Question. Ask them who is... Uh, ask them who is feminist and why and how does that benefit our uh, benefit your lives today so who's a feminist show hands no no feminist i mean i don't i'm not i was about to say i'm not against uh, feminism at all but i wouldn't say that i'm just the number one top feminist like i do you consider yourself to be a who's who considers themselves to be a feminist nobody okay all right, we're going to know what it does. All right, all right cool. Next question. Philip uh, Jameson sends in $20. Hey, appreciate that support, bro. Uh, to answer green shirt, a 20-year-old woman offers a 40-year-old man femininity, fertility, and low mileage. By 30, a woman is uh, hardened by the world. That's unattractive to us, just like a broke man is unattractive to you. Facts. Mm -hmm. And this, is, and this <laughs> is what I was saying, Philip Jameson. Said, well, yeah, he agrees because most Why men, no, no, but most, most men just have this natural. Pro, you know what a proclivity is? It's like a natural tendency. I know but what it's, it is. But, it's, it, but a propensity is even is a bi biological. So most men, all men, have a natural propensity, meaning a biological urge to be attractive to these traits that was just stated that a soft, feminine, submissive woman would have, and usually is with a woman that's younger because she's experienced less. That's looking at things from a probability standpoint. But Moving right along. Oh, go ahead. If you're forty and your girlfriend or your partner 20? can be your child's age. That's a little weird. I don't. And I mean, if weird. you have a daughter and your girlfriend is five years older than your daughter, I'm sorry, that's weird. Yeah, that's I, disgusting. I mean, I, I wouldn't consider. I it also weird. do think that it's not. I mean, just like you say, proclivity and all these things. I do also think it's not too far fetched to say people who follow your streams and your podcast. It's going to have a biased view. Not I biased. They that. do commonly agree because with the things that you that have to say follow. because they like what you have to say. So yeah. it's yeah. not uncommon for you to say something and, and a majority they, yeah, of the I know, numbers I know. go in your favor. Yeah, it's, listen, it's your and audience. I gave the response to fat girl over here that left the podcast. Yeah. And my response to <laughs> this... Why do we have to listen, listen, I'm speaking. Just let me finish and, get, and I'll answer your response. The response I gave to the wildebeest that was just on that left yeah, was this. Uh, it no, was that... It's very simple, right? She was lied to her entire life, and all women were lied to their entire life I by like men that. because men want to have sex with you. So mm -hmm. they're going to tell you what you want to hear. They're not going to tell you what's truly inside mm -hmm. their heart. They're going to say what they got to say to get to the box. She took it, couldn't take it, and she couldn't take a lot of things like all the freaking burgers she'd been eating, so that's why she left. Ew. But at the end of the day, on to it. This is what happens when, you know what I mean? Uh, you, she was disrespectful through things. You think she's not going to get talked about? And then I got the, I got everything on video. It's just, it's just I'm not, hey, I'm, not I'm moving her on. Yeah, like, I got you. I, you don't even know this girl, chick. They, I think they I know. Was just gonna if say anything, they else, should be the ones that's like, fine. Coolie, but please be again, nice to my friend. Back to, I'm not allowed to share my opinion. It's the podcast. <laughs> I'm just trying to get to, through the, the comments, baby girl. No, no, I'm just trying to get through the comments. Yeah, I'm trying to get through the comments. Let me get through the comments so we can close out. I'm almost done. Heart the man 49 cents and five dollars. Coolie's telling y'all what we men want, but y'all fighting it because y'all have low IQ. Clown world. Uh, you next, sound like the clown. Next top, uh, next, <laughs> <laughs> next one. Uh, holiday tone. Hey, holiday tone. You back, bro? Where you been at, man? Uh, he says <laughs> we can't. Uh, ridicule you for wanting a tall strong competent man what if i said you're short weak and stupid for wanting that don't i sound crazy for ridiculing your preferences listen to understand that's no, a fact because that's your opinion so if that's your but opinion it's reciprocated in a man's then, perspective then what everybody else yeah here is saying right that's what his comment is. His comment is pretty much saying that reversing what yeah it's saying. just reversing it y'all got your natural preferences whatever y'all like in a guy we not ridicule him for y'all. Like, I ridicule y'all for when y'all was saying y'all want a leader, mm -hmm. right? I was like, oh, that's what you want. Now, when a man is saying that he want a feminine, submissive, dutiful woman, y'all was ridiculing. And then we're saying that, well, most women have that when they're, most women retain that when they're young because they experience less. Y'all ridiculing the man for dating a woman that's in her 20s. It's like, come on, bro. Like, it's. 
Um, I mean, it, it's not that though. I'm not ridiculing for wanting to date someone in their twenties. It's when you're and it isn't me. We was yeah. talking 45, about 50 year old men wanting a female Dang, that's 20, 21. Like, that's first you disgusting. said 35. First, first you said 34. Either you way, said 40, if, if, she's, if she's 20 years younger than you, Dean, 50. Though? That's a little. That's a little weird. 50. Though? But but you're saying that's, that's okay. How they was dating but you're back saying in the days, that's okay though, though because. She's young, she's pure, she's but that's that's your preference though, right? So if a 40, 40 to fifty year old man wants a it twenty year old told, because she's young and pure, it's okay. Yeah. It is as long as they're not on the far ends of the spectrum where the man is wanting the woman for devious reasons to manipulate her, to control her. But that's what it is. No, 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 no. It isn't that, right? If long as it isn't that, we do know in some situations it could be that, right? But as long as it isn't that that is fine. As long as the woman, uh, what's her name again? The woman that's dating a young basket, Drea. As long as Drea, um, you know, she's dating a twenty, a 19-year-old uh, basketball player, right? She's 35 years old. Uh, as long as Drea isn't, like, manipulating this guy just to date him because he has money and then going to get uh, him to convince, manipulate that young boy to marry her and then divorce him in five years and take all of his money, as long as she doesn't have these mindsets— it's okay. If she does have those mindsets, it isn't okay. That's what we're saying here. We're differentiating it all. Um, let's see here. Uh, Holiday Tone again sends in $2. Uh, riddle me this. When <laughs> Riddle me this. Uh, when is it not time for you to eat? <laughs> uh, he was talking about them big, them big things. Uh we got Isabella. God bless you. Keep doing you. I support your word. Uh, I appreciate that, Isabella. I appreciate the support. We have some girls in here. Uh, that's dope. We got Darius Campbell sends him $5. Bro, women going to always react with emotion. They hate being wrong. That's uh, that's I refuse to argue or debate with them. Uh, shake my head. That's why he refuses to argue or debate with them. Hey, man. Uh, generally speaking, you are right. Um, Queen Lala sends in two dollars. Are you uh, are you woman going to apologize to Cooley for this, bro? They I not apologizing. So no, not y'all. I Talk apologize on behalf of them, and I picked some stuff up. Okay. They, if y'all feel like y'all want to apologize, y'all can apologize too, because the girls obviously aren't here to apologize. Right. Send a dollar and that apologize. All right, next question. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, bro, uh, I don't looking for no apology at all. No, I wasn't looking no looking for no apology from them. She was threatening me when I was making sure they wasn't breaking anything else in the building when I was recording. That's why I was recording them. But, um, yeah, she was threatening me and all of these other crazy things, and I was still clowning her on camera too. But um, other than that, I mean, I don't look for no apology they got emotional and had an emotional rage and, and quit um and not and most of the stuff i'm be honest i wasn't even coming at them it's crazy because she was sitting here having discourse and she's standing on her own two legs but those ladies were i was i didn't debate with that girl at all really the girl was out sitting there mm -hmm. it was more me and her once me and her had our discourse and disagreements since up. they're super close it was probably just like yeah 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 we looking to get up out of here mm -hmm. so that's what it was i mean at the end of the day we have girls that leave all the time i don't care um heart the man 49 cents and five dollars those obese those those obese couldn't wait for their cheeseburgers dirty dread 34 uh 304 stop talking and stay on your pole <laughs> sky wilding y'all wilding in the chat stay down behind that phone, baby love. <laughs> you're, you're, pay, you're paying to send questions about me y'all glitch man so in thank the comments you. Are glitching i'm glad i can help you get a little funds up Hey, hey, chat. Hey, I appreciate the support, man. Y'all funny in there. Hey, Steve, they've probably been wilding the whole time in the chat. <laughs> yeah, I know they've been wilding. <laughs> so look, look, look. The crazy thing is, I'm going to make a membership, bro, because all the people that's in here, because I got some main supporters. Y'all always supporting in here. Queen Lala, we got a lot of y'all in here. Uh, uh, Real... Uh, Real Holiday Tone, uh, Tony Barnett. Um, we got uh, Philip Jameson, a uh, girl, uh, uh, Gerald Davis, uh, AZ always supporting. We got Isabella in his support, Rob. We got mad people in his supporting. So I'm going to make the subscription. And if y'all pay a monthly subscription of like, we're gonna probably going to start it at for one tier, like $5, second tier, $10, third tier, going to be like $25. You're going to get all these perks, bro. 
all these new perks, when you subscribe, your chats is going to come up on the screen anytime you even send in a regular chat, and I'm going to be reading them. It's going to be much different. So I'm going to put these tiers down, and the tiers you sign up for, you're going to have more access. You're going to have background footage. When a merch drop, you get merch for free. Everyone that signs up, you get merch for free. The No Fugazi shirts, you see these shades? Yes, these shades is hitting the market, bro. These shades <laughs> is hitting the market. So everybody that subscribed and, uh, and signed up for the subscription, when, when that's launching on Friday, you're going to get the shades. They dropping. Guess what? These shades called Mr. Man. It's my brand. So yeah, that's popping off too. Uh, other than that, let's finish. Dang, we got more chats. We got a couple more. Okay, we got. Uh, got you. We got Felicia Hunt sends him two dollars. <laughs> uh, good men gave me facts on life. You are a hundred percent, Cooley. Hey. That's facts. That's true. Okay. Uh, she was probably manipulated at 20 years old, but <laughs> she was dang. Look, see how they interpret it, man. And just, a, a man just can't win anyway. out here. Anyways, ladies, thanks for staying. Last <laughs> thoughts on the podcast. Let's start with you. How'd you like it? How'd you like I the mean, experience? <clears throat> I think the experience was very interesting. It gave me a very detailed insight on your character I feel like um and the your following and like your 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 group type so I came into this with really not much information about you or your your following and I at least see that um it was interesting um I think if anything I learned with nothing N no it there's a way to talk to people and treat people even if you don't like the way somebody's reacting to you if i'm coming off as a person who's trying to seem a little bit more highbrow i'm not going to just stoop to a low level just because somebody else did that's me. Like, if, if I'm coming off that i have a higher moral moral compass than others when somebody goes low I'm still going to stay on that high road. I'm not going to resort to demeaning them just for the joke and then be like, oh, yeah, well, they did it first, so now I'm going to do it even though I just said all this high moral shit. That's just me. Got Personally. you. So you so you referring to me when a uh, when an obese John said something about me was talking like oh you feminine you this that she was making it's very simple right so uh, life you could turn the other cheek on things and you could just be like okay you know sure and you know be very peaceful on things that's totally fine right I this is not that this isn't regular life no I, this is not, I, but listen I'll, 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 that. Uh -uh, I'll give you a response if we're out on the street and you know the girl said something go on out. Totally fine. Goodbye. I'm not even going to say anything. I wouldn't even speak to her. So she wouldn't even get a response from me at all in life. Maybe just, oh, I like, this is what you do. Re maybe just a regular response. Hey, how are you? Great. Nice to meet you. Goodbye. It's not going to be any more talking. If she says something to degrade me in some way, it's going to be like, well, goodbye. But this is my place of business, right? <clears throat> so if you disrespect my place of business, it's much different. And I'm in the entertainment business, right? So I got jokes for days. So if she want to go ahead and, and make ad hominem attacks, right, which is attacks based off of your character or your or how you look and things like that, not attacking the argument, right? She stopped attacking my arguments and she started attacking me personally. So if she want to make personal attacks, guess what? It's open field game for that because I wasn't making any personal attacks on anybody until she started doing it and then I told that that wildebeest be gone I mean all the stripper comments were personal attacks to it wasn't me. personal so attacks they they were no, personal no, attacks no. to me and we're not gonna act like that because nobody else got a stripper comment so they were no one else are strippers. so it was personal let's not say it was not personal it was personal no, it was personal attack. no Okay, R even if but it was attack. personal, whether you want to wear an attack fine. or a comment yeah, or whatever, it was personal. So yes. you're not gonna. I, the only reason why I say what I said, I disagree. I didn't hear her say anything about your physical. I heard her comment on the things that you said about your personality not being that masculine. No, 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 so, no. She didn't say that. She she said it very clearly, and you could all watch it back. We but it all, was what I, I I could be incorrect, but I feel know? like I heard you say those things about yourself. 
And then she reiterated no, 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 them she as didn't well. reiterate that. No, not at all. I didn't say anything about myself current, right? I said that all men, all men have a journey that they have to pursue to be a man. A boy doesn't become a man just by just living, right? He has to accomplish things and 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 and, and have discipline to acquire uh, competence and accomplishments, right? That's what men have to go through. And I was saying, just like all men, I wasn't born like this. I had to acquire the value that I have now. But I'm saying that woman, on the other hand, the value that you acquire, maybe being a boss babe, going out there and getting your degree, that's cool. Men just aren't attracted to it. The value that we look for is you preserving your value. Okay, preserving that feminine nature about yourself. That's the things that we find attractive in women. So I was... Uh, differentiating the two and then she couldn't understand it seems like you couldn't understand it either no, I honestly I, just, I think who else understood the most was you because she was the most quiet not the no, most I quiet I look I'm, I, I read body languages she understood a whole lot too but uh, her over here the, even when I was breaking things down and differentiating things she's literally looking at me like Oh, I'm saying a body language is comfortable. There's no emotional triggers. It's like she's actually listening to understand and not looking at things from her emotional lens. She's taking, peeling back the emotional, and she's like, oh, this nigga's spitting right now. That's what she was looking at. There's other moments where she was like that, too. She can understand and see the differences, but mm -hmm. it's just like, uh... Yeah, I don't disagree with it. I don't agree with it. And totally fine. You don't got to agree with nothing I'm saying. I'm not here to convince y'all right. on nothing at all. That's not my point. I'm here to have a conversation with y'all. But um, anything else? Would you come back? I don't mind coming back. Word. I, you ain't scared nobody. Nobody in the comments scared nobody. Look, she, like she said, out here. She on one. Respect to you. <laughs> she gonna need a cut. I said it. what I <laughs> said. <laughs> um, comment about her. I said what I said. <laughs> Respect. Uh, other than that, I'll definitely have you back on the podcast. Just key things for next time. We run in the show. You, since it's your first time here, you kind of know how it is. Second time. We, we have you back. I'll have my recruiter reach out to you again to get you back. And uh, just know that it's, you know the flow of it now. You just going to have to wait. You can't be interrupting and stuff like that. You're going to have to l let it rock. And then I'm going to give it to you just like I've been giving it to you. I always let you finish your point. It wasn't one time where I was like, ah, this, this, this. I at least let you get it out. Um, but other than that, move right along. Uh, How would you like the podcast? Uh, I enjoyed it. Like, I feel like we touched base on a lot of stuff. Everybody gave their perspective and opinions on everything. And, like, everybody had yeah. a chance to speak. So, I'm okay. cool. I'll come back. Word. I'll definitely have you back. And Here. thank you. And uh, what about you? How'd you like it? I enjoyed it. You enjoyed I, it? I don't take much serious. Yeah, so, yeah. it was kind of... Yeah, you was chilling. I'm not, I'm not a really, like, emotional, reactive person. So, yeah. I can just kind of sit back and be like, okay, whatever. Like, gotcha. I, like I'm going to go you... home. I promise you I'm going to go home. I'm going to eat and I'm going to sleep great tonight after this. Like, <laughs> I'm a good bro. I feel part. like it yeah, was like, like it I'm played a big part of listening person. and responding on emotion. Like, yeah. On how you, yeah. it's literally how you take everything and handle everything. Because I agreed with every, like a lot of stuff that you said, but some things I didn't, dis like I disagreed on, but. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. I didn't react on. I got you. We just touched base on it. Yeah, we touched base. Okay, okay. F facts. Mm -hmm. um, oh, we got another super chat that just came in. We have uh, Red Rock Reptile since in $10. Appreciate your support. Yeah, he said, I'm true. mad I missed the show, but from Shorty. <laughs> What's up? No, we laugh. <laughs> We're laughing. Okay, let me let me get through this so they can so the chat can hear me. Uh Red Rock Reptile sends in ten dollars. I'm mad I missed the show, but from Shorty with the dreads response Damn. tells me it was a goodie. Uh <laughs> why these women be trying coolie for? I'm confused. Just appreciate the gems he dropping. Salute my guy. Hey man, salute to you, bro. <laughs> salute <laughs> Salute to you, bro. Oh uh, yeah, man. Uh to, you missed a lot, bro. I, two girls. Well, one I kicked off. The other one, she left with the other friend. She was in the back. I got it all on recording. She was throwing uh, drinks in the back and all of that. No glass broke. It was just cups. Um, and then also, uh, yeah, they were like uh, making threats outside. I 
followed them when they walked out just to make sure they wouldn't damage any other parts of my business and outside this business here. And uh, yeah, they got in their car, they drove off. But I got that, all that footage. It was pretty crazy. I'm going to put it up and I'm going to make it available for everyone that subscribes. The subscription is going to go live and be open. Um, and it's going to be different tiers. Tier one, going to be like uh, $5. Tier two, $10. Tier three, twenty dollars uh, $20. And you're going to get access to everything at $20. Free merch when it drops. These glasses called Mr. Man when they drop. This is my brand. And uh, you're going to get all the background footage of all the other kickouts in this one and many more. Also, when you make a regular comment, meaning that you don't even donate, your regular comment will be highlighted in the chat. So other people are going to see it and it's going to pop up on a screen. And then I'll choose to just to read some of those regular comments regularly. So you do a monthly subscription and I mean, you saying something funny or giving any value or, you know, making any comments and stuff like that. We're, even if you're not making donations, we're still going to read your comments out loud and it's still going to pop up on the screen too. So it's going to be dope. Um, Dane, we got another super chat just came in, and I'm wrapping up the podcast, fellas. Uh, we have Felicia Hunt sends in five dollars. My dad and brotherhood, uh, my dad and brotherhoods did not manipulate me. Green sweater. They wanted me to be uh, smarter out here and get a good man. Grow up. So, so yeah. How do I you feel be like submissive you said, to a man? I yeah, feel no, like you I feel like I, I've seen a picture of this Felicia Hunt person somewhere on the interwebs. And if it's the person I think it is. They failed you, baby. Uh, I don't I don't know I don't know who she is but Felicia Hunt I appreciate the support and she was just giving a response back because you said that they tried to manipulate her she was saying that no she wasn't manipulated at all they were uh, good men I didn't say her father and brother tried to manipulate well, her no, that was her her comment was about that last time and you said a, a remark which she obviously heard um, and you said about manipulation she was just commenting back and saying like no they didn't manipulate me those was good men and they led me in the right direction so she was just like grow up but anyways that's it hey man this podcast was no fugazi uh next one is gonna be on friday same time uh 8 30 9 p.m we going live at so tune in other than that oh let's give y'all y'all all in here i gotta give it to y'all so we are going uh to vegas on the 21st we doing a podcast with saint the center we're doing a podcast with saint the center in the vegas y'all all been asking for that that's gonna be a lit one definitely respect that dude uh then also we doing a podcast with Michael Sartain and Rolo Tomasi. That's another one. It's going to be lit. So y'all about to see me on those two podcasts, Axis Vegas, and then we doing a, another podcast with Saint in the Center um, on his... Uh, we're going out there, getting the girls out there and everything, bringing No Fugazi out to him, and we're going to feature him on our podcast. We may even do like a one-on-one. -on -one. We'll see what other content we can get from that smart brother. Um, but other than that, this podcast was very No Fugazi, and we out.